Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us for the Grand Sky Rumble. I know we had a bit of a late start, but we are getting into it as soon as possible. And so if you are just tuning in because you maybe missed some of the announcements about this event, this is a 16 person Parsec Invitational for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. It's featuring some of the best and brightest that our community has to offer, not only just as players, but as commentators, as production staff and bracket runners. So. I want to thank everybody for being here and everything. Uh, and one particular thing I want to shout out before we get started is upcoming. We have Shining Onslaught just after our event happening. Because this is a Grand Blue Fantasy Versus event that is meant to highlight the community, uh, I wanted to highlight the community, obviously. And Shining Onslaught is going to be a Parsec tournament on the East Coast side that's happening just after our event. It also happens on Sunday nights. And unfortunately, we overlapped. And so, you know, to make amends for that, after this, we are going to be sending it off to them. You guys can, you know, check that out directly after. Now, without further ado, I would like to give you guys the pleasure of meeting our first two commentators for the day. We're going to have St. Cola and Swell coming into it. Thank you so much for commentating. Absolutely. Yo, thank, thank you for you having, having us, us here. I, you know, yeah. it's been a while since we both have been on the mic for this kind of game, right? You know, it's been a bit, a bit right. since we take the disguise, right? Minute. Well, it's been a, a second, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a minute since I've, uh, you know, sailed those uh, those blue seas up above us. And I am excited mm -hmm. to do it right now to have you at by my side here for this thing. Cool. Our first time commentating together as well, so I'm pretty excited for it. We've always been like exactly. near misses, ships ships passing in the night or in the sky, as the just case may be. Barely. Oh, we... Like, I'm not able to latch on, team. not able to latch on just a right. little bit, but, you know. <laughs> Make a connect. But we got our first match here coming up on deck. We got Oak Skinny going up against Diaphone. Oh, this I is going to be a great one. We, Diaphone's we, like, one of my favorite Diaphone. players. Dang it, you mm -hmm. took the words out of my mouth. Diaphone's one of your favorite. He's so one of sorry. my favorite, too. Look, He's, you got Diaphone out here. Winning all these all these online tournaments with different mm -hmm. characters that he picks up the DLC. He's like, you know yeah, what, today right? I'm going to take people's money with, with whatever character comes out, right? Right, like that's like, the thing I love about watching Diaphone. Every single time a new character drops, Diaphone is like got a video out there highlighting what that character can do, capabilities and stuff like that. So even if you're not gonna play that character, if you want an idea mm -hmm. of how to handle them, you should be watching those Diaphone videos. And of course, all this being right. said, not to sleep on Oak Skemi, that Narmaya is something mm -hmm. fierce. Yeah, you know, for anybody that's stuck with a character for that long, who's looked at the patch notes mm -hmm. and had the hope and dream that this character is gonna be strong <laughs> when she's not really turned out that way right <laughs> but has you know stuck with the character for this long and, and really put the work into mm -hmm. it you know they're going to be a threat because they've kind of labbed out all the individual things to stay in the oh, game yeah. you know this grand blue is not a not a game where like the tiers are so drastically different you know like in old school mm -hmm. days you, your low tiers are definitely struggling oh, God, out yeah. here but yeah, not here, like not the, as much you know you can very work. compact tier lists it's not like you have your right. s tiers way up here and then like your bottom tier is completely unplayable in grand blue everybody's mm -hmm. still able to be pretty dang functional the tier uh, that's a that is one of the benefits of modern games we have a much more compact tier List. And it looks like we're going to get into this game right now, so we'll see how it pans out. Yes, that's right. It's the oh, first game Yule. of the day. You okay. you're switching it up. I was expecting the Zoe. I was looking at my notes. I was like, it's right? going to be the Zoe. Oh, so the Zoe Zoe? All right, we going Christmas style Yo. with it. And she is Let's do she's it. good still. She's good yeah, still, right? Like, she's still. Yes, she's still good. She's still good. RM. Like, they got toned down a little bit. bit but yeah, it, you know, toned down, but like the ones, those who are smart in usage are going to be just fine with it. All right, yeah, and that's where that diaphone is going to be ringing at the table. So let's get to it. All right, zoning out here with some of the slashes there. It's like got like a beam type property to it, so it extends out really, really fast. Nice. Uses the two one four ex to escape there. It's invincible on the startup frame, so you can't catch it as she's trying to dive, dive back. Really, really strong. Gives you a lot of hard escape options. Nice stuff. Yeah, gets the EX the down or gets the hard knockdown, trying to push him into the corner. Starting oh, to work their really? game like yeah, really shines when she's in front of the face like this. Let's go. I didn't think that, think that the EX box lane was gonna catch that early, but it did. All right. Mm. Gets the throw as well. Constant pressure right here. here. EX. And on top of things. Oh, you're trying oh, to catch with the counter off the stance. Oh, oh you thought you could throw? No go. Let's go. I like oh, that. that. Just throw it out. Good stuff. Diaphone taking round one. Of course, just, really round, just one like, round so far. Yeah, just oh, one. Please. But that was such a strong start, though. And saw the movement in the bushes. Hit the skybound art. <laughs> Six stuff. Nice stuff. I like this here. Just hanging out in that counter stance there. Making uh, Oakscanny have to find a way to respond back to it. Yeah, doesn't get a ton of reward in the screen, does he? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she needs to be up close and personal, right? Like she's got to be all in front of your face and keep the pressure going. Just like right yeah. here. Just like we were saying right here. here. This is looking dire. Uh, this is, oh no, wait for the EXDP. Didn't pan out though. That's going to be an easy juggle into an SBA. I, I would have did it not too. Not quite. Well, hmm. I would have did it too. I feel it. But it's so obvious. One of those things where you're low on life. The iPhone was like, I know what you're going to do. Oga Skimmy's like, I, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I know you're scared. I see the sweat pits right there. Yeah. And I'm going to clean you up back that the much? first one to them. Yo, calling out the <laughs> yeah, sweat but, pits in game one? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, let's with the arm on. <laughs> right. Let's see something different. Okay. Ooh, gets caught with the button there. You can push back there. Yeah, the Yule just ooh, doesn't get too much, so just often goes to using the 236L instead in the mid-screen. If it gets a far button, just can't really cash out too much else. All right, using mm. the stance here, keeping up the pressure. The auto combo, try oh, nice. it. Yeah, try to go for the parry. I like that, just going for the throw. And that just, that's going to warp some of the options that she wants to do for the stance right there. DP right yeah. in the face, I can't believe it. That was wrong. Let's go. That was Gordon oh, Ramsay just, wrong. Just, just taking this time up there too, just poking with these lows there. Oh, takes the full swing there, keeps those plus frames staying on top of things. Oh, gets caught with the counter hit button. Not able to get anything else out of it though, unfortunate. Oh, Tammy showing signs of life here though. Team there we go. This is how you start. Get some pressure corner momentum. Oh, you thought you had to confirm? Oh, that's unfortunate, and that's going to be a punish. Yes. Right, y'all? You, know, you play with the things, I'm like, me too. Let me throw my sky on R2. And this is going to be yeah, some damage. I got one of these. Not going to even up too much. Let's do it. But it will leave it close. Yeah, yeah puts, it in throw, puts it in throw range to finish out, so the strike throw mix becomes that much scarier in the situation. Okay, blocks it. Both sides here. No, unfortunate. Oh, scammy. Diaphone. Look, it's so smart. Diaphone, you, you can tell that that's someone who's a studious, who has studied, who has labbed mm -hmm. out the individual, you know, interactions between some of these characters and things like that, too. Like right. We were saying before that Diaphone has been playing a lot of the different characters, has learned and labbed them oh, out. Yeah. I think Narmaya is actually one of the ones that he has on deck. And you see taking advantage of these situations and this pressure. Yeah. Has, has the has the knowledge for not just their own character, but for all these different characters and able to roll in with all that. So when you're fighting up against Diaphone, it's not just fighting Diaphone's duel, it's fighting Diaphone's knowledge as a whole. And it is scary, just like it, oh no, that EX didn't pick up. Oh, big corner opportunity for Oskemi here, let's go. That's where the character really shines, Ooh. keeping the pressure on. This is where oh, she, ooh. she on the other hand, also has to really get the get the wall bounces going. TK, EX this time. Oh no, blocks the moon slash. Nice, gets the counter off, off the stance there, good stuff. Hey, gets around, let's go on the board. Also, we just got a $100 donation? This prize pool is almost at $700 right now? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh y'all definitely yo, swinging, yo. swinging out here for that cash. And I get it. Yo, thank you so yo. much for the $100 donation. I'm sorry, I gotta chime in. I know you're commentating. You guys are doing a wonderful job. But I do have to mention, if we get to $700 in our Maturino fund, I will pay out all of top eight. Just throwing that out yo, there. let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go. get it there. People never use the codes. Run it just like my man's running this pressure right here. The EX. Oh, God, right? low. Good blocks, though. Oh, Nike. Oh, catches the moon slash, but bounces back off of it instead. Didn't believe in the confirm to keep it the pressure. Oh, we'll trying to stay on top of things here. Oh, no. Goes for the throw on wake up, but the 214 EX bounces back and goes back for it. It'll get the confirm. Oh, tough break. Not quite finished yet, though. Still a little bit of life. Finish off that job. Let's get into a chip. No good situation, but there's the finish. Diaphone oh. with the first one. The first game of the day. Diaphone. Damn. Diaphone coming out of this great gate. Coming out the great? What am I talking about? Coming out the gate, looking great. There we go. I was able to save it. Ooh. Got it. Here you go. <laughs> and you put the bars on him like that. Let's go. Let's go Diaphone out here again. Having the knowledge of this game, a student mm -hmm. of the game. A student of the game. And you see it so here smart. in the play. So just being able to maneuver and just, just move on through a lot of these situations and knowing when to press. Because let's be honest, there aren't that many Narmaya players out here. Shout out to Okizemi yeah. for staying with that character. But like when you come up to a character that you don't know, you're like, dang, I don't know when to press. Like you ain't you ain't yeah, looked at the wiki in a minute, but you can tell he definitely has for quite a bit. Yeah, it's scary as hell to fighting uh, UL. As you were talking about, you said you said there, there was some a uh, little bit of movement there and some little bit of movement. And UL be having the way that her stance works, dancing around things, mm. it ends up having a little bit of that kind of thing to it. Because uh, depending on where she is in the stance, she'll have the uh, counter options, different ranges for the buttons that'll call out di different other options. Right. Really cool character. Also, you know, I love Diaphone, Tron player, but. I was, believe was playing with the JP UL and not with the English UL, which I'm sorry, I gotta hear the Southern Fox girl. It's too cool. Ooh. It's too good. You know, I, I definitely. Saying, she's a Southern Fox because she got the bells in her hair too. <laughs> hey, I, I I feel you on 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 the English. I am 100 percent English. Uh, this is running off of my account, my Steam account. Uh, they were normal Ooh. English, but the players asked for Japanese, so I'm just throwing. Oh that out. really? <laughs> they asked for Japanese. <laughs> 
Not well, y'all asked uh, for the majority of the players asked for Japanese. Oh, uh, okay. Wow, there was actually a vote. Not all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> but <laughs> we didn't find out who 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 has you know who switched it over. You know some. You know, some of the voices depends. It depends. I, you know, Vasaraga, I gotta have him on the Japanese voice, like full stop. Like that makes mm-hmm. sense. <laughs> Bell, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I like Bell on. I, I like Bell on English. I like Bell on English. How do you feel, Swell? How do you feel about that? Uh, I, go, I go, I go Bell on English. I also go uh, Medera on English as well, uh, just because yeah. it's like character that I played with originally when the game was first out in season one. I've been playing with UL a little bit myself, but then yeah, with UL though, I got it. Like, I, I was in the South for a little bit for, like, three years, so, like, I hear it, and I'm like, oh, take me right back home. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, ooh, I, think yep. next, I think next we, we got next. Uh, Zomb- Zombie MU and Super Saiyan Kid, I think, is on, are on deck, possibly. Oh, my yeah, God. So I got, okay, Saiyan I got... Kid versus Zombie MU. Is Super Saiyan Kid the homie? Yeah, I gotta get a little biased. This is the boy that's been coming through Yo, do it, multiple do it. tournaments. <laughs> Working his way up, he was soup. Yeah. He wasn't even a super saiyan when I met him. He was just a normal Yo. saiyan. But look at him now. He's ascended. He's gone beyond the limit. He, you, he, the you guys didn't even know. He's going far believe. beyond. He, he, he's like, Mom, I'm going super saiyan three, and you can't stop me. He's in the basement. You can't stop me. <laughs> but he has been powering up. He has been getting stronger and stronger. Yes. Uh, and this is why he definitely deserves to be up in this uh, this top 16 of this uh, invitation. Yeah, okay. I, I really feel like he deserves to be here because he's been working so hard and becoming stronger and no longer free. Absolutely. Like, that's one of the things, too, when it comes to these invitationals uh, with things where, you know, there's only so many players, so, so, so it goes. But sometimes knowing mm-hmm. that a player has been at the grind, it makes it that much more enticing to want that, want to see that player do well and want to put that player in opportunities where we can't see them do well. Because that's super sick. Like you mentioned, a Super Saiyan kid been playing this game for ages and been at the grind for it. I've watched Super Saiyan kids gameplay, like, you know, here and there as time has gone on. And I've seen the little, like, the, 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 the tweaks, the adjustments, the getting better at it and everything else. So I'm yeah. very excited to see what Super Saiyan Kid brings to the table here. So I can personal I mean, as far as I know. I'm pretty much the right yeah, guy. You're, you're correct. Right? Yeah. yeah, and that's, it's, we were talking about that with, with Ogizemi, somebody who has been playing a character for the longest, no so matter with the nerves mm-hmm. and buffs, and Percy definitely is still powerful. Like, he hits, like, a truck still. And, yeah. you know, it's, he, the, the thing about Super Saiyan Kid, he's going to be rewarded today with his great play by fighting Zomp, who is a very accomplished Ooh. grand player. This is, this is your reward. You get to fight someone who's at the top level of, uh, you know, the, the grand scene. Oh, yeah, man, that's, good luck. That's, a, that's, a, that's, what, that's that constant FGC thing. Like, hooray, I did good. Now I get to fight someone who's really tough. <laughs> Which is great, yeah. though, because we all yes. want a strong challenge. Yes, exactly. time to get my ass kicked. I earned it. Oh, <laughs> hold on now. I, I, was a, I lied to you all. He's going potato. He's going potato <gasps> with it. He's going Let's potato, go. okay. Yo, what? Yo, we got the Taco Bell menu? Is that? This is a button check. I'm just I'm just saying it's a button oh, check it's right now. Check. Oh, it's a button check. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold okay. on, Nobby Charlotta. Just tell us out here, though. Uh, <laughs> zombie, zombie might play Yule. Uh, oh, over gotcha. Grand. Might, but it, okay. it's it's a matchup thing. Uh, you just got to wait and see what Zombie plays because Zombie can play most of the cast. So. That is one of those things about yeah, this game can. that's kind of sick, though, is that because the characters are... The character complexity is not huge and uh, disparate between character to character. Obviously, everybody has mm. their own idiosyncrasies and intricacies. Uh, and this is a button check here, just to, just to yeah, emphasize. Yeah, so, relax. But, uh, so being able to hop character to character is a little easier in this game for matchups than it is in, in some other games because the kits are a little bit more streamlined and compact. Not to say that that's like a judgment call or anything. It's just a different style of right. game. But it's kind of cool, though, because then you get these players who have like, you know, eight characters under their belt. So when you fight them, they got people all over the place. They're just cycling back and forth through their, through their, they have a whole drawer. You know how you open up the drawer, your mom's drawer, they have, she's got all the different jewelry. It's the same thing oh, with yeah. the characters for the, for the players of Grand Blue. But I will tell you one thing, there is another aspect to this that you have to worry about is like, if you're switching through all these characters, even someone as accomplished like Diaphone and Zomb out here might have issues switching back and forth to these characters because yes. there are those minute things that really make or yep. break matchups at a higher level. So that's one thing is if, if Zomb is playing a lot of these characters, he has to be like, ready prepared to like switch back all right yeah I'm, immediately I'm putting my segment. boots on exactly or, or you know maybe i gotta cook a potato today maybe i'm gonna move for potatoes <laughs> you know <laughs> honestly I, yeah it's a uh, it's is neat to see that too though like with, with those different characters because you can especially in a longer set we're just in first to two right now mm-hmm. but once we get into the finals later on where it's first to threes and stuff like that being able to cycle characters in those can actually be a gigantic asset just because that's like a threat that you can uh, 
you, a threat that you can bring to people. Okay, cool. You learned this one. Right. Now how do you learn this one? Now how do you learn this one? And then if you can change your pace of gameplay as well with those counter picks, oh, it's mm, I love it. I love it. That's like right. like a that's an old tool I would I would do in like long sets with people. I'd like pick like a very like slow paced character and then like let someone get used to that and then change it up and pick like a fast paced rush down character on someone and then just try to flood Got them. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm cheap as hell. I'll take advantage. Of, I'm not that good, so I gotta take every advantage I can try to get. <laughs> I'm with you, sis. I'm with you with that. I'll pick the yes. top tier. I'll look at the tier list and be like, I'll tell everybody else like, don't look at the tier list. They don't matter. But I'll, I'm a liar. I'll pick the top tiers. I'll pick the cheapest <laughs> character. And as soon as they get nerfed, I never knew her. I never knew. No. Her. I don't know who she is. Damn, it's like that. Like that? Okay. It's okay. definitely like that. It. All my friends definitely it. know it's like that. <laughs> I'm trying to win. I don't care. I'm trying to. Win. Damn, we got talking see, too I mean, much. I mean, I mean, like, to be honest, word. though. <laughs> go on, go on. You, you, you first, please. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you know, it. You know, for people who are, um, you know, trying to aspire to be like super competitive, uh, you know, it, it does matter. Um, and you, you definitely see people who have who sit with characters. They laugh things out. Having that year long experience with the character is going to help them out. So it will be the Percy <gasps> versus. I guess it is going to be the Charlotta. He's going potato. Oh. Yeah, smooth with the brain now. We back. Let's go. We back. All right. Oh, this is that good Charlotte of color too. That has like the deep purple ruffles. Thumbs up. Okay. Yes, it, ooh, so we got okay. this. Yeah, yeah. We got some uh, space in here with the fireballs. Okay. Ooh, patience there. Nice. Uh, just ex ball right in on in there. Pushed into the corner here. Ex hands. Staying close. Blocks the demon flip extension. Okay. Okay. Taking time. You see, I'm trying to find a way to get out of this corner. Ex get connects. Yeah. Get some distance. Yeah. Get out of that get corner. It. Get the stocks hey. up. A nice chunk of damage off of that too when you get that on counter hit even if it's not like a big confirm you can just take that damage and that's pretty value as well because look at the life lead now mm. like two hits and it got a 40 percent like uh off the life bar well it's not 30 percent but you know all right press into the corner it's now it, it's, it's not good oh okay off the yeah. sweep we've been seeing a lot of these confirms back to the ex back to neutral back to the mid screen is where you like kind of mm -hmm. want to be against our lot don't want to let her run her game plan Corner pressure can be different per oh, character. No, Didn't have the confirm. Confirm. No, That's unfortunate. No, Big damage. Oh, into noble execution. Damn, that's probably going to be death, too. That'll do it. Oh, yeah. Wash your neck. Zom saying, no, wash your neck because I'm coming for it. I'm coming for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we going to see from Super Saiyan Kid in round two? It was, was looking okay there up until the very end there when that confirm got dropped. Up until then, it was looking really clean and competitive, so definitely not out of not out of this at all. EX hands into the sweep. What's going to be? Gets the jump in afterwards. Keeping up this corner pressure. EX ball. Oh, holy ladder. Okay, just do it. This GP in your face. Give me the pressure on. This is what you have to do. And you see him kind of stagger up some of his normals just to see if there's going to be like a DP out. But Super Saiyan Kid has been really good about that in terms of not busting out. But he's got to choose the right moment to do so. It no. may have been too late. And this is that. That's it. Zom with the first one. Just like that. That's one game going up to Zom. This is something I've seen from Super Saiyan Kid sometimes. It's uh, it, sometimes a little, a little bit too passive in waiting for the right opportunity to present. Right. And um, not being... Not not knowing when to take that assertiveness there. It's really tough against Charlotta though. So like no disrespect to Super mm -hmm. Saiyan Kid. That's that's hard. So Charlotta is a very strong, very scary character. Ooh. Yeah, I okay. feel so like easier said than done, you. of course. Uh I'm not sure what happened there, but you know, just in general for Super Saiyan Kid, easier said than done. I feel like that's something that he was really bad about before was being too aggressive. So he's going yes. back to the passive play and that's what it's like it's like an ebb and flow of things. Like, all right, I'm being mm -hmm. too aggressive, that's getting me killed. But getting too passive can also get you killed in a different way. So he's got to figure out mm -hmm. how can I, you know, up the pace gradually and get to that climax and get that and clinch it out, you know, clinch that sucker right, out. Right. I feel like he was doing good the first round. It was just a few drop confirms here and there. And he had found the footing a few times. It was just the drops. That was yeah, just it. That was like just the that. drops. The second one was like he just backed off completely. Yeah, and, and uh, so, you're totally right about that too. About the trying to gauge. Oh, sorry. Did we get a chime in from the voice of God there? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I know I keep interrupting y'all, but it's uh. So uh, I'm but, just telling you what happened. Um. So apparently, uh, Super Saiyan Kid was having a an issue. Um. And it, it apparent and and Zombie wasn't. So uh, we oh, may have to I reconnect see. Super Saiyan Kid to uh to get things happening. Uh. Mm. I I assume that okay. it probably explains those drops. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I mean, I would have dropped it anyways myself, so that's why I was like not going to talk about it. But good to know that yeah, there's yeah. other uh, things. 
<laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so, 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 uh, yeah. Um, we'll figure it out. I, I, I assume they're going to test it, either that or uh, they already just went through it and they're going to play. But yeah, so uh, it hasn't happened to anybody else just yet. So I don't okay. know okay. if uh, if there was maybe just something wrong with Super Saiyan Kid settings. Uh, but if that's the case, then hopefully it's fixed by now. Uh, you know, thank you guys for joining us, by the way. Uh, we are at $700 for oh, the match. Yo, let's go. So we are going to be taking out all top eight for this event. <laughs> all top eight. Yo, let's go. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Brand new community kind of showing out here. Kind of showing it. Right. And again, Ronan Rumble putting the scene on their back. As per usual, as per usual, putting a scene on their back. Let's go. Chat, give some love to Rona Rumble. If you ain't following them, yeah. if you ain't on the Twitters, if you ain't hitting them up with the love, if you ain't run the, 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 the code in the chat, I'm going to hit you in the face like that. With some, Yo, you know, hit up the code in the chat or I'm going to hit you in the face like that. Okay. <laughs> metaphorically speaking, nice. before I get clipped and get in trouble and don't get to go to tournaments, you know, <laughs> metaphorically speaking, Metaphorically speaking, I'll slap the taste out of your right. mouth. And I'm going to slap them with some great gameplay if this comes back their way. We'll see. We'll have to see if they're this doing is going to be a uh, test or not. They're, they're doing a quick they're doing chat. They're doing a quick stutter chat. That quick makes sense. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll go away a little bit. All right. Yeah, I know. This, so, so, uh, color choice. Go on. So one thing that happens with uh, with Parsec, just just for those of you who are unaware of the, the, the platform, uh, it doesn't play very well with uh, certain processors sometimes. Or it's the, uh, it's the graphic chart. It's one of the two. Uh, so yes. uh, it may it may have been that, but Super Saiyan Kid actually just said in the Discord that it's good now. So uh, great. okay, cool. Go. Yeah. Uh, so oh, for no, anyone who does not know, a lot of people probably know about how Parsec works, but if you don't know, Parsec is a way to remote connect into a server and then playing with simulated local gameplay rather than trying to play online. So both players do need to remote connect into other servers, which are being uh, helped and ran by um, Tongscrew, if I recall correctly, or some of these. No. I think I might be mistaken there. That's all right. We'll get to the gameplay. Anyways, Parsec is cool. Consider using I'll it to play that. fighting games with your friends. Back to the gameplay here. We got Charlotta, Percival. We got Super Saiyan Kid on that Percival. Going to be rocking it. See what kind of heat we can bring to the field here. We got Zombie MU on at the Charlotta. Let's go. Zombie MU up again. Three out of $700. They're working hard to get that. Get that. Oh, yeah. Get that mode Top out here. Get that Uber Eats money. Oh, I love this. EX hands gets blocked there. Oh, okay. There's that EXDP that we were wondering where it was earlier. Just the one. It okay, gets the OP, command grab. Just goes for the dash up. Okay. Time to hold this auto combo here. Wow, catching out all those EXs. Okay. So we got Holy Ladder and jump in. on deck here. Yeah, you gotta be careful the jump-ins for this character too as well. You gotta be ready mm -hmm. to prepare for the DPs. Just the way the angle that this character has a command grab. Grips her up by the by the crown. EXDP, no stocks, no problem. Dash up trying to face something, but still the on the crown. push back. <laughs> He's like, what's underneath wow, there? Is there brain there? underneath there? <laughs> Try to see me. No. <laughs> Potato. Potato. It's like stacked up here. potatoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's like when you, you, you like you like a have like a veggie chopper. You push down and it cuts the potatoes for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Put okay. back in the corner here. Oh, that's gonna be it. Ex hands. So long as it doesn't drop. Done. Tough break for Super Saiyan Kid. Um, Zombies and strong though. I feel like it's just mm -hmm. moments where Super Saiyan Kid could either like maybe bust out a little bit more, or I would like to see more of the stocks. You know, we see some of the dash up pressure just for Boeing. They're foregoing the uh, the the stock ups and just saying I want my Oki, but I feel like he needs to do a lot more. There we go, get the stocks heavy. That's where the character lives, especially this season. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's like a there's like low value uh, payouts of situations and interactions that oh hey, hang on maybe not maybe not push him to the corner. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm talking Doesn't about it. Okay, blocks the ball here. Oh no, straight into the hands. <gasps> Doesn't get the confirm off of it. Okay. Push to the corner here. What are you gonna do? Tries to jump on out, uses the JU to all the trajectory in the air. Smart call. Has to hold his buttons from Charlotta. Okay. That's the pressure right here. Trying to use that, to use that 5M to protect some space. Didn't work out though. A lot of damage. Goes right for the Sky Bell Art. Not SSB. Close so to not death. One more hit will do it. The jump. That does it. Unfortunate. Oh, Super man. Saiyan Kid. Oh, they're, they're, they're playing Super. it from uh, zero, 0 So that's that's just one point for Zom. Okay, gotcha. Zom takes I game do. one. Zom, I, you know, again, just, I do like his, we, we, we highlight a lot about Super Saiyan Kid, but I do like the mm -hmm. fact that he was backed off a lot to kind of put the put the pace off. Even Super Saiyan Kid said, yes. I do want to bust out here and there. He back, you saw him back off quite a bit and just going for jumping buttons when he found the time was right. If you're swinging out the far H, you might get got, which hadn't happened yeah. too much, but the idea is there to be like, I'm going to nullify your tools. I'm going to make it so you can't play your way. And 
Zom taking down Super Saiyan Kid, putting the losers. You know, not a small feat. Uh, cause Super Saiyan Kid definitely been working. And you saw even the oh, last yeah. rounds, he was definitely starting to find the confirms, started to put the heat mm -hmm. on it, started to get the stocks up, but just didn't have enough insider trading tips to do it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah, those insider trading tips a little bit helpful. Had the command grabs too, so like had a read on the situations and was like, was able to score those mix up scenarios, but just not able to string the whole mm -hmm. thing together to pull it out into a victory scenario. Unfortunate, but them's the breaks. I look like the score got reset to zero, so I wasn't sure if they were intending to play another match there, if that was going to be it. But uh, either way, uh, big ups to Super Saiyan K for trying to make things happen. But so it goes. Yeah. Yeah, so it goes. I'm not I mean, sure this, again, this is. But this is like a, a nice like invitation that has like the top players. If you go down to losers right here, this is not saying anything to anyone's skill here. It just means that you, mm -hmm. you are fighting the, the top dogs of the scene that I've gotten picked for this invitation. Yeah. Maybe not every single one of them, but like this is a lot of the of the the cream of the crop of the Grand Blue scene. A lot of the people that I've known oh, yeah. sit with the game for so long, but also put in the work continuously with all the tournaments that have been going on. There have been weekly tournaments on the on the constant. If it is not NLBC, oh. it's you know Waifu yeah. Dome. It's wherever you can you can actually when you turn around. There's I feel like there's a tournament for Grand Blue in either region. So it's great to there's see like this everything being brought together. Yeah. Yeah, Grand Blue is one of these games. Somebody mentioned this on Twitter a while back, but it seems like Grand Blue has like multiple tournaments a day going on all the time. Like right. a lot of them are region specific sometimes, but there are tournaments for this game all the time. Like just yesterday, there was like a, a newbie um, um, intermediate player game uh, tournament for folks. I think that's a WADS. Uh, Wads does that. Um, yeah, think. there's a there's tournaments that go on for Latin America. It's all over the place. Yo, we got Flower yeah, America versus Romantic definitely. Style coming up. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Tell me what's good. Yo, sorry, I'm just, excited. Kind of I'm just excited for Flower Man. <laughs> Yo, okay, so Flower Man, uh, usually Rock and Fairy, uh, as far as I know. I'm not sure if mm -hmm. that's going to be the case in this matchup. Uh, Flower Man uh, used to play under Marvin Pie, then changed name. Uh, pulled out, was also the BB Tag winner for uh, Arc Revo in... Yeah, for Arc Revo, was the BB Tag winner for their region. So Mid Flower Midwest. Man is showing up with yeah. a list of credentials. Yeah, Midwest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I... Couldn't remember which region it was. I figured it was Midwest because I commentated Flower Man, but like I get my, my I get words mixed up sometimes. I don't know why I'm on commentary. Yeah, it shouldn't let me. It's commentator memory. Up. It just leaks out. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> After, well, we gotta uh, keep we... our mouths open so stuff keeps going. Now, romantic style though, not to put not not to make it sound like romantic style is not showing up with uh, with some uh, credits under their belt. Uh, romantic style is a mm -hmm. beast with this Lancelot. So we'll have to see how. Flower Man did compliment a selfie of mine and called me honey, so you know what? I'm going to be mad biased for Flower Man. Oh, um, that's fine. You know, <laughs> Flower Man is actually part of the part. Of, he's a homie of mine, too. But as much as I much as I love Flower Man, I hate fairies. So I, but I'll oh. give him some credits. I'll give him some credits. Multiple time winner of the Waifu Dome, putting in a lot of work. Romantic Style got their work cut out for them as well. But Lance, Absolutely. no slouch this season. Seen a lot of this character come through. And even though the play style has kind of changed a little bit, like it's a little less mm -hmm. gorilla. It's still Gorilla. That character is still working out here oh, yeah. in the top spots of a lot of tier lists. Can definitely put the work in. And I feel like sometimes, not all the time is like past seasons, because that's why I dropped him. But <laughs> sometimes he's able to kind of play his game, and you just have to kind of sit there and take the take the pressure, right? Yeah. Even with the scale down damage and things like that, it's still a strong character. Still a character that Barry might still have trouble with, especially with the nerf DPS and things like that. So oh, you got to yeah. place your 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 the, the economy of buttons has to be just right, just right. Yeah. It's so scary fighting up against Lancelot. Like, that 2U is still incredible. It still goes under mm -hmm. so much. Um, the <laughs> the way his tools interact with Fairy's tools are really difficult, too, because, like, if you're trying to get a GG up in the air to cover the screen, Lancelot can just, mm -hmm. you know, either shortcut command with a 6-6 six, six, or just do the 6-6 six, six manually. It's very difficult right. for Fairy to deal with. And Lancelot's kit, too, is, like, one of those kits where unless you fundamentally change something about the character, I don't see how you make this character's kit not strong. Like, if you put this character Thank in a corner, you. they gain a mix-up. I, I say this every time I'm on Thank commentary, you. but it makes blows my mind every time. How do you put... I put you in the corner and you get something. What? Exactly. She, she, she's still strong. It doesn't... I remember when the, when the patch dropped and the fairy players were like, well, I don't know. I do know that this character's ridiculous. And Flower Man knew that she was ridiculous too. That's why... She's, oh yeah. He's sticking out with this character, and that's why you're gonna see the fairy versus Lancelot action on the screen, people. Let's do it's, it. It's the Midwest, Midbest coming through versus romantic style. Let me see what's good. Yo, the Midbest. Let's do it. Oh, oh, uh oh. Unfortunate. I think something might have happened with romantic style. That or this is just a button check here. I, I think, I think this is actually a button check. I think it's a button okay, check. Okay, we're button okay. checking. 
Th these will be the characters, though, either way. Uh, Fairy yeah, and yeah, Lancelot, that's, they're, that's pretty much who these two play. So that, that'll still be the matchup here. Just making sure everything's going to be uh, nice and put together. I know Flowerman played Cagliostro for a little bit as well. So another one of those players that mm. has a couple of characters under their belt. But I don't see any reason why uh, Flower wouldn't stick with Fairy in this particular matchup. Yeah, not having but a reversal hey. against uh, Lance. Oh, it's kind of difficult. You know. Yeah, it is. It is. I feel like I can get them all by that character. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> I, uh, the one of the matchups I used to play the most was uh, Matera versus Lancelot, and oh, <laughs> I don't, it's very hard to play. It's very hard to want to play that matchup. Unfun. Unfun. Once he gets yeah. in, you get, you're done. <laughs> you're done. It's oh yeah. A well, I'm, I'm like a zoner too, and I'm like, okay, I just want to keep people away from me. I don't want to deal with anything. I don't want to have to block a mix-up. I just want to have to play neutral, and then Gorilla Blade cuts to my neutral, and I'm like, oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Gorilla Blade's like, I'm done playing in neutral. When the when the six six H comes out, I am done playing in neutral. I'm done playing calm. Let's see if Flowerman can keep it right. strong again. Flower Man versus Romantic Style. No more button Let's check. No more of that funny stuff. No more goofy stuff. We're getting into it. Oh, no, oh, someone's going to be having a, a ball of a time here. Someone might be laughing with when when how this gameplay plays out, but let's see. Okay, both sides fishing for position here in the middle of the screen. Nothing too drastic just yet. Oh, wow, really? Mashes after the Lance Rekka? That close? I'm surprised. Okay, gets the knockdown here. Got the GG setup. Oh, goes for the crossover. Back to mash. The position. I, good stuff. Exactly, which is really good, right? Keep him locked down in the corner. Mm -hmm. Run your game plan. Get the meter built. All these exchanges, too, which will really help. Oh, really? Are we going right for the mix situation? Oh, I love that there. Oh, bounces off the, the wall to set away. up the overhead. That was so That's sick ridiculous. with the jump back button. That was so sick. No, y'all can't say this character okay. ain't ridiculous. Y'all fairy players oh, can't do it. Oh, Pecky with the dive kick. Missed the throw. Okay, Gigi's out once more. Swinging up and above there with the JU. Staying. Okay, okay. Keep, keep in space here. Remember, though, any, any moment, though, Romantic Style can just let rip with that 6-6-H, and this whole game changes real fast. Fire Man just, Fire Man, though, just being so Let's get to stay nice and calm. Yeah, you can just be lame with this style of play right here. You don't have to do too much right here. There it's not gonna wait, but just as you said, dragon oh, through the car so they come. It. And now it's in the corner here with the record pressure as well. Nice, takes the chip damage, able just to combo into it. Nice and safe there. Good stuff from Flower Man. Takes round one. Romantic style though, able to fire. Let's see what romantic style can fire back. Quite possibly in this round two. I'd like to see, like, because like, Fire Man had a really strong start and just kept that lead, which I think is really start, smart mm -hmm. in this kind of matchup. Keep the lead, make them feel oh, unusual, yeah. make them feel uncomfortable. They got to come to you to get that win. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, just trying to control the floor there, too. See that fishing with a low button as well, possibly trying to snuff out any attempts there to uh, rapidly advance across the screen. But now, ooh, stuff in the corner here. Here comes the Wrecka Mix. Oh, nice! Use that low element to dive side, side swap. Mm -hmm. And this is really good there. again. We've seen nice. this over... So many times before, pops the skybound art. We've seen this before. Get that lead, you get the win. Mm, give me this knockdown. Man, and again, a good position to take it. Okay, tries to wall dive there, but spaced out far enough away from Flower Man that the wall dive isn't really a threat. This is so smart from Flower Man, how this is being played out. EX Rekka gonna carry pretty much to the corner, not quite. EX Fireball gets blocked. Give me my friends. Getting in there, blocks the hula hoop. Good challenge right there off the light, making a back up again. And you have to have those moments. Where you, have, you do have to challenge against Lance. It's scary, but even in the corner, you have to not let him run his game plan. Dive kick. Heavy. Mm -hmm. Trying to find Ooh. the one opening to do it. Got These side. dive kicks from Flower Man are so on point in terms of keeping control of the position. Neutral there. Joe. Oh. The immaculate spacing to get above the hitbox of the Gorilla Blade and come down with the falling button. Do you have any idea the bravery it takes to come down with a falling button versus Gorilla Blade? Oh my God, Flower Man, let's go. Flower Man with Cajun the call go out here. Put the put the lock oh. on the cage, Jane Goodall. Let's go, Jane Goodall, with the whips, <laughs> keeping them down. These Lancelots in the mist. <laughs> All right, Gigi's out in the field there. Okay, tries to go for the, the late tech on it. Uses those. Back up. Okay, okay, let's go. The nice. Okay, blocks the uh, dive right here. The wall. Okay, and this is this is another romantic style deep. here. Has a little bit of a life lead. I feel like a, a romantic style hasn't been able to get a likely to play around that at any point in this. So, okay, yeah, this is looking real grim for Flower Man now. Pushing the corner here. Has super on deck, but even so. Attack the tech. damage right here. Eating yeah, quite a bit. Throw Flower Man on the, this is not where you want to be in position wise in terms of health and, you know, where you're at in position of the screen. Where Lance can definitely run his oh, game yeah, plan. This is, you are stuck. Out of the corner. Not where you want to. That's huge. We're out, but. There it is. What, at what cost? What did he cost you? <laughs> Everything. All my health. Corner, but it gave him a delta kick. Mm. 
<laughs> All right. That's one round for Romantic Style here. Flyer Man setting up a game, catches with the knockdown. All right, gets the close buttons afterwards. You got Rekka here from mid screen. Runs on up, check with the meaty buttons. Can't just stand on top of things. Nice and patient. Nice max range. Yeah, see how differently this is. Yeah, go ahead. Good. The, the, the kind of push that he's got, you know, off this, off the record pressure and keeping the very tip of it. But the interruption, Flower Man able to get the sweep uh, and get things going. Side switch with it. Nice. The fade away, the finesse of the plus. It is Sunday. It is Sunday. With the low. But, yo, Flower Man came to play off the backboard. Let's do it. All right. Got the orb out on the field here. What's the mix going to be? Just takes the low pressure. Doesn't really turn into anything else afterwards, but that's okay. Oh, no. Had the life lead lost. It goes into the SBA. Not going to kill, but this will get, this will absolutely secure the life lead in Romantic Style's hands and force Flower Man to have to play on the, on the reactive side. It oh, ain't wow. no Spy problem. The rabbit got the gun. He Ooh, has connects the Gorilla Blade. You can't keep him caged Ooh. forever. You can't keep him caged forever. Oh. Dragging the knuckles on the ground. The beast is going to break loose. The silverback. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Romantic Style takes game two. So that's 1-1. One, one. We got our... Okay, so this is uh, our third match in the set. Or third... Third set mm -hmm. of the day, and we are now in game three of it. Let's get to it. So one one, both sides have shown they can draw some blood and they can they can uh, leave some bruises. Let's see if we can come out on top. Use that five to advance across the screen. Ooh, you gotta let them bleed out, right? Like I feel like it's it's a matter of who gets the lead. It's gonna be I feel almost easier for Lance to keep that lead too. Because of you know the fact that mm -hmm. if he gets oh, there he it is. that win. And being able to cycle his pressure is also super dangerous too. Mm-hmm. Okay, blocks the record there. Check to the Beppo afterward for the close age. Whoop! These, these dive kicks to control position and where uh, Flower Man fighting from on the screen have been so on point. Oh, forcing the corner here. Very scary situation. Flower Man trying to dive kick out. Nice sweep connects. Lot of the timing, button. the patience, it all pays off. Able to load, load up the sky button. <gasps> really? But he, again, dragging well, the knuckles really on the ground coming the through. Coming I, in. I'm done playing in neutral. Okay, catch up with the throw back again. This is very scary stuff here. Oh, tried to... that was the start of an overhead there. I think that might have been a bad input from Flower Man there in that last interaction when that turbulence came down. Unfortunate. Yeah, and that's going to leave uh, Romantic Style on set point right here. About to take it all the way back. Take it all the way back. Well, let's go. Blocks the hula hoop there. Checks the button. Able to turn it into a conversion off the DP. Gigi's out on the floor, not quite able to push back far enough with the hula hoop to force the block stun from Gigi. Oh no, catches with the button on the way down. That's going to give corner position. The X Fireball tries to get above it. Just keeps the one hit of it. Could have been worse. Keeps the pressure going oh, right here with the Rekkas. I like this. Has to challenge out. Barman cannot take too much of this pressure. And use the hula to get that distance and above that bar. We might be seeing another Skybound art to kind of take that lead back that we've seen so many times. Oh so no, that's sweet. EX does not connect, but the mm. jumping does. It right the Skybound art. That sweep was everything that changed the complexion of this whole thing. Earlier it was looking pretty much an equitable situation, but now this is so mm. bad for Flower Man. Catch the throw, one more throw, or overhead will do it. This is so scary. Meaty throw! Meaty no vegan! Do Romantic it. style! He said, Man, let me take a look at the menu. I, I'm telling <laughs> you, he said, let me take a look at the menu. All I want is meat. I don't want no plants. I want All I want is meat. Yo, they got a meaty lovers now from, from the genres? I didn't know about that. <laughs> he said, let, me, let me put that one yeah. up. I don't, I don't want no, no meat. Take, don't, don't take all the, take all the plants off. I don't deal with that. And what Romantic <laughs> didn't deal with is the neutral. He said, I am done. Ex, go in the blade. Let's <laughs> get it done. Let's get it popping right here. Over. Romantic style. When he got the aggression going, was definitely the victor in many of these matches. That's mm -hmm. what led him to victory. And Flower Man, you saw the the difference of, of style. Like when they're not able to play at their pace. Oh yeah. Just had to, just had to be on the back foot, and that's what led to their demise. Yeah, and also too, like I was calling out as well, like the moment that Lance does sees an opening, doesn't have to hesitate and just because like there was an SBA where we had the orb on, on the screen from Flower Man at one point and Lancelot just grill a blade right underneath it. Even if you weren't able to turn that into a confirm, just getting underneath it and across the side of the screen, that that's worth right there. Extremely strong character. Uh, but you know, what's one thing I like about Lancelot though, a very strong character, but a character where you actually have to understand the nuance of how to apply what he has going on though. Not a character where you can just sort of, you know, oh, I just do this move and I get to go. Uh, he does have Gorilla Blade, right. which is extremely strong, but the rest of his kit is something which requires a little bit more finesse than a lot of other characters that people might uh, classify as a gorilla. But Lance a gorilla, though. Don't, don't don't sleep on it. Don't let anybody tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, he's still a gorilla. He's still a gorilla. He's <laughs> just you have to be, you gotta put a little little bit of mind power in the in the gorilla ness. Yeah. Last season, yeah. you didn't have to as much. They definitely you know made you made you get a little bit of the study, gave you a little bit of homework like, to do. But people like one, one of those gorillas. Romantic, you can, uh, do the homework. 
Yeah, one of those gorillas who can do like uh, puzzles to get uh, treats and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or no, or no like, sign language. We put this block here and the circle here. You're like, all right, all right. You got, all right, you got, it. got some wrinkles in your brain. <laughs> so, 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 so this too, this is an invitational. So like that was a round one match where Flower Man mm -hmm. or Romantic Style are being sent to losers, which is one of those things with invitationals as well, which is absurd to think about sometimes, but that's how it be. Yeah. Yeah. They got both players. Someone's got to go 0 2, right? Someone's got to go 0 2. Not saying that they're going 0 2 because yeah. we're still on the winner side of things. But someone's got to yeah. go 0 2. Actually, two people got to go 0 2. Quite a few people got to go 0 2. Right. But like <laughs> the fact that we're already seeing blow ups, we're already seeing things that, you know, that would be in a top eight, top three, you know, these style and this level of play. Like you guys, even in the pool mm -hmm. section, are getting top level action in this grand blue section right here. Y'all are getting the kind of stuff that you would have to wait to see. You don't have to wait till you see scrubs like right. me, being right. like scrubs like me swinging out here and the commentators going, like this you ain't gonna see that you get to see prime level action premium level action pristine level mm -hmm. action all the way through so people tweet it out let yeah. people know what's going on yeah please let folks know about this that, that this is going on get more get more people in here watching the stream and big ups to abonic plague as well for being the person organizing all this and orchestrating all this making this mm -hmm. happen as well to bring you this quality grand blue content uh in this uh in the in these trying times that we find ourselves in and of course we still got more characters coming out soon as well we're in like the middle of season two so there's still some more stuff in the pipeline True. we got eustace coming right my dude's got a gun yeah Did i understand correctly yeah he's... who gave the cat boy a gun that, yeah i you know what <laughs> if he's cheap i'm playing him if, if he's cheap, I'm yeah. definitely playing it. A character with a gun can either be really good or really bad, in my opinion. <laughs> Yo, like, I, I'm, oh, I gotta really see how really the gun bad. plays out. I, I gotta see how the gun plays out, because, like, I typically like zoner-type characters, so I gotta, I, I gotta mm -hmm. see. Uh, I've, I'm a little gun-shy on, on some of the new characters sometimes. No pun intended there with the gun-shy. But I'm a little gun-shy sometimes. I, I'm, just pretty sure I'm, you like, that. I'm pretty sure you intended that. I'm pretty sure you intended that. I didn't! I promise! <laughs> I that one. Come on, Swell! Come on! I promise I didn't intend that, too! I did have okay, it. Okay, look, that one was on purpose. I, I, I just want to, uh, I, I just want to say, you know, since uh, earlier, you know, you shouted me out. I just want to shout out uh, the entire staff here and you all as commentators uh, for helping out because, uh, yeah, sure, I put this together on the back end, but everybody else is making this happen. Ronan Rumble, the players, the commentators, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right. Uh, thank you so much, Tong, for allowing us to use your shadow servers. Uh, all that stuff. Yeah, I, I, ca I cannot take all this credit. I'm not going to take all this credit. I refuse to take all this credit. <laughs> wow. So humble. He's got to be humble. <laughs> Look at this dude being humble. Right. Body play. Let's go. Ke Ke Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar told me to make sure to, to, to sit down. So I, I have to yeah. make sure. You sit down. You got to be humble. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You follow, you just follow the rules. You follow the this rules. True. I get you following the rules. True. And again, this is a button check right here. So they're going to be yeah. you know, swinging out. But it you will be. Well, I think, I believe this next match is going to be 2D McGee versus mm -hmm. Bizu, right? So that means 2D McGee, yeah. uh, um, you know, one of the Zeta, Zeta players that has, uh, maybe, I'm sorry, not the players that have been, but like the character has been kind of villainized lately on the Twitters, if you oh, haven't yeah. seen the recent drama. A lot of people just upset about this character, and I, you know what? I agree with you. That character has been flying under the radar oh. for too long. For how oh, yeah, long no, have no. you Zeta's always, always been, been asking for two H's and stuff? Your character is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh yeah, Zed has been Zed has been low key a threat for a while. It's just that she was just tricky enough that people didn't quite glom to her kit and figure out what was like so strong about her. But then like mm -hmm. these people that have been grinding this character, like Two D McGee. Oh no, oh no, this is oof, scary character. And uh, Bizu gonna be uh, playing through on uh, Belial, as far as I know. At least that that is what uh, my notes and my graphic lead me to believe. And yeah. what's also kind of neat about this one, this is gonna be a I believe I'm pretty sure Bizu is East Coast. Oh, think he, I think Bizu is East Coast. Is. I have to check is East Coast. Coast. Uh, Rice Boy Bizu's is the Bizu's wild okay. West Coast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this yeah, is yeah. Gonna be an East Coast West Coast match. So this is going to be a matchup that we normally don't, don't get to see between these two players. So this is a little bit of a treat for y'all. Enjoy. Yeah. That used to be a thing where <laughs> you know Run Rumble used to have you know every so often, and now that everything's kind of sick, not maybe it's not segmented off. Like, but like you have different tournaments in different areas. So again, having people clash together to see who's the best of the best for the coast, that's also what's on the line too. Like that's yeah. also what's on the line for this oh. too as well. Like, oh dang, people who's the best of the best for this area? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, right. the best of the best. But anyway, let's get it. Let's get it, people. Oh. It's gonna be Zana versus the <laughs> Bell. I'm gonna get Fresh hit coast, with that best coast. later. <laughs> let's do it. All right. Having to hold these fireballs from Belial. The 2D McGee, though, no stranger to this matchup, can't be able to deal with this stuff. Uh, Belial has been tuned down a little bit from how we first saw him come out, but it's still a very strong character mm -hmm. and still absolutely has the tools to do the work. Nice oh, check with sure. his buttons, trying to get out of the corner here. 
Oof. Nice there. EX fireball mm -hmm. there, able to extend extend it mid screen. Nice blocks the JU. Oh, I got hit by that mix. Yeah, we all did. Here's the EX L connect screen push right here in the corner. This should actually be a down, and it will kill. Bezu with the first one. I think Zeta can do pretty damn well at the full screen in the mid range distance. Once a character gets in, it's all bell all damn day. Damn right. Yo, catching with the big 2H, able to score the mid screen conversion as well, pushing all the way to the corner. Very heads up play from uh, 2D McGee. Oh no, goes for the counter stance, doesn't quite work out. That was a button that came out too, so must have canceled it a little bit too early. Mm. Oh, Normal throw. Right there you go, put him in the corner. The jump you. Lockdown City right Whoa. here. That two oh, is no, still getting the counter stance. Didn't work. Goes right into super. Not gonna. Ooh, wait, no, this should do it. Trick. Should be right here. Oh, not quite, not quite. Oh, wait, the scaling. So like, what's the wake up situation? Wake oh, up, big over battle, you me. He's right in the side battle. Arc. You feel that kind of way today, two me in the game. Listen, you won arc Revo. I can't say nothing about that. That's ridiculous. Wake up, over okay, this Just got real. Fit. It's got real evened up there. Wow, checks with the air to air button, but doesn't get the kill. It's the EX fireball. Really, then just runs right into the EX spear. All right, works out for 2D McGee. That's ridiculous. 2D McGee with the reads. The reaction. Yo, can, you, can you believe that that came out that fast? Oh, catching with a big 2H. Yeah, oh, that's so good. Get All right, scoop. Keep it going, EX. Gets the side switch off All the right, two. Push, push Put it in the corner. Oh no, that must have been a bad input there with the, the, the two, the whiff two, two. That's unfortunate. However, we're gonna be able to get this juggle here. <gasps> this is the sweep ender. Okay, still in control of the situation there. Using the 5U to get those fake plus frames. Oh, catches. Nice catch on the way Pushing out. Away a little bit here. Oh, didn't believe in the confirm, so it went back. But that's fine, because you, you can play this range anyway. This is still fine, the 2M range. This is still perfect for mm -hmm. her. But now he's in EX, trying to get those oh, plus frames going. Stuff. This is the grab. I like the neutral jump right there. The nice. catch anything that was gonna come after that. That setup for the grab worked last time as well, so 2D McGee has shown that. Oh, he, he got the response. hold on now. The counter. the counter! Okay. Checking with the two wells, gets the throw. He gets a little bit of a life lead here. Okay. No, unfortunate for 2D McGee. Catches with a button to the EX Fireball. Oh no, doesn't kill! Rhapsody, but the EX DP, DP though yeah. doesn't. Runs that mm, sucker. I'm tired of I'll fighting. take the win. Yeah, he's... I am tired of mud fighting. I'm just letting it rip. We're done. Whoever this is gonna work or it's not, it worked out for Bizu. <laughs> he's he's fishing around in the mud for a stick, and he starts swinging. Thought it was all this or something different. Bizu with the has one on the board. Let's see, 2D McGee can make more of these reads. We've already seen some great ones. We've already seen some oh, great yeah. you know conversions, things like that. But I feel like when Bizu gets in, it's a wrap. Chicken and cheese in it, it's a wrap. Just like that, though, cool. moving through with the dodge, runs the EX, the plus frames, that pressure. hold him down. Oh, got the, the Asmo there. Finally, that counter hit works out for it. Oh, no, not able to turn anything else, but gets the spot dodge on the DP follow-up, able to push into the corner here with the 668, shoving all the way in there. Oh, no, gets the one hit off the pogo, then gets stuck by the button afterwards. It was lively, though. It's not too bad. Yeah, not too terrible right here. Again, 2D Mickey backing off this distance where you can't with the fireball. We've seen what could happen. You thought you could dodge? Stay suck up for you and put you in the 2L, 2L, 5L classic? Hmm, give it mm. to me. Moving on through. Oh no, blocked the fireball with the counter stance, but didn't didn't count the hits on the fireball quite right for the counter stance to work out and got stuffed at the very tail end of the move. But the fireball once more, pushing the corner here. Tony McGee getting suffering enough chip damage to lose the life lead, but in the corner as well, which is scarier than not having life lead. Oh, never mind, life lead restored. Pogo coming makes back, but it's over. all drained away. There's a skybound arc that's a finish. Tony McGee swinging back just like that. Tony McGee. Hmm. You know, I keep seeing the Skybound art from 2D McGee, but I really want to see the windscreen with the Skybound art where, where Zeta's hair comes down. It's a very lovely hair when it's right? Gone. Anyways, into the match. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I get excited for how, how good this game looks sometimes. You know, you got to work in for it, right? You might just see it. You might just see it. If you can make it out way out of the corner and keep the pressure on, you might just get your wish. Oh no, the 2-8 and the big confirm. It's a nice third of your health for your, for your troubles. Unfortunate. The X-Fireball blocks the five. Oh no! The JU hits! Little score makes it back to where it's, that's gonna be death. Ooh. That is unfortunate. Bizu. Bizu now Bizu. sitting on match point. Yeah. What if I told and, you in round one of the next one? Did you have? Didn't you want to an, say something swell? 
You want to see I'll something get to get the I do. I want to see the SSBA. Please give me the SSBA, 2D McGee. I want to see 2D McGee get on the board because this is going to be an Arc Revo, I believe Arc Revo West Coast winner, if I recall correctly, yes. from 2D McGee, yes. potentially sent to losers in round one of a tournament. Come on, 2D McGee, show me some stuff. Something different here. Oh, the the that connects on the EX. Uh oh, dash up, bro. It's scooped here. What's going to be this time? Okay, counter hits. Just gets the pressure relief. Doesn't get too much else off of it. Runs right into the D DP afterwards. Ooh. Gets away from the overhead. Checking with these buttons here. That 2M just spears away. Doesn't want to deal with things. Catch with the 5U. Okay. Are you? Really? Are you coming okay, through? let's just, <laughs> just chuck it out there. Hey, just putting it out there. He just put it out really? there. Really? Gets the walk put down with the throw. One more hit will do it. Bizu getting red with the overhead. Nothing there. The and you see Tudy McGee trying to shimmy him. No opening. Nobody's home. The lights are off. No, no. This is just to get the SSBA ready. The SSBA is ready now. See, Tudy McGee hurt me. <laughs> We're good. Oh, please. No, no, no. Oh, the but the SSBA. Bizu. We're so close, everyone. <laughs> We're so close to having not, it. Not giving us any not more today. games like that. But Bizu, you can did. see the reason why. Bizu definitely mm -hmm. working through. Working through the neutral right here. Coming through. You, like, you, you see the immediacy of just cycling through the options, dealing with the fireball. Mm -hmm. And 2D McGee's like, well, I can't even do that now. What can I do? If he's just going to throw out the counter, what can I do? And then mm -hmm. when Bizu gets in, of course, the quicker buttons of that character, the blast to him, all those things equaling a victory for Bizu over the, an Arc Reba winner. And again, yeah. in an invitation like this, you get the best of the best of cream of the crop. You're gonna get blow ups like this, but I was not expecting this yeah. kind of stuff. I wasn't expecting this, yeah. I'll tell you that now. I was, I was really <laughs> hoping to see uh, 2D McGee at least get a game on the board there, but it didn't work out. And uh, Bizu, as you were saying there too, mixing, doing such a good job of cycling the options. There was a command grab there towards the end of that last game where like, I was mm -hmm. I was having trouble keeping up with it from the outside. I wasn't even under the mix, and I was like, oh, snap, that was a command grab? Damn, I got That's something right there. What, what is that? Yeah, what? <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, like, 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 like he has his. What is this? What Please. is this? <laughs> I, I checked my dust loop already. All right, looks <laughs> like we got on? Kizzy K. We, looks like we got Kizzy K and King John uh, coming up next oh. here. We'll be getting a Good. little bit of a button check from them, and <laughs> that'll be going on here in just a minute. And while we do have this delay, if y'all have not already, please do consider hitting up the Matcharino. You can just use the free code as well. I'm pretty sure we got a Matcharino link that can uh, pop off in the stream there. You got the free code you can use, and also your, there are the quests you can do as well. It looks like there's some manga down there. There was, a, there was at least one manga there where I was kind of interested in picking up myself there, so I might try to hit that up here once I finish up my... Well, not tell which manga, because I'm about to tell myself like that. I know how this works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, uh, we have... We have a couple of things of merch that you guys can grab. It is several different uh, types of manga brought to you by Kitan Books. Uh, Kitan Books is actually a uh, a manga uh, affiliate run by uh, FGC people, in fact. Uh, one of the strongest oh. uh, um, TOs within California is one of the head honchos at Kitan Books uh, for anime yes. games. So, uh, you know, obviously got to show out some love to my boy Christian uh whom is said person <laughs> uh and also you know if you guys uh wanted don't want manga there's also matcherino merch on top of that you can fulfill sponsorship quests and manga. things like that to be able to do that as well uh you know mm. i just got to give out uh some some quick shout outs because uh freak master uh my main man gave a hundred dollar that hundred dollar do donation earlier that we were talking about um you know of course everybody using the 50 cent code much love on top of that uh we also have 250 dollars prior to the tournaments even starting from vibrating sheep who is another one of my close friends right there uh you know and then just again everybody who's donated so far has gotten us up to 701 dollars made it possible that we can pay out all of top eight here uh huge appreciations all around mm. Yeah, thank you for everybody, you know, showing through love. If it isn't like the codes, you know, just dropping in some cash, whatever you got, you know, to show out for this great play for, you know, obviously the people that have been putting this on too as well. Uh, it's good to have like an area for people to fight, right? Like, you know, Grand yes. Blue being what it is, you know, unfortunately got hit with the Corona real hard, you know, got 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 sick with it and got the, the bum mm -hmm. end of the deal uh, more than other maybe other games have. But to see the scene come together, and not only for the invitation, yes. but for you guys to come through on the match Reno has been a, a damn treat. So it's ridiculous. If okay. you haven't run the code, it's still easy to do it. 
Even even a gorilla can do it. Even a lance player what? using just oh, you know, the ex gorilla blade can do it. So you guys can do, do it too. Just run that in the chat. Just like oh. oh, I think we had a blip there. I think you're back to being alive. Are we back? Yep. I think we're we're back. back. All right. Chat, we good? Blow up. We're good. Right. Blow up, but, but we're here. We're here. <laughs> thank you for hitting the th thank you for hitting the donation codes. Consider hitting up some more. I think we're gonna have a button check here from Kizzy oh, K. Oh, uh, we we oh. can't even use up the donation codes anymore. They're they're used up apparently according no, to the chat. No, <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, all right. Well, hit up the quest then, or if you feel like throwing. Think about it this way. Think about it this way. When we were in arcades playing these games, we would have put I, I don't know two dollars with the quarters in like for one session. Probably a hell of a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. you can't, you can't, you, you, you can dump about 50 in there. Why not? You know? It's not too much. Dump a few in there. Dump a few in there. Yeah, just use just a little, just whatever, you know, little change you got. You got to go in your mom's drawer real quick. You know, rub it around. You got a little quarters <laughs> up in there. I'm, I'm not saying get the credit card. You know, don't be... You know, get the quarters. Like, get yeah, the quarters. You can still Fortnite and the V-Bucks and stuff like that. But just get the quarters. You got a little quarters. You know, you got a little change yeah, that quarters. you can spare out their way. It's going to help yeah, them play. Have... Yo, Nova, I see you. Yo, coming through with the code. You use the code. Bless you, Nova, coming through. I see you. Chat, I Hell see you yeah. today. Listen, Hell yeah. we're going to give you some good game, Grand Blue action. In return, mm. we're going to give you some great Grand Blue action. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to uh. say good. I meant to say great Grand Blue action. Who do we have great next? Great Grand Wonderful. Next, well? Who got next? Kizzy K and King John. <laughs> Kizzy K uh, probably going to be rolling through with Percival. King John going to be rolling through with Lancelot. So we got that Dragon Knight fight, Ooh. which I don't think is a lore. No, 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 no. Wait, hang on. Percival might not be a Dragon Knight. I might have just, I might have messed up there. I no, no, you're good. No, 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 you're correct. You're, you're correct. Good. I'm here to learn. Right, well, you're right. Don't worry. <laughs> nice, nice. Lord yeah, playing on the lore. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, right. the, you got the no, wiki up and everything. Right, there should be a button. I don't need the wiki. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Okay. Like that. Gotcha. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> you know, when this, uh, when this game goes. first came out, when this game first came out and I was playing a little bit of Percival, my friend would also pick, uh, my friend would pick Lance a lot. And then we'd be like, yo, boyfriend fights? Mm. Whenever we're going to get in for matches. So, boyfriend yeah, fights? Glad to see the, yeah, boyfriend fights. Lance, Lance Light's boyfriend is <laughs> Bane, boyfriend actually. Fight. Lancelot's boyfriend yeah, yeah. is Bane. He's not in the game. No, no, no. So, I, so meant, I meant our boyfriend. boyfriend fight. No, I meant oh, our boyfriend. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> boyfriend, boy, like, outside of boyfriend. Yvonne Clay was like, actually. <laughs> well, like, well, actually. actually Bane is not in the game yet. Has uh, Was on the popularity list, but is not in the game yet. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, That's, let's get to it. We'll see. The DLC... We'll see. The Uncle Uno out here, you know, maybe not the people's first choice. We just want to watch. We're not going to be seeing that. We're going to be, as you said before, it's going to be Lance versus Percy. Uh, and, and they got the, I, you know, they got the color swap Lance, alts, too. That's sick. Yeah. They, they're trying to trick you like it's like it's Guilty Gear out here with the DLC. They're trying to make it oh, mad confusing for people out here. Hit me with that twin magic. <laughs> trying to hit you with the DLC. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. yeah. Kizzy, I was gonna you say that like, Kizzy hasn't really played a lot of tur he, he's not played a lot of tournaments like a lot of online tournaments recently. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. so, it's kind of great to see him being pulled up for the exhibition and put that yeah, work. Right? What's yeah, right. What's up with you? Yeah, because Kizzy. Oh, I was just gonna say, uh, Kizzy K no slouch across multiple games. Very strong player. Uh, playing with uh, Panda, if I recall correctly, still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm right. pretty sure Kizzy K is with Panda. Panda still. Yeah, yeah. Just Kizzy K, very strong player across a lot of different games and. While Kizzy may not enter online stuff because they are a competitor in a lot of games and are, have been in this for a while, it's a little bit harder for those skills to go into hibernation when you have been playing right. all these games for so long at that level. You can very quickly tap back into what you know, and if it, even if it is just does just take you know maybe an hour or two couple hours just to refresh yourself before you go into a big invitational with over seven hundred dollars on the line. Come on, folks! Damn, I'm still That's losing it over right this. There. It's a hell of a prize pool. I cannot. Yeah, I saw that he enters, you know, WNF, but you know how it's, many roles that it's here you? and there. <laughs> yeah, you, could you imagine? That could cover an Uber Eats delivery. Not let's the food, go. but the Uber Eats delivery by itself. We want to literally use some action right here. Casey K, let's see if them hands That's are warmed right. up with that Percy on the deck. Oh, happened to, okay, blocking the slide on in there. Push into the corner here. All right, getting up and above things. Tried to use the JU there to come down with the uh, delayed air trajectory, but didn't quite work out, and King John was able to snuff it out. Right. Oh, there's Gorilla Blade. Gets Gorilla Blade. Mm -hmm. Put okay, in the corner. The Just takes the knockdown there. Ooh, Ooh, gets that up was above things. You saw that, yeah, he kind of got out of the corner there. And that's fine for, for, for kids to get some distance. And if you need to stock up, jump back, block, 
a little bit of the hit, but not a lot. He needs to convert. Yeah, this is. Th I feel like this is gonna be a thing though, where we the way that this will play out is we may see a sudden explosion of action from Kizzy K, and then all this neutral figuring position out just suddenly, you know, shoved aside for the one big sequence. However, not gonna be the case here because that is an SBA, and that was not too much damage on it. This very well may close it out right here. Boom! That's it. That's true. Stay frosty. Wait a little bit too long, but that's only the first round. Yeah, it's only the first one. So. You saw John just immediately was like, I'm done taking you know, a backseat to that. Let me get the hit mm -hmm. and finish it. Kizzy K, though, Let's at the same it. time, he's willing to take these rounds and just be like, I'm going to figure these people out and see what they're about. And then I'm mm -hmm. going to go in and get that win. Yo, please, I want to I want to see this Percival explode on somebody. We had a Percival on screen mm -hmm. earlier, and I'd love to see some balanced action here. I've seen the Percival go over instead of the Percival going down to the lower half of the bracket. But for now, because he came in the corner here, <laughs> having to hold all this pressure. Ooh, gets to the other side. Gets thrown back in. Get back in the corner. Where do you think you're going? There's the EX there. right there, side switch off the auto combo. Keep the pressure on. Oh, DB, no. D wait and bait, but nothing there. Unfortunate, because the EX right is not going to be able to turn into a further combo, but able to get some pressure out of it. Oh, catches with the low afterwards. Is that a perfect? No. That's no. not perfect. I think it's a perfect, yeah. Not a single hit done. Yo, KZK damn. couldn't land one. And th the problem here is, is I feel Rough. like Going right back to it. is trying to warm up and get things going, but John is just so aggressive, so on point, and so committed yeah. to a lot of his attacks. Where Kizuki is just trying to poke here and there, trying to find these confirms. There we go. We start to add up. Watch the, watch the teleport. Okay, gets a throw here. What's going to be afterwards from King John? I want to see Kizzy turn up the heat somehow here, but not sure what the answer is going to be. Lancelot is a tall, tall order. Catch the EXDP. Oh, nice. That was on reaction to the startup of the fireball. Good stuff there. That. Yeah. The rebuttal right oh, there. Oh, the spot dodge on the extension. That's rough. That's a free punish. Push back into the corner. Blocks low there. Blocks I would have hit him. In the corner. Yeah, this has been having quite a bit. And KZK is fine with this because he gets a chance to kind of calm down and assess the situation and get that distance to play and kind of, mm -hmm. you know, assess what's going on. Like right here, perfect distance. Far A, trying to get something to connect. But King John is ready, prepared. Yeah, had the spot dodge again. That same thing happened a little bit earlier. So, yeah, it looks like King John is ready for that option. I feel like Kizzy here on like a really Yo, what just the swings on reaction. This guy bound on her. So sick. <laughs> so yeah, coming in, shut the door in front of his face. Not quite dead yet, but wow, that'll do. He right has there, gorilla though. play. <laughs> He's done that playing neutral. You. You know when a Lance player is feeling good when the EX Gorilla play like that. You know they're feeling mad good. They're feeling nice. Mm. And he is nice because he is on set point against KZK trying to make this a wash. Let's do it. Man, if you, you wonder if Lance players just like slide like that as they go from like room to room in their house, they just, they're just imagining themselves. Yeah. And if they say 6-6 six, six as they do it. Oh my god, 6-6 six, six right there for the juggle. Six, the six, <laughs> Gets the throw off of it as well. Not quite a perfect this time, but it's still looking mm. pretty rough for KZK. Okay, there's a throw there. This might be the start of something. Trying to make something happen here against King John, but King John is looking so, so stable. Oh, had the fake out with that's, the JU. That's it. And that's the ability that to leave him to a 2 0 right there. Wash over Kizzy K. That is Lancelot's unfortunate. Hmm. I feel it, it, it's just a matter of like that constant pressure from John and just maybe not as much committalness, you know, from, from Kizzy K. And also just the, the constant just. That that he's every which way. When is it? Yeah, where he, oh, yeah. Where, 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 uh, where, where'd he go? That he's way, behind that Nani. Way. Where's he going? Behind me, hmm? Nani. Yeah. I was behind you the whole so time. You can only you can only tell me nothing personal, kid. Before I start to think this is pretty freaking personal, Lancelot. God, second yeah, teleport. Sorry, get a little personal. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> so Kissy different. Said, <laughs> Kizzy K is sent to the lower half of the bracket for now. Uh, King John will be advancing forward. And let's see if we can get mm -hmm. uh, what our find out what our next match is coming up for y'all. Thank you for joining us for the Grand Sky Rumble, the first one of these that uh, we have been doing here. We got a Parsec Invitational over 16 people. I think we're about halfway through the round one bracket right now. We are going to run some of the loser stuff uh, off stream, but we did want to see if we can try to get everybody else on stream. Uh, if you haven't already. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom. Bracket. There you go. So we still got, oh, we got Pack Z yeah. coming up. Oh, I forgot we're going to get a Lewain on stream. Hell Ooh. yes. Yeah, That's so gonna be real uh, as fun we're right continuing there. to go down, uh, specifically the winner's round one, it should be MBK Coach versus How It's Error first. Uh, and Ooh, then you'll see Tinker yeah. versus Pax. So if uh, I, I, know you, I know you're excited about Pax, but you got to win one more match, okay? <laughs> ah, I want to see the Lewain. I got to see the Parsley. This is going to be so good, too. Like, 
Yeah. Coach? Oh, no. Pa- uh, Chris Zer? Oh, oh. Cool. Well, that's going to be sick, because that's going to be the two most recent characters as well, um, UL and uh, Andre. So we'll have uh, both of those uh, newer characters on deck there uh, if they play who we expect them to play. I haven't seen... I've been watching some Andre footage. Uh, do, do, so what, is it, what, what, what do we call him as a scene? Because we call him Uncle Uno? Do we call him Andre? Do we just mix and match as appropriate? Whatever sounds it, it, better it, it depends on if you're. It depends on if you're playing in English or Japanese, uh, because that's how the name changes. It's the same thing with Lediva. Gotcha. Or okay. So, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So I can uh, use either Andre one. is... Anri is the English name, and then Uno is okay. the Japanese name. Gotcha. Oh, we're going I Japanese for this one. We're going Frieza. We're going Frieza. Right. Uncle Uno out here. This Uncle, Uncle Uno. Uno. This Uncle Uno. I'm sick to it. I'm sick to it. Uncle all right. All right. <laughs> Unki Uno? <laughs> Unki Uno? I won't say Unki on stream. I won't say Unki on stream. You know, I apologize. I feel bad about it. Ugh, gross. Bad mouth feel. This is... <laughs> <laughs> bad mouth feel. <laughs> I do feel like this is... This is going to be a weird matchup because I, I just... Not many people have kind of taken to this character. He's really a specific yes. style of poking and full range and mid range. And with the counters, you got to be super careful because mm-hmm. if you get jumped in on, it might be a wrap. Like that character does not do well when you're in front of someone's face like that. And he's not really about mm-hmm. like long combos and stuff like that. He's really about just poking away explosions, the reckless and yeah. stuff like that. When we find these hits, and like, you really got to find the counter hits to keep things going too. So you have to right. really time and space out your moves really right. Um, and having the parry stuff works out pretty well, but if it can get called out, you might get pieced up. However, UL has to come through. The onus is on her to stop the obstinance, and she's got to come to you. So I'm curious to see how it's going to work out, because not much of I've seen mm-hmm. a lot of, to be honest. Yeah, she actually has trouble against uh, zoning um, as, a, as a tool, because she doesn't have a lot of ways to advance inward past it. She does have her JU, which gives her a little bit of a dive kick. Not that you're going to try to use it for offense, but you can try to use it to get yeah. um, up and above the trajectory of projectiles. So that might help her out in this matchup. Because, yeah, you were talking about how hard it's mm. going to be with how um, with how uh, Uno can just keep you away. If can keep you away. I watched a little bit of was watching a little bit of M- uh, Coach to get caught up on things. And yeah, that's so much of that. So much of the gameplay is just using that fireball equivalent. It's almost like a beam similar to Zeta's. I don't know if it's actually classified the same way as Zeta's beam, but it looks a little bit similar to it with how the usage of it plays out. So I imagine that that's going to be like the first neutral check that UL is going to have to deal with and then try to get past that. However, though, how it's there, there's no, uh, no, no slouch here. Yeah, uh, so this also is definitely still completely a lot of work. doable. Yeah, it's doable, and it's one of those things where, I, you know, I ain't trying to prophesize no, nobody's demise out here. I ain't trying to put it down like that. What I am going to say is, though, is I feel like it's going to be difficult until difficult to UL gets in. It's not a matchup that yes. I'm super familiar with, so this is one of those where it's well, great to is. have these invitationals. Yeah, I mean, like, nobody really plays, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to put it out there. Like, nobody really plays that character that much. So it's, it's not a super popular character. It's, again, a specialized character. UL is definitely a character we've seen a lot of, so seeing how these two are going to clash is going to be great. And having, and again, an invitational, a top-level action out here to show you all you know, that top level play of how this could play out, of a matchup can play out, is one of the benefits of watching this. And one of the benefits of you guys coming mm-hmm. through. It's not just, oh, you're, you're, mad, you're, you're fighting an Uncle Uno in ranked, you know, the long lost Uncle in ranked that, that you ain't seen in a minute. No, you're fighting the real one that comes to the function quite a bit, always laying it down. That's the real, that's the real uncle right here, the, your favorite uncle. This one right here, your favorite uncle. Not the one you see in rank, not the one you don't even, you don't even know his name. The one that regularly know his name, but you know Coach. Yeah. You know Coach. Oh, yeah. Well, Coach has been showing up, and however, mm-hmm. though, we'll have to wait just a moment for Coach, though, because it looks like we're going to take a small break here as we try to get some stuff sorted out. So uh, I think we're going to be passing it to a break here, and then we will be popping back in with uh, that matchup there for Coach versus Howitzer. So we'll be back at y'all in just a minute for Grand Sky Rumble. This is Jeff Stop, home of the Jeff Box Video Game Loot Subscription Service. Jeff Box is the golden standard to get retro video games delivered straight to your front door. With tons of quality titles and customization options, see why gamers everywhere are saying glory to Jeffbox. Subscribing is simple. Just follow these three easy steps. One, choose a plan. Choose between the standard edition or the premium edition. Our standard edition is meant for budget conscious collectors, whereas the premium edition is intended for collectors looking for more valuable games or just more games in general. Either way, both options give you amazing games. Two, Set your gaming preferences so we can personalize your Jeffbox to make it uniquely yours. Just go to My Account, then Game Preferences, and fill out the form so we can get you the games you want. You can share which game genres and systems you want games for, your wish list of games, your current list of games to avoid duplicates, and more. 
Three, your games will ship by the end of the month. Open your Jeff box and enjoy your games. It always ends like this. It's that simple. A Jeff box is not given to you. It is something you must take for yourself. So be sure to visit jeffstop.com now and let the nostalgia take you back. Jeff Stop, we hate gamers, but we love you.
Hello, everybody. We are back with Grand Sky Rumble. My name is Swell. I'm here with St. Cola. This is being put on by the Ronin Rumble crew. St. How are you doing tonight? Today. This afternoon I'm still. Fantastic. What am I talking about? Afternoon, today, whatever it is. Time is time does not exist. They try to switch our clocks, but I don't care. All I care about is this great grand blue action. We've seen a lot of blows. We've seen a lot of upsets. We've seen some variety. We've seen the DLC. We've seen the old school. But mm -hmm. what we're seeing here and we'll continue to see is the top level action. This is an invitational. Yes. 16 players enter. Only one is going to leave. And I've got some favorites, what? but I ain't gonna say it on stream because uh, I'll get hit up in the Twitter, so I I'm gonna keep Go. that to myself. <laughs> okay, okay, keep it into the chest. I get it, I get it. Gotta keep it close to your chest. We've seen some blow-ups already. We had a couple of people that, uh, if you do want to follow along with the bracket as for the loser side matches as well, you can follow along with the bracket mm -hmm. being ran through Matcharino. You can find the link in the Twitch chat, I believe. Someone should be able to drop that link for you there. And we've already had some blow-ups here that were a little unexpected. 2D McGee, an, an Arc Revo champion, was already sent to the lower half of the bracket from round one? Are you kidding me? This is what happens in an invitational, though. Because like St. Cola was saying, we got the best the best coming out here to punch each other in the face for your entertainment. So I do hope that y'all are appreciating mm -hmm. the fine work that everybody is putting out there for you. Uh, we had another couple of folks who don't show up often. Uh, Kizzy K did show up, but was uh, defeated by King John a little earlier. And sent to lower mm -hmm. half of the bracket. Percival didn't quite work out. And King John's and Lancelot was working, working pretty well putting out that work as well. Damn, I used the word working well too many times. They both start with the same letter, though, so I got a little bit of alliteration, so I'm going to take that to the bank. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Mitted, please. <laughs> All right, so we for matches coming up, I believe our next match is going to be Howitzer versus... Uh, who do we have coming up? Oh, it was Howitzer and Coach, NBA. Coach, yes. And Showing up with that. Rumor Uno. has it... Yeah, I was about to say, rumor has it means we kind of put in work with the Uno and not a character that personally, you know, when that character dropped the first couple of weeks, ranked was was full of people testing that character out. I don't get to run my game plan against that character. I hate fighting Uncle Uno out here because this jerk just keeps you out. Long range pokes, looking for the counter hits to keep mm -hmm. the pressure on. And if you try to, you know, on the grounded side of things, try to swing at him and they make the right read with the parries that they have multiple of is damage. It's problems. Yeah. It is issues. But if you get the jump in, you could get the win. If you keep the pressure on, it could be difficult for them too as well. Let's see if that happens because he's going to be fighting against UL. Yeah, UL, and we talked about this a little bit earlier, UL probably going to have some trouble fighting in through the ranked options of UNO, but let's see how that pans mm -hmm. out here. I think our players are trying to sort out here for a button check first, and then we'll be getting into the action. So this here should be just a technical check before the gameplay kicks off. Because, yeah, UL does have that auto counter stance as well, which might work out well against some of uno's options uh, just because the, the far range buttons there you can't just throw those out as freely if ul might go into a counter stance which will then clip you no matter where you are but let's see how it pans exactly. out on the flip side i'm wondering if some of yule's advancing moves may not work out to her benefit against the potential of uno's uh, parries and the counters that uno has which is kind of a kind of a neat aspect there and you were saying too about the uh the ranch was blown up with Uno when the character first dropped. Obviously, that happens whenever a new DLC character drops. But I feel like whenever a parry-based character drops in a game that doesn't have parries, everyone's like, that's it. Time for my Daigo moment. That's and everyone I, wants to show up. I, yeah. Exactly. They're like, <laughs> I play Third Strike. I'm a Third Strike player. It's No, you're not. You, you never you yeah. never even touch the game. You, you barely ever touch parry I'm Third Strike it since 95. <laughs> <laughs> at least see you're honest well you're honest other people yeah, here are honest with the counter play counter characters and they're like uh, they're mashing the counter button like bro i got the berries i'm just like daigo no you're not you need to put a little bit more Back effort it into it coach even if this is a button check we might maybe we might be seeing also the Ooh. other protagonist we might be seeing the other the Ooh. alternate costume a character that's been kind of nerfed a little bit the gina yeah we might be seeing a gina yeah it, it could be possible this could, this could be, this could Gita's be it. Been, uh, it might not, Gita got I toned down a little bit, but, which, yeah, uh, Gita got toned down a little bit, but still a pretty strong character, got some new tools that she didn't have access to before, even though she lost some other mm. stuff, so it's possible we could see the Gita come out. Yeah. I'm not sure if the Gita matchup right. is better versus UL, but I could see it as uh, UL does have a little bit of an atypical kit compared to a lot of other people, so you might want someone who you're a little more familiar with and you don't have to deal with anything. But uh, for now, yeah. it looks like we're going to have Gita coming out here against Howitzer's UL. And I said Isn't this Gita earlier when we had UL on stream. About... Hmm? Yeah. Sorry? I, you know, I, I was going to say that we, we were talking about all this Uncle Uno, but it's all about the Gita. Yeah. And you were talking about the, the nerfs that have happened. It really, 
matters more about getting the counter hits off the unique and stuff like that she doesn't get as much corner push as she used to off you know easy yes. you know easy uh you know come through with the neutral stuff like that she's got to put her mind to it but she's still strong and she still allows oh she still got the cha cha slide like yeah yeah she's, oh, yeah, she's she... still good she's still good with the side to the left oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah right. she's still fine she's it's still very, very strong. And uh, I said this earlier, too. Uh, we have this set to the JP Voices, so for anybody hoping to hear that Southern Belle UL, uh, my apologies, we cannot deliver on that. It's got the <laughs> JP Voices going on here, as decided by player votes. Uh, if they wanted the commentator yeah, vote, yeah. I would have tried to veto all of this on your behalf out there. <laughs> uh, but for now, though, it looks like we're going to be getting into this action here. We are going to be rocking with that Jita, so let's see how mm. this pans out. Jita does have uh, some pretty... She has good reach on a lot of her buttons there, but a lot of the buttons make it called out by the counter stance, depending on how it works, or uh, depending on how it's used, rather, by how it's her. But, you know, both sides here. Obviously, this is invitational. Obviously, both players got some uh, got some skill behind their but behind what they can do here, and they were going to deliver it. And they're going to deliver it right now, because we are all living by delivery, because ain't nobody going out nowhere to get nothing. So let's see what we can get from this action right here. That's right. You better stay it. home. Don't leave the house yet. <laughs> and we're not going to be leaving this Grand Blue action, people. If you haven't tweeted out right now, and I feel like Gina might Please actually be so. not a bad pick. You got a DP. You also have the fireballs mm -hmm. and the charge-ups right here that she's got to deal with. Oh, nice she's got to fall the fireballs, you will. And you see right here the pressure. Oh, this is the kind of they've been running for a while. And you see, again, how this is Damn, working. Damn, knows how to Constant pressure, work. constant damage. Yeah. Nice, catches the run up throw here. Was it going to be from how it's there? Oh, just ooh, thought about going in there, but then White got gunshot. Mm, unfortunate. I'm not sure what the, what the logic was there. Trying to take that time there, and then Gita just came out swinging, and it worked out for Coach. Maybe All right. to press like a, a you know the far the far you know in button or just like the bless two L or the sorry bless mm -hmm. Danny L. Those buttons can lead to quite <laughs> a bit, but that that ah, that two the in, in the distance. Nice DP, though. Damn, catch it with the DP after the dive kick. The dive kick there doesn't combo a lot of the time unless you have, like, pretty specific angles of how it's coming down, so not surprising that it didn't work out. Oh, tries to go with the swing there. Got, almost got called out afterwards. Okay, closes in here. A lot of respect being shown to this DP, too, from how it's there. Like, multiple times has gotten knocked out and then just, like, gives space from it. So the EX just blocks it out. Hit. I like this, but has to hold the throw. We let it out here, trying to tr transfer in and out of the stance, just keep guessing. Violet Sky, try to get a little close there. Oh, got the clash! Clash! Clash, and then the spot dodge, clash. and nothing! Yo! Okay. I like how we go right into the stance to try to catch all these buttons, but you still see Coach going with the ace fireball. Fireball. One more hit will do it from Coach! Catch and this, slide. After the, yes, the finish! Doesn't even need the Skybound art, stay solid with it. Coach, we were sitting here talking about mm -hmm. the Uncle Uno, put him back, put him back on the shelf! Put him back on the shelf! We're gonna pull out the Don't G. need him, don't need him. Who we see? Don't need him. We don't need him. <laughs> Give me the classic. I'll take the top shelf, please. The classic right there. Narmaya. Okay. Oh. Narmaya, we got the stance character from season one. So we are rolling it back. All right. Let's go. We got season one DLC battle. Wonder. Okay. You bring it up. Listen, I paid the money. I'm going to use this character. I, pay, I put the <laughs> six bucks on the on the line. There's I'm a lifetime license. Character. Mm. Hey, uh, full, full, full disclosure, I promise. I promise I didn't pick people based on if they were going to pick Narmaya or not. I promise. I didn't. <laughs> it just so it's happens that we're going to by Narmaya's. <laughs> okay, okay. This is the second one we see today. These are like <laughs> unicorns. Right? I know. Okay, let's check, check it with the uh, crouch buttons there. Oh, he goes for the forward slash there. Doesn't quite get a lot out of it. Gets the jump in there. Whoa, goes right to the moon slash out of the dash. Nice stuff. Oh, we should move in. Oh, hell oh, yes. Look at this corner BB. combo. Better hold that, nice. better I love hold that, that button for damn dear life! <laughs> right, though, catch it with a big two ways. Not able to convert anything out of it, though. Pop with the EXDP, but not, not too bad, though. Just push, push out of the corner. Oh no, the sweep. Oh, yes. Not able to get anything out of it. Back to the DP there once this more. This is the thing, the damage that she could do compared to Normaya is way different here. EX gets up oh, and up, so right in the sky belt arc. Coach on set point. Oh, damn, we need to get the thing. Exactly, you have to dial it oh. out. I'm trying to see the whole anime. He's just showing me one arc. Please, give it to me. <laughs> Back to the button here, though. How it's error, though. Showed up looking, looking kind of strong, though, so not out of this guess yet. Could be. Could still turn this around. Ooh, Coach, mm -hmm. though, looking real strong. Has to hold that fireball, get pushed in the corner here. Oh, really? Didn't go for the throw there on the lockup? I thought it was coming. Nice to rage. Side oh, switch, no. gets the hit. EX. Oh, the knockdown. Is the counter for the D for the 
Ooh, kind of makes a pressure. Trying to push in here. Wow, bounces off the Moonslash. Narmaya's been very heads up using that Moonslash well. Oh, you better see me go in EX. Dagger step, EX fireball, dash up, throw, there's throw a throw finish. Coach! Wanna throw coach. it? Yeah, Let me coach you on some neutral. Let me coach you on some neutral. Next time react. Mm. Next time react. Let me coach you. So thanks, I'll coach. I'll hit my drills. <laughs> 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 Alright. You took you it there. Coach. Over how is there. <laughs> you gotta coach. Don't make me do blow-ups, please. Please, please. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much, coach. It's too much. <laughs> Coach, I got I got biology after this, please. I ain't got time to shower. I can't go into class all sweaty. And <laughs> so coach takes <laughs> Coach takes it over how it's there. Uh, how it's there is into the lower half oh. of the bracket. Uh, we should have at least a couple more matches here coming up for you on deck soon. I think we got Pac Z coming mm -hmm. up. Yes, we got Pac Z and Tinker on deck. I think that's gonna be our last. So that might be our oh I, I should get the match arena bracket loaded up. Damn, look at me, I'm behind the times here. I like how there's a threat in the chat. Tinker, if you don't win this, you don't you don't eat. Listen, you better win the whole Yo. damn tournament. It's not just about this one round. It's about the entire tournament. There is over seven hundred dollars on the line. I'm telling you, that's an entire Uber Eats delivery Excuse right there. Me? I ain't talking about the food. I'm talking about the delivery. All right, because you know so the, the donation you know the burger. It's like ten bucks, and it's whoa. Hold on now. Excuse eight, me, this donation. Hold up now. Don't go wild with it. Let's go. Yo, almost breaking eight hundred dollars. Yo, come on, you can add five dollars. I'm pretty sure one of the manga quests adds five dollars to the prize pool. So, don't, don't sleep on that manga, folks. That's a hell of a prize pool. Don't take a nap. No, I'm gonna I'm I'm tr I'm try him in because we we did get a bunch of people, I guess, donating their stimmies. <laughs> Yo, the <laughs> stimmy uh, donation. Oh, hey, the thank stimmy you. On it. <laughs> Yeah, so, so you know, just gotta give a couple of shout outs to Kor Korotama donating 71.58, Organic Fresh donating 23, we got Rowlet, Bosun, we got Zero Syndicate, one of our commentators, Origin Tree using Yo. that Matcherino code, my actual brother donating <laughs> 10 bucks, <laughs> <laughs> my, my actual brother. <laughs> Yo, big up to Ebonic Big Brother. <laughs> Big brother Ivan. Uh, my, 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 brother, my, my brother is a professional wrestler, and you can follow him at Air Jordan. Uh, just, just throw that out there. No, your brother's a pro wrestler. <laughs> yeah, that's so sick. I did that, pro wrestling for a little bit, like amazing. a couple of months. It's, that's, that's super sick, though. Oh, God. Air Jordan's the name. <laughs> but no, for real though. In in actuality, we are almost at eight hundred dollars. Everyone, thank you so much. This is insane. I absolutely didn't expect to make it this far in the match arena, and i heavily appreciate it you guys are awesome thank you this is so sick all right so we have got this tinker amazing. and pack z coming up tinker I, I must be honest i have not seen a ton of tinker's gameplay so i'm not entirely sure what to expect yeah. pack z i've seen play a whole bunch though so pack z i'm pretty familiar with tinker though it's a Tell little uh, not, not quite on my radar pack z okay so, uh, so yeah we'll pack see, z we'll uh, so, uh, I was going to say, we'll see Tinker Tell me more about Pax. For Pax, really? Pax, I've seen a lot play Sorry, the on audio Disney is Night off. Fights. Yeah, the audio is getting... Uh, okay. <laughs> our, my, my, my levels are getting weird here. Uh, yeah, but uh, Pax Z... Pax Z played a lot in Wednesday Night Fights and has a strong Wayne as well as strong fundamentals across a lot of other games as well. So is one of those players where okay. they're showing up with the character who is the weird character, but they also have all the fundamental gameplay and all the knowledge to back up playing the weird, silly character that people right. might underestimate. Mm -hmm. Which is honestly one of the scariest combinations of player and character for my money, because like then, oh wait, you don't even need the weird stuff to win with this character. You can just win straight up, but then they also have the weird stuff, right. which is a, a lot to contend with. Uh, and I believe Pax Z even has a couple of different... I believe Pax Z has a couple of characters on deck as well, aside from the Lil Wayne. I just know that Lil Wayne is who they tend to prefer to play. Uh, but uh, okay. we're just in a button so check right now. To, uh, yeah, so that makes sense to have like multiple characters. Again, we've been talking about that again, but the mm -hmm. different style of having multiple victory. characters... Um, you know, putting your own style, like being a neutral heavy person with with the wacky characters, that is that's unusual. Because then you're you're like, oh, they're gonna mix me. And they're like, I'm I'm mixed later, but I'm gonna rush you down with the neutral first. I'll put you in a corner, and when you think you're not gonna get got, you're gonna get got. So, oh yeah. If we, I wonder what we're gonna see for packs. Um, 
and also from Tinker. I see some Tinker fans up on the chat. I see y'all saying, master your heart's content. I want to see some, Yo, I want to see the blowouts. I want to see some big damage. I want to see the counter hits coming through. I want to see that screen shake. I want to see that screen Damn. shake. Yo, Dan, trying try to put those strive counter hit notifications in this game. <laughs> put it across the whole damn screen. Counter. Counter. <laughs> so you really know. So you really know. Right? Oh, All right, man. okay, so looks like we got Uno, actually. Oh, oh this is the Uncle Uno coming through. Okay. All right, let's go for it. I'm just glad now because my Uno notes are worth something, and as, a, as opposed to not seeing Uno earlier. <laughs> yeah. That's about it all that much, and now we've already laid the groundwork. All right, let's go. Exactly. Getting, getting beat right. up on the rank with, with all these day one Unos, week one Unos actually worked out. Now we get to see some Uno people. I've wondered, and you see them kind of switching like, how do I? What do I fight this character with? What do I do? What, what character should I pick? If, in my opinion, yeah. you want to pick a character that if they get a jumper, they're going to get that win. Bell, when they get close mm -hmm. enough, could actually put the work on this character. We'll I see, imagine we'll that uh, Bell's command, that Bell's grab options as well, probably work well, uh, work out decently against Ooh. Uno because Uno has the counters and stuff like that. So, and a lot of the times counters will only be activated by a hit, not by a throw. So, mm -hmm. maybe helpful. Uh, I've been fighting characters in another game that have uh, Fiken in F plus R, has guard cancels, but then you just use throws against her and then she can't use her guard cancels, so it's like another tool in the deck here. So, you know, maybe that might will factor right. in here a little bit with the Belial, but we'll see. Uh, either way, excited yeah. to see what Paxi brings to the table with this Uno, who's gonna be showing up right now and talking about the table, gonna be clearing off that table with that spear, waving it back and forth, getting that shooting out. My apologies, that was shooting out those lasers. And this, this, you only need a couple buttons with this character. You only need a couple buttons. But again, you have to find the counter hits if you want the damage. Well, the damage on the deck, you gotta find the counter hits. And this might be difficult. The fireball pressure from this character, from that is Bell. Also, when he gets in, is going to make things real unusual. But round start, we're at full screen. Packs can play this way. Look at this. We are taking our time with this pace here. Oh. My dude's got a big, big cloak, too. I like that. That's a giant cloak. How come we don't wear cloaks no more as a society? Yeah, swing it's swinging over here. He's hit by the Asmo. Uh-oh. It's where he suffers. Right, ooh, face right here. And you see Pax. Oh. Right. Yo, again, Max mid distance, but gets too close. This is what happens. You pay the price. Yeah. Skybound up from the face. All right. Still, still alive here, so still has a chance. Let's see, what, see what happens here. Blocks the Ju. Blocks the once more. Not able to block block too long though, and got scooped for your troubles. That is round one. Where? On the team. Where is it? Where's that rule? Where's where that? Where's that? That that uh, evil moment. Thirty-seven. I was at the wrong thing. <laughs> I was at <laughs> the wrong one. I did the wrong one. one. <laughs> I, was, I had to stop I myself. I said, hold up now. Yeah, that was a different one. That's a different number right there. I need to see the 37 right. though up on the deck right here because my man's getting beast up. All right, yeah, it's not a perfect part. Wait, no, no, no. It's like not quite a perfect one. But Tinker's still looking really strong here against Pack Z. The thing is though, even if this Uno goes under, Pack Z has a lot of other characters under their belt. They can pull out. But now though, trying to make it happen, Uno gets the big tower again in the corner. Here's a different front opening. That's gonna be has meter on deck as well, so you can see an opening into the extra lights. The damage. Okay, yeah, here's the second time too. Hold this, but goes for the EXTP. I like that. Bust out. Going to start his pressure. Mm. And going on the offense. Even work some out. offense. And now, going into the skybound art. This will be a finish right here. You're wasted. Peace out, Pax Z. Tinker takes mm. it. That's first game. So Pax Z could go back to character select here. Might be rocking it with the Uno. Uh, didn't, Uno didn't seem to have too much luck. We did get we did get to see like the full sequence from Uno of like give me a corner combo into a setup with my Astro Lance, but the Astro Lance didn't quite work out. Pax Z wants to roll with the right. Uno, so I'm gonna stick with this. Let's do it. Uh, you know, Uno again has to get that max distance and trying to poke away. I feel like mm -hmm. there's a lot of moments where Pax Z's trying to come in. And that may be not always the great, the greatest of uh, or, you know, cases, because look at what happened now. Tinker's content to block mm -hmm. it out, come through, EX connects, they'll get some distance going for it, and gets no jump in. And these are the moments right here, you gotta be careful of, again, sweep in now. Mm -hmm. Tinker's content to That's mash good. out. He's listening to his friends, he said, I'm pressing buttons. I'm doing it, I'm believing in my friends who believe in my match. I'm doing it. <laughs> Tinker's on it here in the corner here. Oh, gets pushed back in the corner here, Pack Z with the light lead. Not even going to play a double net. There's a little bit of lockdown here. Almost.
close to be able to close it out with Crow. Not quite close enough just yet. Watch the five you get side swap does Tinker. Now sitting at death's door. Ooh, nice. Uses the 214 EX to scoot, scoot on in there and backs off afterwards. Not want to get too risky with it. Fireball gets used. Oh, overhead gets stuffed by the five or G. My mistake. Tries to jump on in there. Plus DP. That'll close it out. But here's the down. Woo, that was looking dire because you know it's one good combo off the corner push right there would have oh, been yeah. it right there. And you saw how defiant Tinker was to keep things going. And I actually like that aggression right there. Still, Tag's able to squeeze it out. Again, you have to. I feel like it's one of those matches where you definitely have to get that that good good round start. The first half of the round has to be in your favor. You get to kind of dictate what the pace is. But Mal yeah. doesn't let you always do that. Oh no. Yeah, EX Asmo here for the corner combo. And end it with the EXDP. What's going to be set up afterwards? Goes for a ring. It's way high up there. It comes down with the JU. I use Fireball for the plus frame. Tries to get JU again. It's crossed over onto the other side instead. You're going to see a nice field combo here from Pax Z. Are we going to see the seven spear set up? Oh no! Oh, I, I don't believe that was. I gotta think that that was a drop and not an intentional whiff. That was EX as well. And that really hurts. Oh, now, gets the juggle right into the situation. No I like that. Still a big damage. Going. damage. To him. To be here. Caught in the corner. Fireball. This is so scary to be in the corner against a oh, wild like that. Tried to get the side swap again, didn't work out. Who oh, didn't oh. believe in the confirm? Ah, still a bit close to the corner. Tinker. Takes round two. We're on round three here. And this is game point. He's almost game there. Point for Tinker. And this is one of those moments where we see. Hmm? It's one of those moments where we've seen like this character where we've seen like Tinker. Uh, again, if he gets in, he knows that he can run his game plan. You might get a round off of him here and there, but overall, this kind of stress benefits a character like Bell. You got a DP, you got constant pressure off the EX Fireball. You can really reel them in, and having that jump, you also can get that win. And this is the kind of constant pressure that we've seen before. Time and time again for this character. Put him in the corner. Oh, don't let him, don't let him. Lots of DP. Counter hit, because it might be done. Hold on now. Okay. Let's go, Paxi. Oh, no. Ha Looks like they had it for a moment, but then the EX Fireball... Oh, sorry, the auto stream into the EX Fireball, setting up for the SBA confirmation. That's going to close it out. Unfortunate for Paxi and their Uno, but Tinker is both Belial. A little too strong here. Belial going to show off those abs here in the close-up. A hmm, little uncomfortable, but damn, that's Belial for you. And Tinker advances on <laughs> on the winner's side, and Paxi sets to the lower half of the back. Unfortunate for so it goes. He didn't, he didn't was, uh, buy this game? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just want to say that Tinker didn't buy this game to not press buttons. I'm not saying that in a bad way. <laughs> Tinker bought this game to press buttons, okay? Tinker bought this game to press the buttons, and Bell's a great character to do that. You've got constant pressure. Right. Game. When he has that close range, the 2M, the plus range, and things like that, keeping the Inks Fireball going long and strong mm -hmm. out here. EXDP, when he feels uncomfortable and unusual, able to get out of the pressure of the setups that Pax wasn't able to get, get off. Like, it was just a wrap. Yeah. So it seemed like another yeah, clean well one for Tinker to move on the bracket. Yeah, once once uh once Tinker got in there, I was able to just make it happen, and it was unfortunate for Pax Z. I really wanted to see that Lewayne, but so it goes, and the uh, Uno didn't work out. But you know what? You got to run with those characters, the new characters in tournament, because you, you got to see how they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. You can't always go back to your old standards if those are the characters that you're used to, and you want to add somebody else to your uh, to your roster of characters that right. you can play. And honestly, if you're gonna do that, do it on the winner side. Don't don't do that in the loser side unless you are have a long set to play that through. But otherwise. Take your risks up front. Yeah. But yeah, Tinker was able to advance though. <laughs> Big ups to them. And I will rem remember that name now because I Paxi, no slouch. So somebody going over pa Paxi, something to take note of. Big ups to you, Tinker. And big ups to everybody making this Metro yeah, happen. I am still shocked that I'm seeing this 803 yeah. in the bottom left hand corner. It is, it we is jaw dropping. And, uh, and humbling. Which is already insane, right? <laughs> right? Um, but uh, one thing I wanted to note about that match is that was Mexico versus Canada. Just throwing that out there. Yo! Whoa! Mexico versus Canada? Some distance, distance. All right. Yo. There's a beauty parsec. Let's Canada. go parsec. A beauty parsec. And, uh, that was sure to happen. We couldn't do it normally. Yeah, right? Yeah, big ups to, I was mentioned earlier, uh, Tong uh, runs Tampa Never Sleeps and uh, a lot of the Marvel 3 stuff happening nowadays with a bunch of parsec servers. Big ups to Tong uh, for loaning us some of the servers to make this happen here so that we can uh, make all this happen. And of course, big ups to everybody running stuff behind the scenes here. Because we are running things on Parsec, there is a little bit more um, nuance rather than just everybody go join a lobby or something and sort it out for yourself. So mm -hmm. big ups and big thank yous to everybody helping it, make, helping it happen uh, with the Parsec stuff. And thank you to everybody here for watching and following along with us for the Grand Sky Rumble. Trying to see what match we have coming up next here. Pick out. Ooh, yeah, so it's going to be our last. Uh, 
Leaders round one match. It's going to be Rice Boy versus Mars. So we're going to get uh, West Coast oh, versus Midwest. Yeah, Mars is fighting yes, out of the Midwest with right uh, there. Torres, right? Let's yes, go. I was about to say, that's, mid that's not Midwest, that's Midwest. Mars has been put in the work of the Viking Dome. Been putting up work elsewhere. Sorry. Yo, say what you check with the Soares. Say what you check with the Soares. That's my boy so Mars yeah. coming through. So I'm yeah. going to give the advice, I'm going to do it for him. Well, so yeah. It's my grandpa so powerful. Stop praying for him. Got to go up against Rice Boy. Uh, you know, I've got to remember who Rice Boy played. I've seen them play before, but again, commentary memory, not so good. It's Bell. Okay, so it will be the Bell. Because I saw it on the, on the card, but you know, a lot of y'all have been coming through with different characters and messing the whole script up. I'm looking through my script and you're supposed to be playing this character and you're playing some random... Playing Uno? Playing Uno? I ain't got... Really? I ain't got cattle to jokes on deck. Come on now. Please. Exactly. Work with me. Exactly. Give us a second. We're getting this button check right now. We're getting this button check right now. We're getting stuff sorted out. Also, say, uh, I used to be in Chicago for like 10 years. Like that, that was like for a while oh. back though. And then I left right before uh, some of the FGC stuff exploded out that way. So I can't wait to come back to Chicago sometime. I want want y'all to show me a good time. So yeah. I guess come. You always welcome. Well, yeah. You always welcome. Oh yeah. I'm just, I'm, you I'm always, in Chicago. You, all, you always be Chicago. Yeah, that's right. I claim like three different cities now for my region. It's great. The East Coast did that. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm from SoCal. SoCal did that? That's me. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that's my dub. That's my dub. <laughs> I, I, See, I, 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 hey, I you, live... know, you take those. You take those. Oh, yeah. I live, I live West Coast. I live Midwest. I live East Coast. Doesn't matter who wins a tournament. That's my W. <laughs> All yeah. right, but let's see who gets this W I'm right there. now. With... With... <laughs> with Rice Boy and Mars, let's see who gets this W. Mars is going to be rolling in with Soros, and Soros has been eating well this season. Soros mm. has some stuff that has been uh, tuning him up, while, Bela while Bell has been having yeah. some stuff that has been tuning him down. I don't... I Both characters are still very, very strong, so both characters absolutely got the tools to make things happen. But yeah. let's, see, let's see how this pans out. Oh, yeah, I think Soros has definitely got more, a lot more quality of life kind of things. I saw him to play the yes. play the game, and plus with the way that the the, the shift of the, the the meta has been, where it's like less goofy stuff, has definitely allowed him to swing you know real hard. And when he gets those yes. hits, he can win. He still lacks a defense, but Mars innately is a great defensive player and knows how to switch things up. Then again, Rice Boy seen him play a few times. Gonna be hard to. Uh, that's the one person that's been able to break down these kind of walls. So we'll have to see what happens here. Two M does not get converted by like the fireball pressure right off the bat. No two H though. The round start spot dodge on the EX fireball. How, let me let me tell you that I know what you're thinking. I love it. That's a, that's a mind game uh, show off right there. I love it. Let's see what Mars can do with it. Though. It was nice try. Yeah, like you were saying. Like like like, like you were saying too. Uh, the fact that the rest of the field got tuned down a little bit gives Sora much more more room to play and get his stuff up. However, though, right now Rice Boy is leaving no room for Sora to get anything. I mean, Mars is getting shoved back in the corner here. Oh, gets the side swap. Oh, here this we go. Yeah. This could be something. He's got pressure. It. It's got to be all offense. Pops off the close. He took the build, but it's okay. not enough. Went limp. Okay, that's all right, though. It doesn't. We need a lot more than That's fine. That's fine. Uses the DP yeah, in little, round one of the first game. Yeah, but the, using mm -hmm. the DP round one of the first game it is, you know, shows that I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's okay. You know, it, it, as, as the offensive player here, you have to take the risk once you, uh, you know, Diaper up. That's that's fair. It's what you gotta do. So expect that sometimes. Diaper up. <laughs> Yo, grandpa. Sometimes you know you gotta get the get the double stuff on there to make sure things don't leak. Let's go. But my man's leaking up the damage. Finds the ex. Gotta find a little bit more though. It's the fireball right okay, here. Go, that's go for the rush pain point for this character. Yeah, I was gonna say the pain point for this character is like the fireball in the zone and stuff like that. But if you save with the chest, put him chest. in the corner. The soya. Oh, almost got it. Gets with it. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Sora is here, taking around. Right Mars oh, on see, the board. See my man rear up the, the, with the hands, the, with the with the rear up with the hands like that. Like yo, I'm coming. Oh, he's winding up. You gonna feel these fists? I'm just, I'm just saying, if I had to go to like a sports game with somebody, Sora is probably at the top of my list of people that I'm trying to party with. I think that's that game. He's gonna be wild in the crowd. Right? Let's yeah, go. yeah. Popping up here in the corner. Checks with this that well. for <laughs> reason. Yo, right? <laughs> Goes to the flex there. No bait taken though from Rice Boy. I'm trying to get in there, check the buttons. Oh, the back sweet. Way. What's gonna be? Oh, it's it's the pressure is... right here. The chip. You know, it might block this out. Sorry. So much damage, right? You gotta find a way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He's a he's a chip fiend. You wouldn't think it from this guy. That's what he does. Make makes you scared, and you have to respond. Boom! Gets the counters as well. Get some stocks up. Boom! Hit with that big old SBA. Still has a ton of health here as well. I'm almost thinking Rice Boy may not have experience in this matchup. There's been so much pressure here that Mars has just had three in the corner. Oh, Rice Boy though. Never mind. Oh, I jump you. Jump you again. Run it again. And this is one of those things we have to guess if we're gonna do the unique to try to blow it up. But at the same time, it's one more hit to do it. Really? Oh, the sky battle hard to that catch. No go. Nope. That's a block and a punish. The weight and the bait. The plus and the finesse. And just like that, Mars. Mm. Saying it with this chest, mm. right here, right here, Mars. Let's go. That's a game I love it too. Checking, checking with that 2L as well. In this game, supers have a lot of startup time compared to a lot of other games. So that 2L, uh, you can safely insert that into strings a lot of the time, and you'll recover before the super might hit you. So, very heads up uh, use of data from Mars there. Right now, they're putting these fist teams on Rice Boy's face in the corner. Tries to flex with the chest, doesn't quite work out. Gets caught with a juggle with EX Fireball. Not even getting out of it though. Gets the JU into the side swap. This is so unfortunate for Mars right now. We well, need to get with the JU over and over again to keep that pressure, and especially with the EX to try to continue that pressure. Pop kick, one of the only rare moves they can use to have like them plus frames or not in my situation. But now, he minus on them. That damage, there's a down. Together. He's running it to the ground. Let's go. Yo, you telling me an old man uh, fried this price boy? What? <laughs> I was, I was stumbled with that one. I took a big swing for that one. I was, I was trying to do a rip on the, you told me that a shrimp fried this rice, but Mars fried this yeah, rice. I went for it. It didn't work out. It was a bit of a stretch, a bit of a stretch. I gotta go for Alright. Mars though, going for the pressure to keep him nothing but disagree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Locking the EX Fireball. Uh, it's the tech afterwards as well. As I'm running with the EX Rush Punch there. It's DP. Ooh, checks with the Flash. Follows up with the 2L afterwards. Nice mm. stuff. He's getting so much from it, and also I like how he's back away from the two M right there from Rice Boy. That's mm -hmm. the money maker of this character. You don't want to be hit by it. You see, he knows that I can just dash in, dash out. So I have the dash punch. Gets caught with the heavy though. Knocks out the fireball. Two M again. Constant pressure. EX. If Mars finds a few more hits, a few more sequences, it's a wrap. But same thing for Rice Boy. He gets him caught in the corner. SSBA range now as well, so that damage potential has got a little bit higher for Rice Boy. But Rice Boy can find a way to turn this into a solid. <sighs> okay, doesn't catch up the SSBA just yet, but one more hit should do it. Catches it with the flex. Another <gasps> damage off the flex, though. The walk up! Goes for it. Oh, the clothes are yeah, off! Got those. Don't play you! Let's do it! We gotta talk My about this? I thought we talked about this already! Oh, oh no, the that's, that's it. That's unfortunate, and there's the punish! Oh, oh, will, you, will you reach for Casper? <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, All right. Grandpa, Grandpa, he's reaching for nothing. Grandma's already gone. He reaching for nothing. Damn, I'm getting dark with it. Hold up, man. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Grandpa, Did you have to say Grandma's already gone? <laughs> oh. Okay, one <laughs> round piece here. If he loses this momentum, if he loses this momentum, he's super sad out here. We gotta keep going. <laughs> Just like these pressure keeps going after the, the, the ground pound, staying on top of things. <laughs> the X Fireball there gets flexed on a lot. Really good use from Mars with that, uh, with the, the flex in the right situations. Uh, you do, you do see Soros players go for it a lot, but Mars is actually finding situations where he's catching and trying to get some use out of it. However, every single time he's diapered up so far has not gone on their favor. I don't know if they want to keep going back to that. But hey, Mars knows better than I do. They're on the front yeah. I'm not. I'm just here on the side. Ooh, nice. The flex off the JU. Excellent stuff. This is a good play right here. Use the flex, put him in the corner. Yeah, that pressure right here from this character. There it is. Chip, gets a pickup off the EX dash punch. Goes in with the EX hands. And this again. This is one of the one-touch situations. Oh, late back for the damage. Goes low. Look at Mars playing patient. Oh, those openings. Off the heavy. Rice one with the conversion. That's gonna do it. Yeah, this dude probably was not much of a combo. Not much of a combo before that. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, doesn't do it, oh, no, doesn't no. do it. What's the wake up situation? No, wake up, you're doing it, you're doing it. With the wake up buttons. Mars, oh my with god. his chest. You thought, Grandpa was oh, never seen that the whole time. That. He knew the whole time. He was Grandpa awake. Knew. He was Grandpa awake knew. the whole damn time. Grandpa knew. Yeah, and in that knew. distance to do that, Skybound art, that is crazy. So smart Mars. and it worked out. Every single Flip time you that. thought Grandpa wasn't paying attention. Are you oh. serious? <laughs> Are you guys, hey, are you right serious? Here. Right here. Let's go. Orange yeah, well, tree, thank you. I, 
that's so good. wild. That was that was so godlike. <laughs> I, 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 I had one thing I was going to come in here and say, but <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be any better than that. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, so something I'm wondering, too, is, is, is Mars a player who's been around for a while in other games, or is this like their first game that they put a lot of time into? Do we know? I'm not 100% sure, but that. I, that's possible, but Mars is mad good. Like, oh, yeah. Well, I was every say, single week like in the a, Midwest. It looked a lot to me like, and I, I can't speak to Rice Boy's experience either, but when Mars had Rice Boy in the corner just running safe pressure, like not worried about taking time in the situation, because it was once things got messy and got into, oh, we have to have a lot of interactions with each other, uh, where there's a uh, constant button trading, that's where things got messy for Mars and where Rice Boy was looking strong. So Mars just yeah. said, nah, nope. Not even, not even dealing with this. I just wanted to keep away, and it worked out really, really well for Mars. And Mars advances on into round two. Rice Boy sent to the lower half of the bracket. I mean, and if you want to follow along with the lower half of the bracket, yeah. hit up the Metrino. Okay, hey, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One more time. I, we, we are. That was our last winners round one match uh, of the tournament. So a lot more matches are going to be happening off stream now. Uh, just an FYI, things are about to start speeding up quite a bit. Uh, but the very important thing that I would like to mention to everyone in the chat, to all the players, to you as commentators, if we hit $900 on this match, Reno, which we are uh, currently $100 away from, we will pay everyone in this bracket. So <gasps> I'm gonna go buy some manga. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you guys got, but uh, if, if you want to help out, uh, by all means, please hit up the match Reno right now. Uh, we will pay everybody in this bracket if uh, if we hit nine hundred dollars. So just just keep that in mind. Uh, their time is valuable, and they absolutely deserve uh, any monetary compensation. Uh, as do our commentators, FYI, which I will be paying them out of my own pocket rather through the Matcherino, so that there is uh, so that nobody loses much any love, any money love. just because there's more people getting paid. By the way, <laughs> well, much love, much love. Thank you. <laughs> we are humbled. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, yeah, I was like, there, there are more. <laughs> We we unfortunately did run out of free codes. I th is what I what I was hearing. Uh, I, I don't know if that's one hundred percent true. You can try the free code. It's it's code G S R for you know Grand Sky Rumble. Uh, and if that doesn't work, there are uh, Matcherino uh, quests w that you can fill out, sponsorship quests and things like that. You know you get it, all, some of them are just like follow this person on Twitter, follow this person on Matcherino. Super easy stuff. And a lot of it is stuff that, I mean, you guys should be following Tega on, on you know, YouTube anyway. You guys should be following Diaphone on exactly. YouTube anyway, because those are people who, who are telling you what's up in Grand Blue in the meta. Oh. Uh, you know, stuff like that. And, and that will donate for you. You need to follow Diaphone. Yeah, if, if you want to be good at Grand Blue or follow this game, you need to follow Diaphone. Their stuff is incredibly informative, uh, like professionally so. So, yeah. And also the GSR code really is good. used up. I just tried that one, unfortunately. Dang so, it. So uh, I will just... <laughs> I will just say, though, we got a Snake Girl manga and we got a Maid manga. So, like, you're getting $4, $4 mm. of my money, at least. <laughs> I'm getting in there for those points. Hey, uh, I, know, I, I hope you enjoy your, your manga. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I will try. Yeah, I thanks. Will try. Uh, I I'm think just we saying, just got another there. big donation, actually. Well, not super big, but uh, we just got... I appreciate all donations, especially because we can get as many people paid out as possible right now. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to give a super special shout-out. Uh, specifically, I'm going to look you in the eye. Tibola, thank you so Whoa. much for donating thirty-four dollars and eighty-nine cents. Uh, I just, Yo. I just do want to call out That's the um, home. that that Tibola uh, was one of the people uh, that uh, I wanted to have on here for for uh, this event, but unfortunately, you know, we we had our own issues that uh, couldn't have Tibola on. But paying it forward as much as possible, Tibola, the homie. Thank you so much. We are so so close to this nine hundred dollars, everybody. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in there and contribute once I hop off this here, uh, which uh, whenever whenever <laughs> we uh, do call it there. But yeah, I'm gonna be hopping on there. Oh and yeah, have yeah. Some, some manga to read. So I'm very excited, and y'all should get on some of that. No, too. No, no, no. Uh, yo, yo, check the check the price. Yo, we hit 900. We hit 900. Whoa. Let's <laughs> let's go. I almost said the word. Yo, I almost go. said the word. But let's go. Grand Blue Community showing out. Let's take it to the skies, people. Let's take it to the skies. Yo, we in the skies. Let's go. I'm still getting my oh, manga. Let me see if we made this donation real quick. Hold on. Thank you. Uh, I'm Thank you, overwhelmed. People. Thank you, everyone. I promise you we'll get more matches for you soon. We're also just losing it a little bit. Merp. And, um, the support from everybody. Oh, sorry. Shout outs <laughs> to Merp. Again, I'm, I'm going to look you in the eyes. Thank you so much to making it over $900. Thank you, Merp. Everybody in this top, Thank you. top 16, everybody in this tournament is getting paid something. I really appreciate everybody. Hey. Uh, a moment ago when I, when I realized that we could pay out all of top eight 
uh, I actually just started having tears in my eyes. Like, no lie. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, like I said, I didn't expect uh, this to get as big as it did. But I wanted everyone to, to realize that the Grand Blue Versus community is out here, is wonderful. And I wanted everybody to get some sort of spotlight if we could. That's why we had every winner's round much uh, round one ha match yes. happen. And so, you know, we won't be seeing every single person this time. But now you guys know this is what Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is about. And I implore you to check out this game. And anybody on this list of people that was in this tournament, whether it be the commentators, whether it be the players, whether it be the production staff, will point you in the right direction if you want to learn something. So please just, just check it out. Like, really. Yeah, if you want to get into Grand cool. Blue, feel free to give me a follow on Twitter. You can see my info right there. Uh, I will pro probably tweet about the game every now and again. I'll tell you which people to talk to. I've got, if you're if you're under the umbrella and you want to place with folks to play games with that you feel comfortable, i got a server where a ton, ton of people that are queer or LGBTQ play Grand Blue. So if you want to get involved, let me know. Oh my God, the Maturino just got hit again. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks for everyone. Um, I'm running out of... I'm running out of feelings to, 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 to unload for you on stream, but thank you again. I'm humbled. Oh, it's the O2 uh, yeah. boys? The Sacramento FGC was who, who, who. The O2 boys. The Sacramento FGC just donated Yo, the 40 bucks. Let's go. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's good. Okay, so I'm, real talk. It, I, it's taking oh. me a lot to not cuss. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's taking me a lot to not say the, say the certain words I shouldn't, but go on. <laughs> I think you and I are the only two people on this commentary desk that can say those words right now anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um regardless though i you know i you guys your your time is valuable as well and we were supposed to be doing this in two hour blocks so i don't want to keep you guys all day uh you know may, maybe you're gonna sit around and watch the rest of this i i don't know what you have but oh, uh, sure. i think what we are gonna need I'll to do is take off to a quick break to switch out our commentators here uh which are gonna be uh dynamite and uh zero syndicate Ooh gonna be oh, doing the rest yeah. of it uh yo double trouble <laughs> y'all in for a treat mm. so again i i can't thank you guys enough for taking time out of your schedules uh to join here to commentate this event uh i really appreciate it and i picked you guys for a reason uh i think you're some of the best around obviously and i really wanted you guys to have the spotlight uh and i i hey look i, I just hope this somehow like comes back to you guys you know being able to do more <laughs> in some way shape or form <laughs> Hey, you know what? To be Thank honest, you. I'm on, on some real stuff though. On some non goofy stuff, I love Grand Blue. And I, you would, it doesn't matter the issues with whatever with the game, whatever. It doesn't matter. I love this game still. You know, I'm, I'm maybe I'm sitting in train mode a little bit too much. You know, not playing as much. But I love this game. I love the community. I love seeing the play. I love seeing the action. And to see you guys put through like this on a continuous basis, this is enough that comes back to me. To see a game thrive like this is more than enough for me. This is perfect. I got nothing else to add. Just, yeah, I'm just <laughs> okay. the is, uh, still doing as good as it does. Play Grand that's... Blue, God damn it! Play Grand Blue! Play the game! <laughs> what are the feelings? <laughs> All right, well, I, uh, yeah, uh, I, with that in mind, we yeah, are going to kick it Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, with that in mind, we are going to kick it to a quick break, guys, uh, and then we are just going to try and go through as quickly as possible the rest of this tournament. Uh, and, yeah, I appreciate it. Please stick around. Tweet it out. You know, get people in here after the break because it only gets crazier from here. Thank you so much. This is JeffStop, home of the JeffBox Video Game Loot Subscription Service. JeffBox is the golden standard to get retro video games delivered straight to your front door. With tons of quality titles and customization options, see why gamers everywhere are saying glory to JeffBox. Subscribing is simple. Just follow these three easy steps. One, choose a plan. Choose between the standard edition or the premium edition. Our standard edition is meant for budget-conscious collectors, whereas the premium edition is intended for collectors looking for more valuable games or just more games in general. Either way, both options give you amazing games. Two, set your gaming preferences so we can personalize your Jeffbox to make it uniquely yours. Just go to My Account, then Game Preferences, and fill out the form so we can get you the games you want. You can share which game genres and systems you want games for, your wish list of games, your current list of games to avoid duplicates, and more. Three, your games will ship by the end of the month. Open your Jeff box and enjoy your games. It always ends like this. It's that simple. A Jeff box is not given to you. It is something you must take for yourself. 
So be sure to visit JeffStop.com now and let the nostalgia take you back. Jeff Stop. We hate gamers, but we love you.
Hey everyone, thank you so much for waiting. Uh, we are coming back into it. We're not going to be running every winner's match like we did uh, at the very beginning. We just wanted to give everybody some stream time, but going into it now, the tournament's gonna start speeding up and everything like that. Uh, but again, I have to thank you for waiting and I have to thank you all who have donated to the match arena in any way, shape or form, whether it be 10 cents or $200. I appreciate it so, so much. You have no idea. However, I got to introduce our next set of commentators. We are going to have BLM's Dynamite and Zero. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Of course, like Ebonic said, I'm Zero. Above me is Dynamite. It's great to be back on the mic with you, Dynamite. Yeah, it's been a while. It has been a while. And what better event to do it at than Grand Sky Rumble? The matches have been incredible. The support has been incredible. Uh, Ibonic was talking about tearing up. I'm already halfway there, so I might beat, it, beat you to it, brother. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be back on the mic with you as well, Zero. These matches have been great. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, just a little bit off stream. I was talking about the last two weeks of like when finding out I was going to get to work this event. And then also just looking at the players that we're going to be watching in this bracket has been it's tremendous. Like that, I literally went through a whole year's worth of Grand Blue content, just to, not like hours and hours that's a little extreme but i went through that history of like a lot of these players just to get to see like where they've come from and like how far they've grown in these brackets i mean you know we got to see a super saiyan kid who i don't know if you knew ended oh. up 126 place in ronin rumble that was his first ronin rumble and now look at him consistently placing top eight with percival that's that's an insane story in and of itself and plenty of other players like that as well just getting to this point this like a year into the game has been it's been awesome like honestly i'm glad that we're still doing this especially in the circumstances that we have been and having the resources that we do to do it oh yeah that's the key right is that the the resources have come together because the community has come together right yeah. like events like this with ebonic pushing with the ronin rumble team pushing with commentators players spectators everyone pushing mm -hmm. for this game has really really kept it at the top of the top when it comes to viewing experience right. and playing experience so shout outs to honestly everyone and i'm excited yes. to see what's going to be coming down the line with these matches i mean we still got the likes of diaphone and winners we got the likes of romantic <laughs> style and winners king john i mean anybody you name here is going to be a grand <laughs> finalist at some point in time or already has been so these matches are going to be phenomenal yeah absolutely i mean we're looking at some juggernauts on both east coast and west coast but not only that we have canadian players as well mexican players performing well it, this is it's all over the place we have some arc revo finishers out here uh high places of arc revo as well it, it's honestly if you've been paying attention to specific regions this is another great opportunity to see all the regions come together uh so uh, this is the place to be right now for grand blue and then even shortly after, Dude. we're going to be checking out that Shining Onslaught as well, just for East Coast. Yeah, you have for no sure. idea how difficult it was to uh, <laughs> lower the amount of players to 16. <laughs> because everybody I had considered was a, a several page long, several pages long list uh, yeah. uh, for both like uh, players and commentators. And I, I had to get it down to 16. It was super difficult. And no matter what, yeah. the integrity of the, the strength of the bracket remains super strong, regardless of having to narrow it down that far uh i'm gonna yeah. kick it off to you guys here in just a sec because they're gonna do a button check and then they'll probably be done uh and then i gotta get right. the rest of these matches going off stream but uh yes shining onslaught i do have to shout out uh there are gonna be another pars east coast parsec uh event happening directly after we are done uh it may start just before since we are running a little uh heavy on time but uh you guys we will we will kick it over to them and i do implore that you watch that uh as soon as we're done with this uh, the other thing I am going to highlight is, I, again, I cannot believe this. I, I really don't know what to say other than thank you like 600,000 times. Uh, we have hit over $1,000 in the match arena for the Grand Sky Run. Just, just alone over $1,000. And the person who pushed this over with a contribution that was specifically meant to put us at exactly $1,000 is one of the best commentators that you could employ for one of your event. It's going to be Kraken Atkins. Thank you so much. I, I, I legitimately do not know what to say other than make sure to go over to Kraken Atkins' Twitter. Uh, which is of the same name. Uh, and you can also just follow the match arena of where they contributed. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you are looking for a commentator for your event, I would definitely consider them. Uh, so with that, you know, in mind, guys, uh, thank you so much. I, I again, I don't know. 
Uh, but, you know, that's why Dynamite and Zero are here. They know everything to say, and they're going to bring you this Grand Blue action. I appreciate it, guys, and take it away. All right. And, yeah, like Ebonic said, th this has been one heck of a production. We, we can't say it enough at this point, right? Like, we're over $1,000 in the uh, match arena, so thanks so much to everybody. That's going to get all of the 16 players in this bracket paid out. So th that's a tremendous oh, deal. Because uh, they definitely have worked hard over the last year, and they all definitely deserve it here. Of course, next up we saw on the uh, setup looking at Diaphone and Zambu, uh, which it's a very rare matchup to see because, of course, Zambu is out in the West Coast and uh, Diaphone yep. sitting out on East Coast as well. So this is a, a very rare occurrence to check out. It looks like Zambu is picking out with classic Charlotta. I've been hearing that Zambu has been practicing Charlotta uh, a lot lately just for this event here. Yeah, it was one of those pits where when it happened at the very beginning of the tournament, everyone was like, what is going on? Why is Charlotta on the screen, right? Um, but obviously, still a winner's side. It's been working out quite well, but Diphone, no slow poke at all. Definitely has history no. against Charlotta. You got Zeron out there on the East Coast, you know, striking, carrying people hearts, and a number of other Charlotta players as well. So not an unfamiliar character matchup for Diaphone, but obviously Zambu, a new opponent, and that flash kick right there is going to get Zambu the corner pressure that they need to try to keep Zoe locked out. Right, absolutely. And if you want to talk about some dominance here, Charlotta is definitely the character. And even still, Zambu has already taken four first place finishes this year alone. Looking to continue that victory streak with that first round right off the bat, too. Already spinning the sky about art and closing out the round for Diaphone here. Diaphone, like you said, no slouch. I'm putting out that YouTube content a lot lately, too, and really exploring other Zoe, ma Zoe matchup. Um, a character we, again, don't get to see very often. Very few players still uh, playing this character, but Diaphone really makes it work out. Let's see, Carter Pekka here. Nice guards. Yeah, not coming out of the corner anytime soon here. Full punish there off of the block flash kick. Diaphone setting things up with the dragon. A couple of that Cheeto's breath coming at you. Gotta hold down back and watch it. All those in the plus. Oh, the counter hit overhead there. You know, those Cheetos are flaming hot out here for that dragon. That's the only ones to get, right? You're not getting your, your Takis. I know some of you yeah. like the chili lime spice out here. We go for the classic Cheetos. You put a sandwich, you ever try that? It's actually gonna increase the levels of your sandwich game tremendously. Anyways. Speaking of sandwiches, no dragon is on the other side here. Absolutely. Zombie right now just really looking for to keep that momentum up against Zoe, right? You don't want to give the character room to start, you know, setting up dragon plays and things like that. Tried to block the ball in there with the EX, nothing doing though. But now Diaphone's going to take full advantage to push all the way over to the corner. Another blocked flash kick. This is looking really bad for Zambu here. Started out really strong. These lightning setups are going big here. Nice into the throw after the first dragon beam here. Goes for the dust loop attempt. Not happening. This is Zambu's chance here. One touch away from death. And he's really going to have to make this next combo hit. Dragon is off the field. Going to have to wait for that meter to come back here. And that is crucial for Zoe's game. This corner pressure is going to be really scary for Diaphone. Really going to have to be careful how they choose their buttons. And swap. No, I think that's a reach. Ooh. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. The idea, okay, right? But it right. just wasn't wasn't taken up. Uh, Diaphone did not pick up the call on that one, left it on, uh, on red, actually. Didn't even want to bother with it and was able to get the punish off of the whiff super there. Um, quite a back and forth match. Um, and like you were saying in the beginning, the momentum was the key factor there, right? Like, you gotta lock down Zoe and you gotta take advantage of when the dragon's gone. Yeah, exactly. Like, Charlotta can definitely shut people down. Uh, having Not having dragon available for Zoe is, is so, like, that, that's like almost an entire moveset just gone. I mean, you're losing out on beam, you're losing out on block pressure. There's a few other options for losing out as, as well. Combo ability, especially, uh, because of that. So it's your nice anti-air. Good charge to sit here, keep the dragon in front of you. Been on point with the anti airs every almost every time Zombie's taken to the skies. Definitely going to put it in their mind. And yeah, huge life lead there. Only need just a little bit. And Diaphone's going to take that first round of game two. Working quick. Yeah, absolutely. Very quickly adjust, adjusted here. That first round uh, that Zombie was so dominant in, just water on the duck's back at this point. You know, just continuing the offensive game, really just playing their own offense here. Let's see Diaphone. Trying to find this next opening. Oh, block. 
pressure That's right now. Hands coming out. Good step back there. I like that Zambu not over committing, just, you know, has the corner, but doesn't want to try to overreach. However, Diaphone still getting the side switch combo. Dragon Laser again got caught with the low. Lightning set up a heavy to try to escape in a full block. Not in time to punish. No! That was the punish opportunity that Zambu needed. And okay, we're still going to get some combo off of there. We still have a life deficit here. Has Super Skybound Art available. Oh no, the ant here. We haven't learned yet. You gotta stop jumping on Diaphone here. Yeah, dialed all the way in is Diaphone looking for the aerial approach and every time just the uppercut, anti air. What you doing up there? Why, why are you up there? You see this long sword? It's about as tall as you with your crown on alone, Charlotta. You can't be up in the skies like this. Come on now. I'm, I'm the mother of dragons out here. <laughs> you gotta respect Absolutely. the long sword got to oh, man. good stuff to diaphone <laughs> um you know i i think that the approach and the the momentum that uh zombu is playing at was you know the right one uh it's just the yeah. options clearly you saw the comfort of diaphone right like anti-airing the charlotta approach knowing how to disrupt the momentum that charlotta tries to generate by throwing out the strings you know a couple of those uh ex specials are going to be very very advantageous for her give her the plus frames and spacing that she wants to try to shove you into the corner diaphone not having any of it no not at all and you know diaphone again has been doing plenty of homework uh on just in grand blue in general and if you've been paying attention to that i mean that's why diaphone has the matcharino link to follow him on youtube there's plenty to be learned and diaphone is just out there sharing it so it, Absolutely. You know that this man has done his homework. You know this man understands the matchups. Be like for a character, like I said early on, you almost Ooh. never see anymore in uh, Grand Blue. So that honestly, really well done from Diaphone here. We'll be moving on to the next round of winners here. Zombu is definitely not out either. Uh, it looks like Zombu will be facing off against Rice Boy later on in this bracket here. Yeah, uh, and I again, like we were saying quick. in the beginning. I just, I just got to interrupt. I'm sorry. Um, Kizzy just dropped the fat raid for uh, 439 people. Thank you so much, Kizzy. Uh, and I don't know if you checked the Discord, Kizzy, but you are getting paid uh, because we have uh, gotten so much money in the Macherino. So uh, just 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 make sure to uh, check the Discord when you get a, when you get a minute. <laughs> well, big yeah, some great things Kizzy. have happened in the Discord. <laughs> yeah, fantastic things. And you know what? We're going to keep those fantastic things rolling. We got the next match coming up very soon. Uh, but, yes. you know, like you were saying, it's it's not over for, for Zamru. Got, got a matchup against Rice Boy uh, in the loser side. And as we were stating in the beginning, all of these matches could be grand finals, right? Like, it's just Character one of those things where you're not going to get a bad match, especially at this point uh, in the uh, in the Grand Sky Rumble. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what's going to shake out. And it's one of the few times where you're looking at a bracket and you're like, I don't know how this is going to play out. Like, right? I don't know who's uh, exactly. going to make it all the way. <laughs> It's funny because like everyone has some sort of seating in this bracket, but it's not because like of current result is literally just like, all right, we're trying to get this looking good and putting on a good show. It, it's such a, it's so difficult. Like I, I do not envy Ivani having to do at this all. at all. Like at I, all. I, I couldn't, oh man. At all. At this uh, point, but... it's just throw the blindfold on, get the dartboard out and <laughs> all right, we're gonna start seating now. Let me just <laughs> see where these land. Oh. Spin to win, see what you get here. Oh, you're gonna get romantic style and bisu coming up here. <laughs> Absolutely. So that'll be it's uh, gonna be a... wow. Uh, Lancelot and Belial coming up as well. Uh, so that's gonna yes. be a fun matchup, of course. I I mean both characters I absolutely love. I, I can't get mad yeah. at either one of them. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, you know, if these are characters that are fun to watch, obviously have been, um, you know, well, Belial just strong, right, all across the board. Uh, Lancelot yeah. has had ups and downs um, throughout the history of the game so far, but um, a lot of ups, and I feel like, obviously, Romantic Styles, Lancelot um, is a little bit different in the fact that Romantic Style is one of those players that the adaptation is unreal, right? Like, I often say the set doesn't start until Romantic Style is facing game point. Then that's when Romantic Style like actually <laughs> comes online, uh, and we've seen it time and time again in Ronin Rumble, where Romantic Style will go down 01 or 02, and it's like a whole different person comes out to play. So I'm oh, expecting yeah. uh, someone of the same 
uh, up against Bisu. Bisu, obviously, no slouch either, uh, especially on the Belial. So this is going to be one of those times where it's like, do you really have the time to make those adjustments or do you need to come out the gate quick for Romantic Style? Oh, man, you know, like you said, it, that's the concern, right, is the longer this goes on, Romantic Style is just going to download that information, be ready to adjust, and then just keep the pressure going and just really try to dominate the opponent. And, of course, Belial wants to stop a lot of that, has the tools to stop a lot of the momentum that uh, that Lancelot can normally get, uh, especially with Pinwheel being a big factor here. But, you know, as quick as Lancelot moves across the screen, it's generally easier said than done. So let's see how BC handles romantic style. And, wow. What yeah. an yeah. answer. Big buttons. That's how BC handles romantic style. The biggest of buttons. Going to get the push to the corner here. Stagger pressure. Trying to catch romantic style. Sleeping at the wheel. Here, Asmodeus off the wall though. Romantic style is not afraid to get out of that corner. Nice, he stood up a little bit too early here. Watch the sneakers once again, corner to corner. Romantic style slipping and sliding, ready for the next option. And geez, is, is this what it's going to be? Back and forth, corner to corner. Nice DP attempt though. Very clean there. Good block on the cross up, but the back throw for Bisu again going the other way. Romantic style holding down back, trying to live the command ground. Let me talk to you real quick. Ooh, oh, just our race for both players here. Bisu coming out on top of that exchange off with throws. That's unfortunate. But fortunate for Bisu to take that first round. Yeah, that, that command grab's going to be important uh, for Belial. It's often a round ender because Belial has so many other good options that sometimes, even if you're, when you're a skilled player, you can forget about it, right? And then that's when it comes out at the end of the round. you got to be keep your eyes wide open for that one. Yeah, it's another layer of Yomi there for uh, Belial players out there. Like, okay, we're not always throwing out that command throw, but boy, when that EX command throw comes out, it's checking to see if you're asleep at the wheel or not. And at that moment, Romantic Style was good block into the pit wheel, but not able to control the firm combo into the corner here. Style's going to get the corner. EX fireball, of course, the full hit. We're just going old school day one version combo here with the EX fireball land. One throw away, and that'll do it here. Romantic style answering back here in a little more aggressive fashion, too. There was a lot of options yeah. available for Romantic style, just keeping the pressure on Belial, not letting him get set up here. Wow. Ooh, the anti -air. Delayed you. Yeah, caught the anti air attempt. Earn the corner, but the back throw again. Bisu, needy pinwheel. A little bit of Shepherd's pop. Just keep on slicing it. I'm still hungry. Got another one for you here. Fill up the plate. Knock down what's it gonna be after the low. Mess around to find out two M's. I like that Sagar on the record for the throw. That was clean. A full block DP here. Oh, went for the H, not enough to get the punish. Jump back L here. Nice dodge. So trying to find that next opening here. Still has life lead, doesn't have to be too aggressive. It's romantic style, he's about to make all the moves. And boy, what a shimmy whimmy if I ever saw one right in Skybound Dark. It's going to be a significant amount of damage. I don't think that's going to kill here. No one. Oh, it does. It that really, buff, really baby. does. That buff, they buffed that super a couple of patches ago, and it's paying out with dividends. Investments turning into dividends. The stock market's all looking good for romantic style. Oh, look at real real good you get invested in GameStop early look at you now go big slide into the DM nothing off it oh wow what a block off the stomps here okay well Manic style actually you know has been really keeping defense tight as I say that though getting him up in the corner full combo here the reset oh late tech but still allowed him to teleport up get a hit and try to fight his way back to the neutral no BC keeping that corner pressure south Let's try to get out of here without using the DP getting called out. Oh my goodness, the command throw even after the hit. Is. That's there scary is. stuff. I mean, when every answer you put out on the table gets stopped in some ways, all right, I'm out of options. What do I do? Yeah, see, gonna go ahead and take that first round of game two looking to put themselves on the board don't want to go down 0-2 at all but romantic style with a nice jump in there fireball setup caught him jumping but oh put himself in the corner tries to teleport the dp's going to keep him there this is your home now i don't know if that was the ideal jump arc that uh 
romantic style was looking for here, trying to make it pay off, and it's really not looking good here. Bisu is stacking on the damage. Another mix up, messing around, find out 2M. Yep, don't press buttons, not your turn. Oh, the nice, side nice side switch. There's the pressure there, set up. No EX Fireball. Yeah, I got checked by Wake Up Buttons. Bisu said, I'm gonna play the video game. I paid for yeah. the DLC, I paid for the original, I got the skins. I'm pressing me some buttons. I got full season passes. I spent over $80 to get in this game. Let me play. Guaranteed that they will get to play one more game at the minimum on the winner's side. At least. Here we go. It's one to one here in this set. Wow, off the wall twice now? Excuse me. So I nice need a button check. Well, twice. Someone check and see if there are macros on that controller real quick out here. Holy smokes. Max Al certainly playing fast there. There's the teleport. Gets the punish on the run-up throw attempt, I believe. Visu EXDP's out of that situation. Can't blame him. Don't want to deal with him. Nice throw. And once again, pinwheel setups here into... Wow, what a throw. What's it going to be after this? 2M not going to connect. Mashing for dear life out here. Where Romantic Style has to get out of this pinwheel pressure. It's that Super Sky Mountain. Asmodeus should be able to connect and wrap this round up here. One more to do it. The staggers were out of control for BC. Just run up light, light, just staggering them. Enough to see if Romantic Style was going to press a button. Wasn't able to get out of that situation. And BC now on match point. Really, that, honestly, that's some good information. Remembering the last round that the EXDP yep. came out through those fireballs and just knowing that was coming here. And we got a full combo punish into the corner. Nice from set to low. Hit him with the big apple, 3 a.m. Watch his feet. Has a lot of work to do. Pisu is not afraid to put on some damage here in this corner situation. Yikes. Really good jump out decision though for Romantic style because often you see Pisu attempt that command grab there. Pisu also paying attention to what's going on in this position here. That's a lot of red on the ledger right there and it ain't looking too good. Romantic style going in the debt. One to two. Pisu style going to continue on the winner's side and just like that, you know, like you said, <laughs> the game can really change when you try to answer for the command grab and Belial, mm -hmm. the player knows like, okay, they're going to be looking for me to end it with command grab, right? I'm going to yeah. go ahead and not do that. Watch them sail to the sky, anti-air, clean as day. It, and, you know, it happened so often too. Like I was sitting here watching this match, but yes, that is the right answer. That was clearly going to be a command throw and it wasn't. I also got hit regardless. It's it's over. Yeah. The conditioning is real when you play against BC. Absolutely, oh, absolutely. What a match! Wow, that was <laughs> yeah, uh, really. You know, it, it was, it was great stuff. I I expected, um, romantic style to actually come out a little bit slower, and uh, they didn't. You know, and and even still, BC was able to make the adaptation. Really, starting mm -hmm. in um, that second game, but it was it was really. I honestly feel like if that was a best uh, a first to three, we could have seen it go the limit, right? Because that was a back and forth set the whole way through. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like the, and and like you said, we you expected romantic style to go slower, and I just feel like in that set you're going up against Belial, and you don't want Belial to get side. You don't want Belial to do Belial things. So we saw round open Rekka and to just say, all right, here's my five H right here, and you're gonna get blown up for that attempt. Sorry, like that's how the game works. Yeah, I, I didn't um, I didn't put the button in. They did. I'm just gonna go ahead and slap <laughs> this real quick. Oh, punish! Oh, what do you know? What well, you good know? golly gosh. You're lucky I can't cancel this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're still in the corner, though. Enjoy that. Yeah, you're going to have to hold oh. this. <laughs> oh, and man. And, of, of course, we'll it. definitely be still <laughs> holding it. Yeah. I was just going to say thanks, thanks to everyone for holding it down. Um, you know, with the match arena, we're going to take a look at the bracket to see where we are. Uh, we still have... Uh, the likes of MBK, who took it over King John. Again, another match that could have just as easily been a grand finals. Um, and yeah. we still are awaiting the results um, of some of the losers matches as well that are going to be set up. So, you know, this is mm -hmm. only going to get better and better. Thank you to everyone who's been tuning in, sharing the social. I see you all out there on Twitter. 
you know, sharing the link and getting us to that $1,000 mark and above. And you know what? I'd like to see it hit 1500. That's my goal for by the end of the night. So I think we can get okay. there. And again, even if you cannot put the money in, go ahead and share that information. I always say that matters so much. You're just spreading the word about yes. what's going on and supporting the players and the event organizers. It's going to be uh, fantastic if you can do that. So thank you all for doing it so far and let's keep it going. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're already currently sitting at 400 of you watching, uh, which is tremendous. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's greatly appreciated. And honestly, the, this is definitely a showing that Grand Blue is still alive and kicking. And it always has been. Um, and all these great players are out here. If you really need to see, like, what region, like, if you're from East Coast, we have East Coast players here for you. You can chat with and, and figure out where to go to play your next Grand Blue game. Or even on the West Coast, Canada, Mexico, literally, we, we have North America covered at this point. Like, you can find Absolutely. somewhere to play Grand Blue. So that's it's tremendous that uh, we're still out here. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where you you no matter where you go, you know, like what 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 area of North America you're in, there are people to go to to play the game with, to to learn the game, and to really get an idea of what the community is like. And I think that that's going to be yeah. something that keeps going in the future. And that's one of the things that I love about the game so much. Yeah, I mean, shoot, we still have Eustace. Uh, I'm sick and tired of Grand Blue having all these male <laughs> characters. I'm just like, gosh darn it, I gotta stand another male character out here. Ah, sure. oh, I can't choose just one, but Belial's got my heart right now. It's fine, it's fine so far, but all Eustace, right, we'll see. I'm looking forward to seeing We'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see how Eustace is gonna uh, play out with this system. Ooh. Definitely got the strap ready to go, so I'm, I'm excited to see how that's gonna Belly work uh, Belly and, Belly uh, against the rest Belly of the cast Belly as well, so. A lot of good stuff still coming down the pipeline for Grand Blue, and um, I can't wait to see more of it. You know, still got, I believe, two more characters after this, so... Uh, am I, is yeah, that right? Yeah, because we got Eustace and, then the, Eustace and then the one more, I, I think. Yeah. Because we've already yep. got... Yep, Eustace and one more is the final. Yeah, because I so, almost forget all the time that Belial was season two. <laughs> That's right? Thing. It was right? so long ago. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Speaking of Belial, so, speaking of, we're going to have... Yep, him. there we go. Same page. Coming through. <laughs> <laughs> the apple of my eye out here, Belial. <laughs> and then we also have Mars coming back to Sora's. Uh, Mars has been putting in a lot of work uh, last year. Um, just a uh, SSSO faithful here uh, from uh, BG Callisto hosting that every weekend. Um, took 13th yeah. at Frosty Fostings. Uh, Honestly, Mars playing a character that honestly, character you look at the rest of the cast, you're like, I would much rather play an easier character against the other because of the tool set. But again, that's uh, just the skill set of Mars and skill set of players, like even like Diapon as well, playing these more obscure characters like Sora's, who a lot of people really wrote off early on, like, ah, I don't know, there are better options. Mars is definitely putting on a show as like, Sora's is fun. Like, Sora's is going to Sora's, take work but mars definitely puts in the work to make this happen look Sora's didn't Billy get those yeah. muscles without work and mars like you know what i'm mm. putting in the same level of effort and and then here they are right grand sky rumble definitely chosen for a reason like you said and has been putting in the work and getting those gains in you know getting getting swole yeah. on the character and it shows for sure Billy um yeah. that yeah. being said obviously you know the opponent not one to uh turn your nose up <laughs> to uh, tinker on huh. on the belial again you know Getting the getting the results in as well, so this is going to be an interesting match, especially given that Mars, you know, has fought Belial in the Midwest region, so it's not, you know, no strangers to danger. <laughs> yeah, Belial definitely has been on a tear out in the Midwest for sure. I mean, we can look back to uh, Seth Lolol just making the random appearance with the masked stranger of a different name. Yeah, right. Uh, just putting it work immediately, <laughs> and. You know, oh. ever since then, it, it's been a lot of, like, really doing the homework on Belial. And if you're playing a character like Sora's, your neutral game really has to be on point. You're thinking about the pinwheel, sure, but also the normals that uh, Belial has over Sora's, that's going to be really important. Because Sora's neutral game is, that is his game, ultimately, right? I mean, so, that would, yeah, uh, yeah. Because, like, you do have your Lariat, of course, or the, uh, you know, your 
call it lariat because of bardock <laughs> uh so that closes the gap but then you got to worry about the risks of what belial has to stop that I mean, his 5l is like far l rather uh is actually really solid as a tool as well oh. and there it is right there round open just like a bardock player would <laughs> nice gotta step. throw them hands right at the beginning of the round immediately let him know who you are <laughs> don't let him think Open for a second round. this is what it's gonna be about nice tip throw there from Mars but the DP immediately from Tinker Swomo through the pinwheel but still gets swept up uh, by the low good throw into the corner here and now this is actually gonna be really scary for Belial has to rely on a solid EX DP to get out of this pressure here and oh my goodness I mean, and, but here's the thing, right? You're blocking those dash punches, but you're still getting hit. You're, you're, the chip damage is unreal. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's terrifying. Like, especially like, all right, well, I'm waiting for my turn. And, you know, Soros knows what you're waiting for in that corner here. And that health is depleting away. Ticker just barely making it out. <laughs> Figuring out the mechanisms to get out of that corner. Going to go ahead and take the first round is Tinker, but again, Mars was looking strong. You gotta be careful, right? You can't just sit there and down back those punches. Especially in this game, that chip damage is real. Nice challenge here in Asbodius. Not close enough to the point yet. Here, here we go, pinwheel open. Ooh, with good your chest, punish, gonna get punished though. as well look at how much health you have and that's death right there too tinker all right looking scary at first but like that second round oof. yeah second round for sure you know able to read that uh mars is going to wake up with the swole mode to try to parry something and put a delay on both the swole mode and the puff just to get the finish tinker looking real clean Absolutely. Once again, corner situation for Mars here. And Mars is definitely, you know, good with trying to be patient. Uh, knows how to pick and choose his battles, but, you know, this is looking real bad. Oh, nice Ooh. armor up here. Okay. Not off my deck. Here we go. Oh, Shirt off. Late. We're taking off the clothes. Mm. Oh, the whip. Okay. At least we were just out of range here. I think he tried to armor up there, maybe. Good. Oh, the uniqueness of it all. Tinker with another round match point already. Tinker making quick work. Do you got somewhere to go? You got somewhere to go? <laughs> Tinker's got to try to get, you know, just proceed the stimmy. You know, really try to get yeah, that spent. Get the bank account and like, yo, I got 1400 of them. I got to spend every single Wait a minute. Month. Let me see if I can go buy one of those scout PS5s real quick. Something. I need it all. As Modius right now. Yeah. <laughs> Opt in the back up here. Uh oh. There might be something wrong on Mars's end here. We'll find out in just a okay. second here. A little quick check. See what's going down. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you know, Tinker. I, it's one of those scenarios where you know, and I was going to bring this up earlier, so we have time now. You know. Soris' uh, neutral game is 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 strong, obviously, like we were saying about the dash punch. Yeah. It does chip even on block, um, and it's an important part. But another important part is keeping that momentum because, you know, Sori is not exactly the character known to just bust out of situations, right? You know, even though he has the, the, the swole mode, not exactly a, a, a frame one reversal or anything of that nature. Right. So, you know, it's really, really difficult at times, especially against characters like the Lyle, when you're stuck in the corner there as Soris to get out of that scenario. And that's one of the things I think Tinker obviously knows, and Mars knows too, but Tinker's been using that to uh, their advantage. Yeah, it, I mean, when you're playing Belial, you're, you're pretty often used to just kind of locking things down. Your opponent's not allowed to have turns. We're going to throw out these EX pinwheels. I have my safe buttons, and I have the spacing in which I'm going to probably dominate in a lot of neutral situations here. Where, like you said, Soros is definitely going to try to close this gap. You, you don't have that uh, invulnerable reversal like other characters would have. Um, but what? It, EX Boot is probably your best like reverse yeah. soul that you have, but it's not getting well, you out of yeah. jail that easy. So. <laughs> Certainly one of those things oh. that, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be... Uh, assuming we start back from kind of where we were, right, with, with Tinker right. on match point, um, it's going to be one of those things where uh, Mars probably going to have to make the adaptation, try to 
um, answer the jump scenario with Belial. And you got to be careful, right? Because Belial can delay with the unique, can kind of, you know, fool you into thinking the arc is going to look one way and then stop in midair. And it, it's just one of those yeah. things where it's like, ooh, this is tough. But you also don't want to let Belial get in, right, with that jumping, even if you block it, because then you're back in the scenario where you were talking about with the buttons and, and, and spacing. Uh, just to give you a heads up on what's going on, um, I told them to restart the, the game because it did not happen once in the previous game, uh, but it, it, it happened uh, during that entire match, that, that one right there, the, the, the second game. Uh, what was happening was is just buttons were just straight up getting dropped on the side of Mars. Like, like he has the button set. He did a button check and the, uh, the first game went fine. It's just for some reason, uh, something happened right there. So we're having him disconnect and reconnect. Uh, we're gonna have him do a button check just to make sure, but we're restarting the game. So that round does not go to, uh, Tinker. Cool. Oh, okay. Cool. It, cool. It's, it's zero, it's zero, sense. zero in round. Sorry. It's zero, zero in rounds. Zero, zero round. But it's still, yeah. it's right. still, it's still one O Tinker. So. Understood. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. That that definitely makes sense. And, um, you yeah. know, it's, it's as we were saying, it, Tinker still, even that round aside, definitely, you know, game round two of game one was uh, pretty dominant. So the, the momentum mm -hmm. is there. Not sure how many uh, Sorry's like Tinkers that. has been uh, has been Tinker fighting. Yeah. Up. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh he does, does get, get the, the round. OK, OK, so. Uh, as we were saying, you know, still the, the, I'm not sure if it's comfort or it's just, you know, Bilal, you know, just comfort or maybe on your character, but Tinker was definitely showing that they knew exactly how to uh, handle stories. And it might just be a situation where it's like, look, my character oppresses, I'm gonna press. Like, that's what, I, that's what I'm gonna do, right? And I'm not <laughs> worried about the specifics of the matchup as much. Right, and you see that with a lot of characters that just have consistent plus buttons. Like, All right, yeah, like, uh, I, I know that I'm getting like, beat up here and there but i know that like my buttons are better than yours so i'm just gonna keep pressing them you have to hold this like you have Sorry. to react to me and what i'm doing uh, but yeah. once soros gets that game plan rolling like especially when shirts off it's yeah. <laughs> that's a scary when the, situation when, when the lights go off and you hear the the teddy pendergrass come on in the background you know you're in trouble so uh definitely <laughs> something to keep in mind as uh as we move forward and uh we're going to get the button check coming back out here the situation will be one game oh, to yeah. zero with one round going to tinker side so we're probably going to uh uh you know see a scenario where either we just you know get to the round or they just play one round and then you know depending on what happens from there i think mm -hmm. we're probably going to recreate the scenario and, and, and have tinker uh have a round up and then continue from there mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one of those moments that I appreciate that meter does not carry over into the next round. Where yes. Things like this happen super easy. Just like, all right, cool. We could just reset like this. Sure. It kind of cuts the momentum a little bit here, but hey, you know, I will take that over trying to get the exact pixel amount of meter oh. that I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that 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 can be incredibly difficult. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. see a round go by, uh, and then we can recreate the scenario and pick it up from there. Battle. Curious to um, see if the stoppage did change the momentum at all, but you know, Tinker is looking mighty strong at the moment. I wonder if you know, this gave Mars a moment to kind of really figure out this puzzle that is Belial here. Um, we're gonna start the damage uh, right now. Going into uh, Tinker, just getting that first round here. Yep. And we'll get the match underway. Okay. All right. I like that Tinker took a moment to. Okay, before I get this final hit in, breathe. Let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're back into it. This is for realsies. Opening up with the dash punches, Mars. Nice standing dodge on the pinwheel. Spent the EX dash punch. Going to be down for a little bit. This tech here. A little bit out of range from Aspo. He's big jump in here. I wonder if uh, Tinker thought that a, a Lariat was coming in here. And oh my goodness. Oh, good challenge from Tinker here to get out of the corner off Asmodeus. Oh, tick throw. Mm -hmm. Mars going to have to figure out a way to escape. Late tech. Oh, but the jumping connects. This is going to be a lot of pain here. Is it going to be a super? Yes, Skybound Art activated. Wow. It started out so well for Mars here. Still has another opportunity here, but plenty of work needs to be done to close it out. Okay, close come off. Uh oh, 
Wow. What a check. Wow, the audacity. <laughs> it's what a, a check. Like I was saying, like I was saying, when you play a character that you know for a fact has better buttons than the other character, you just sit there and press those buttons. There's no reason uh, not to. That was that was face right? face mashing oh, yeah, right there. Like, yeah, I, I, my, my crouching light's gonna work. I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. I'm not afraid of this. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and that, Tinker. that is... <laughs> yeah, Tinker, I mean, honestly, that is Grand Blue at this point because there are a handful of characters with situations like that like uh, Lancelot's delayed Rekka's. Like, I'm not sure, but the reward I get for even attempting the mash out is a little bit better than, you know, just holding the next mix up and seeing what happens. So sometimes it is good to take those risks. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I mean, like you said, life, the life was was heavily in Tinker's side. Now, Sori's obviously close off, do some crazy good damage, but Tinker willing to take that bet, knowing that the ranges that... Uh, Mars would like to be at to to put pressure down, especially in close off. So, uh, big ups to to Tinker for moving through. Going to be a two zero there. I, not over for Mars. That was winner side, right? So Mars still has right. the loser side of the bracket to uh, attempt to make a run through. Yeah, absolutely. And we still have plenty of matches on the way. Just kind of taking a peek back at some of those uh, loser round brackets here. Uh, looks like uh, the King John actually went two one over two D McGee. Uh, so that wraps it up for 2D McGee there. Uh, and Zombu is still moving on with 2-0 over Rice Boy. That's off in the background of the loser side. So definitely still a little bit of a ways to go. How it's there and Romantic Style still have to go at it. And of course, Oak Skemi, uh up against Mars. Uh, after we just saw Mars uh, unfortunately lose to Tinker in this round here. But yep. like you said, Mars is definitely no slouch. Has definitely worked hard uh, throughout the year. Looking forward to seeing more of Mars play. Um, but so far on winter side, we're still waiting on a uh, Diphone and Bisu coming up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm looking at this loser side, and I'm like, "Ooh, this is a this is a shark pit <laughs> if I've ever seen one down here. It is it is not nice times down there for real." Uh, you know, still got Howard Sarah, still got Romantic out, Zamu, uh, King John, and Oxkimi and Mars still alive and well, circling in the waters, waiting for someone to munch on. And it is, uh, oof, that is a rough scenario down there. Do not envy any of no. them. <laughs> no, not at all. And You know, gosh, we haven't had a live event in which all of these players could come together. Of course, oh. we've had Ronin Rumble in the past, obviously, like we're, yep. but that's just one player from each coast coming together uh, at the end. This is one of the first ones. I mean, sh there have been other events uh, online that have attempted the connection, but without Parsec. But like, this is, this is huge. Uh, and one yeah. of the more consistent situations that we can have uh, for Grand Blue versus, and man, it's going to be insane to see the first live event that Grand Blue shows up at if it's this year at all. Oh, it's going to be incredible. I mean, all of the play yeah. that's been done, all of the tech that's been discovered from all areas of the country coming together. Whew, I don't do that to me, Zero. Don't put don't put that idea in my head because that that is a <laughs> that's a tasty morsel right there, and I know I can't have it anytime soon. So you're going to put the president in front of me and tell me. Do not open until, not even Christmas, just until, uh, question mark? We got it, right? We got to keep the anticipation that, going. That's how you keep coming back for the next season and paying for the subscription of Crunchyroll that way. Boom. Which that, you can watch Grand Blue Fantasy on there, which I still need to catch up and finish and figure out who the heck Eustace is. Is Eustace even in the anime? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe uh, Chad can help my, us out. My knowledge, he's not, uh, he's not uh, in the anime just yet. He's part of this. Uh, he's part of the uh, Zeta and Vasaraga team called the Society. Uh, so okay. he's one of those characters. Yeah, there, there's a lot more of those, uh, but he is he's part of their squad, basically. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, that makes sense. Right. He seems like he would be on on that team. You know, they're bringing all the different types of weapons and stuff like that. You know. And uh, Yus is just like, I got gun, and I'm going to live with that. And he's like, all right, man, you do do what you need to do, brother. <laughs> if, he, if he got it, I guess. <laughs> Gee whiz, I'm out of here. I only got a sword. No. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. You're bringing a whole gun? The whole thing? <laughs> all right. Dude, I guess what, so. What kind of world is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's the society, baby. That's what we do out yeah. here. Yeah. No oh, kidding. A society, yeah, huh? Nick, we live in one. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. but you know, I like you said, it, it is about that anticipation. It is about that um, thinking about what what the Grand Blue scene is gonna be like once we get those offline events up and going. And you know, we're we're closer and closer to that point, and I'm excited to you know to yeah. see what breaks down from that because 
it's it's going to be a whole different world of adaptation and interactions and i can't wait for it that's why you know this event here was so exciting to me when when Ivana, you yes. know mentioned that he was running it it's because it's like yo this is going to be something we haven't like you said really seen to this degree before right and so mm -hmm. it's just something that i hope everyone out there who's been watching and 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 participating in players viewers have been really enjoying because this is this is really special yeah yeah absolutely and and definitely don't forget like a lot of these players are still putting out content uh blasting thunder crew that's the the team that paxi and uh, romantic style are part of they're putting out content all the time for mexico out there and they have such a passionate group of players out there that are really uh leveling each other up they are definitely putting their scene on the map when it comes to grand blue fantasy and it, it's definitely a real treat to watch all of them grow and all of them learn from each other of course definitely tune in for diaphone and tega even like both of those players are putting out oh, content yeah. for grand blue and making sure that grand blue is at the front of mind throughout this entire pandemic like it has been a tremendous showing as well and even you know low kick and uh ronin rumble and uh, wins night fights nlbc all of them have been consistently creating grand blue content so it's not going anywhere yeah. anytime soon that's for sure waifu dome as well like callisto uh for the yes. scene has oh been running grand blue consistently <laughs> consistently so you know there are places yes. to play as you were saying and and that you love to see it so both from a player standpoint and from a, an, an event organizer you know standpoint there are places to play the game there are discords to hop into um that are also safe spaces to be in to enjoy the game into in a comfortable and safe environment so just reach out and the community will certainly be there if I remember correctly, uh, Diaphone does have uh, a Discord link available as well. Uh, I, I think it's East Coast. It might be East Coast and Midwest, but still, that's another community out there they can reach out to if you have some good connections to to play or even just get information, share tech, and, and just learn. Uh, definitely check that Absolutely. out. Uh, you can find that on Twitter, I'm sure. Uh, Diaphone does have that link readily available as well on uh, the YouTube channel. Yeah. So definitely check those yes. out if you're looking for more Grand Blue. Sure. Oh, speaking so, of diaphone, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be Di diaphone and Bisu, both of both of them um, winning in pretty dominant fashions in their earlier matches, right? The one before this one. So excited to see how the this clash is gonna line up. Yeah, definitely really excited. Both these players uh, said the East Coast players. Um, we definitely see Bisu more uh, out at the. Uh, NLBC, of course, uh, Diaphone's been at a few NLBCs as well, but you'll definitely see more uh, uh, CASA tournaments uh, for Diaphone. So, again, another situation kind of like uh, with uh, Zambu and uh, 2D McGee, where like they're both regionally close to each other, but they have two different stomping grounds entirely, like where they really sure. focus their play on. So it's really cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, it's, it'll, uh... it'll be a good matchup to see. Like I said, uh, and I, I'm going to keep saying it ad nauseum, any of these matches could be grand finals moving forward from this point, especially. Yeah. And so it's not an easy role for anyone here. And we're going to see uh, two of the best go at it uh, coming up now. It's going to be Diaphone on the Zoe and Bisu on the Belial once again. This is winner's side. Uh, and so the winner of this, if I am correct, will be moving into the winner's finals. Yes. Yes, that's definitely correct here. And honestly, this matchup, I'm, I'm terrified for Zoe. If, if I'm Zoe, I'm like, I do not want to deal with Belial right now. Trying to set up a dragon in this situation is going to be tough. The iPhone, I'm sure, has answers, uh, tricks up the sleeves, even though uh, she doesn't have sleeves. She probably keeps them in her gloves. Who knows? And here we go. Oop. Yeah, the iPhone's gonna need to keep that dragon cell phone meter charged. You gotta be able to phone a friend more than once in this competition to get out of that Belial pressure and BC going straight to work putting the iPhone in the corner. Oh my god! The anti like it was immediate. Anti air, yes. get off of me. I need out of this corner. Right, knockdown, dragon Sorry. pressure here. Ooh, with the switch. I got hit. Honestly, I didn't even see her get through. <laughs> it was over. <laughs> and here we are. Corner pressure. Once again, Dragon up front here. Going for DP. Really good anti-air option. Nice. Check the toes a couple times here. Honestly, those are really nice shoes that Blah is wearing. You really should be more careful. I hope you have some sort of protective film on them. They better not be suede. That's for sure. That's messed up. 
Cool. That is a rough scenario. I think Belial running with the Giorgio, the leathers, you know, maybe the Gators if he's, you know, yeah. going down south for a little bit. But, you know, right now, BC trying to push Diaphone to the east into that corner over there. Nice jump out there for him. Diaphone. Oh, the anti air again. Locked in. Target acquired. That anti air hitbox is insane. It's what is it? Just a pillar? It's just uh, we put up the dome and you're not jumping above this height. Sorry, it's not oh. allowed. And the health deficit a, is substantial. It is a no-fly zone, Zero. That's what it is. Diaphone saying, you know what? You are not cleared for takeoff. Get back down to the ground. Good jump out from the grab there. The awareness, the regular copter invaded the DP. Diaphone. Yes. Dialed all the way in. Mm -hmm. Spinning up the rotary ah. phone here. Dropping in. The line rings. Belial tries to pick up. No. <laughs> It was a prank call the whole time. You got hung up on immediately. The whole Yo, time. Spending the minutes. Asmodeus. Remember when that was a thing? Spending minutes? Remember? Jeez. Remember? Crouching medium there. Going to get back on that conversion push. Bisu into the corner. The flame from the dragon. Those Cheetos on yes. point. Dust loops and everything. Oh, man. I can't wait for Strive. But we're here now, and I still love this game. <laughs> nice skybound art. Already match point for Diaphone. Bisu not even getting a chance to play video games. Yep. Diaphone picked the Breath of the Wild colors and was out. like, yo, this is the one yep. player game. <laughs> uh, even Zelda Warriors is still the same thing. Oh my goodness. Look at the shimmy off the throw here. Okay, BC finally getting some momentum there. EX pin will, but the neutral jump from Dive not a full combo. We're gonna stop that pressure from BC. EX Copter connects in a combo after. Wow, big swing. And still trying to answer back. Diphone gets the beam set up here. Wow, just getting out of there with EX DP, but it's gonna get punished by Diphone here. Life deficit isn't that large, but wow, this actually, nope, okay. All right, wasn't comboed up yet. We didn't drag it to set up here in case he got up and we're gonna get popped up for it. Still has some dragon. Wow, wow, wow. Block button comes in handy here. One, one round over here for Bisu, staying alive, fighting off one match point. Gonna have to do it again to even things up. Yeah. See if Bisu can put one on the board here. What's the opening gamut gonna be? Just a big charge, no grab. Okay. Oh, and you gotta man. be worried about that too. You already put the card on the yeah, on the table where you're gonna come out with Asmodeus, and Zoe can just immediately unique action that charge and just counter hit. Please back off. Yep. Yep. Please, please step away. Step away from the vehicle. <laughs> nice. There's into the, throw. the throw. Not combo quite yet. Just a little bit. Uh, I think it was late timing on after the combo throw. Might have been a little bit closer to the curve. Typhoon still with a good life good. lead here. Guarding it up right now. Keeping the head protected. Using that large shield for a reason. Pinwheel. Gonna pull him a little bit for it. Finally a connection for Bisu. Somebody picked up on the other end. I need to chat yeah, now. Right now, I need to call my mother and tell her how well I'm doing. Nice. One more combo. I stand for Diaphone and commit. Wow. Commander grab. I guiding him I through the battlefield. I, it's it's always there. It's always there. <laughs> and always walking with confidence too. You see the flash. Yes. Oh. Yep, that's gonna be a command grab, and you still get scooped up. Yeah. Belial knows it's gonna hit. Like, watch this. Watch this command grab real quick. Hey, yo, let me watch this. <laughs> let me show you something real quick. <laughs> Might as well turn to the screen. Be like, yo, check out this command grab. <laughs> You won't. Oh my god, he did. <laughs> he actually did. Nice. Nice heavy's carrying over to the corner here. BC trying to get this offensive pressure early. Diaphone setting up. Oh, nice jump over the DP here. Gonna jump to a couple 2Ms. Dragon gets stuffed out. Over the regular pin wheels there, and there it is. You know, that unique action keeping him safe. The dragon scooping from the skies. Diaphone, like, yo. Is there a magic pixel there for the dragon? No, oh, it's completely gone. Okay, we still gotta wait for the charge here. That's a whole tool set gone there. Yeah, that's round. 
yeah, Bisu, like, don't worry about that charge. That's the least of your problems right now. <laughs> Match point for Bisu. Turning things around, you know, it was looking a little rough in the beginning, especially after that first game. But Bisu turned things around, getting themselves match point. Now the iPhone's on the back foot. Poking's out. Nice parry here. That does give Dragon Charge if you parry that projectile there. So that's actually crucial for Zoe's game. Oh no! Trying to get the throw. It's going to get punished instead. Stuck in the corner now. What's it going to be? Diphone just trying to charge up Dragon oh. Gauge just enough to use it again. Got out the corner, but not out of dodge quite yet. Yeah, it was a really good uh, duck under the EX DP there for Bisu, but unfortunately wasn't able to get a punish. Just ended up getting hit anyways. Diphone really going to have to make this count here. Life deficit is looking pretty chunky. Another 30% will do it for Diphone. Oh, and that's the scary thing, right? Diaphone trying to use that crouching medium, but you got to be aware of that far heavy from Bilal might be able to slap yes. you up on the punish. Something that is a unique thing, because usually crouching medium from Zoe can really give her the distance she needs. Yeah, exactly. That is like the ideal button for her. The almost identical to the Catalina button in a way. Uh, okay, wow. Corner set up here. Already going. It's probably going to be Skybound Art to wrap it up, and there it is. Yeah, yeah. The wow. immediate cash out for Bisu. Two to one, um, you know, really, really a scenario where you didn't get to see Crouching Medium come out too much, as you were saying, Zero, because you have to be, you just have to be mindful of Belial's far heavy. Like, it's a button that exists yeah. that will that will hit you on Punish from ranges where you might not be used to that, like you were saying. Just a big crank back and just slams whatever's in his way. <laughs> All you need is the little shoe scrape that you used to hear in the hood before somebody gets, skirt. That was a knockout. <laughs> you know somebody was getting knocked out immediately. Skirt. That was the charge up sound. Might as well have been a meter flash. <laughs> the, the, the scuffle up, the, the scuffle scuff. <laughs> That's what <laughs> Oh, well, you know, Bisu moving into winner's finals, um, uh, a territory, especially in this bracket, you definitely want to be because you get to that three out of five scenario. Not over yet for tire phone. Um, still can make the run uh, and potentially get the run back depending on what happens. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just plenty of work in the Lucia side, though. Like, I do not envy, like, ever having to drop down. This. Like, like you were saying earlier, <laughs> just like, like, well, you got to fight King John, and you fought King John before, but uh, here you are in this top 16 yeah. bracket. Some of the best players out here in North America. You still have Romantic yeah. Style down there. Still have Zambu down there. Yes. Shark invested yes. Waters. It is, it is not friendly down there at all. You better go down there in one of those iron cages where you know you can you can see the, the endemic life down there, but you don't want to interact with it. That's not something you want to be a part of. So uh, we'll see what's going to happen. On the winner's side, we also still have uh, MBK and Tinker uh, on deck. So uh, that's going to be another heavy hitting match. Tinker, another Belial just kind of, you know, making it work, putting in, putting in, putting them boots to work, them nice suede shoes that you were talking about. Yeah, but, you know, MBK playing Andre out here, and Andre is yeah. really messed up. Like, I, I'm loving this character, the versatility that the character has. Uh, I, I haven't gotten to see too many Andre players, and MBK has definitely yeah. really been putting in that work for sure. Um, geez. And, you know, just looking back at the history of just MBK, we're talking seventh at Arc Rigavo, uh Southeast Regional, so that was a tremendous victory for MBK out here. Um, and still keep it practiced up every week even to just uh you know not only just doing nlbc uh with 40 plus appearances over the career in the last year uh alone for grand ridiculous uh, <laughs> that's yeah, almost it, every it's, week. it's a lot yeah <laughs> so definitely uh, somebody that has played a lot of kids because we've seen him play jita cagliostro oh, yeah. has played belial even yep. so that information is going to be crucial here up against jita. tinker so let's see uh, MBK oh, going speaking to of Gita, Gita, looks like okay. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? I'm not mad at him. MBK, one of the you know the the main drivers of Gita Nation, as you would know if you uh, follow him on Twitter, uh, putting out tech all the time. Another content creator, so um, definitely familiar with these scenarios, I'm sure. But Tinker, as we saw before, familiarity may not get you where you want to be when the player, the caliber of player, is this high. Yeah, you know, that, that's the thing is so many of these Belial players in this bracket alone have their own kind of unique way of playing. But, um, you know, just because you play one Belial doesn't mean the mindset is going to be exactly the same for the True. next Belial. 
really have to worry about it. And plus, it depends upon what character you're playing as well. Because, you know, sure, in the back of Tinker's mind, yeah, MBK has played Belial before. But what character are you going to play, MBK? If it's indeed going to be Jita, we have to worry about that big damage. Jita. That's, that's scary. Just Jita and Gron. Like, anytime I see them show up on the screen, yeah. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> One touch, no, I they're just they're just hitting they're just hitting you know far heavy and all and like okay let's uh, it's the Simpsons episode I'm just gonna do this and if you walk do into it, it <laughs> that's your fault right that's that's we, on you. We just see Zeta just in the in the field of flowers you know spinning around. <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of music and she just happens to Gita. decapitate Gita. several characters in the cast. <sighs> it is what it is. Yeah. Um. But again, you know, Belial, that. That far heavy is a thing, right? So you, you're whiffing, you're yeah. whiffing Jita's heavy on Belial, and it, it, he can make you pay for it. So something that I'm sure MDK is well aware of, and we're gonna see how it shakes out right Jeez. now. Yeah, a DP right off the rip. I don't care about that pinwheel. Here's an energy uh, fireball for you. Oh, into the... a DP. Oh my! Through the pinwheel though. Got to do it sometimes. Oh yeah. Oh, don't parry it. Oh my goodness! And I feel like that was a missed input from Tinker. That's really unfortunate. You like to hope really unfortunate. You you like to hope it was. And you know what? Uh, MBK was showing DP on a couple of pressure strings and things like yeah. that. And might have been a call out, right? To say, hey, you're gonna do it again. And MBK like, nah. I'm gonna come closer though, but it's not for what you want. I hear you laughing. I don't see what's so funny. Just carry the <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice dodge! No You're games. gonna take the turn back. Absolutely. MDK down to half life though. As Moni's gonna scoop up Jita again. Tinker trying to press the corner. EXDP the bust out. Wake up DP. Nice oh, dodge! The delay. Up. Yeah. Wow. Right. Able to fight back, put things all even in the round count. We're gonna go to battle three. Super important. Decides to commit to the Rekka here. Tinker gonna take that hit. Oh wow! Asmodee is out of the corner. Try to guess which side. Starter right there, but the EXDP gonna let Tinker keep the turn. Push MBK into the corner. Defense on point right now. Jeez, how many fireballs at that range? That's horrifying. <laughs> Gotta hold all of them. Another DP interruptions from MDK have been on point, not yeah. wanting Tinker to get that momentum revved up. Yeah, absolutely. It's just the reactions from MDK in this setting right now have been tremendous here. Just like that right there. Full punish off of that uh, dodge there with the DP. Yeah, and you see Tinker doing the dodge because they're 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 expecting the DP and MDK's not pulling the trigger and then punishing with it right after. Oh my goodness. The anti-air into Skybound Art to wrap up that game. First game going to MBK. That was and, some and great stuff. Battle, yeah, it, it really was. I mean just like honestly the like you said the the, not randomness, but like the, the conditioning that MBK is putting on uh, Tinker to really pay attention to that DP. Like, you're going to make that approach, and I know a DP is somewhere in there. I just don't know where. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you know what, Tinker, again, getting caught by the DP after the pinwheel, and MBK not having any of it. Normally, you see the pinwheel come in to be a pressure situation, but now MBK working with nearly full life and the full Skybound Art Punish. If it's blue, you know it's true. The damage is going to be real. Mm. Oh my goodness, oh, that's already over? Gina! And you know what, MBK putting on a clinic at the moment, showing that, you know what, I'm gonna use this invincible uh, reversal that they call it, I believe, to uh, make sure that I keep my turn or not get oppressed. <laughs> what does invincible mean? Does it just mean I won? What is that? <laughs> is that the W? I don't understand. Oh Again, goodness, EX speed. pinwheel? And here's the thing, right? You get DP'd when that EX goes off. You don't have pinwheel after that, right? Because it's on cooldown. Mm -hmm. So you got to approach a different way. Oh, wow. 
Got to the other side pretty scot free there. Counter hit, but nothing significant. Just enough to get a soft knocked out. Nice pinwheel hit. Oh, the air throw! Good recognition from MBK here. DP already coming out. Tinker trying to keep this offensive pressure going. And another DP. Jeez Louise, MBK's reactions have been 100% thus far on these DPs. Ridiculous. Definitely ridiculous. MBK trying to close things out on match point. Tinker just looking for a round at this point. Like, I just need a taste. Let me get a round. <laughs> Please, I only got one of them earlier. Can I spare another one? Oh, the low's wow. gonna catch. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get that. Not this, not, in, not on winter side. No, you don't get another M round. Sorry, Tinker. Yeah. Yeah, MBK just uh, really, really showing that the, the reason for the Jita pick <laughs> was there, was present. Um, the reactions were on point, and it's gonna be a 2 0 oh, because of that, you know? Whoa. It, it was. It was almost as though we were in an offline setting those reactions like just like is that are you doing startup frames on a fireball that no one else can see but i could see between the frames and then you just go ahead and yeah. do those dps like that was tremendous work from mbk it, here yeah and the the attempts there were, were there from tinker uh was hitting 5h and then doing standing dodge right to see if the dp was coming out um and it just didn't come through you know mbk did not uh, take that bait um, and still maintain to keep Tinker from putting down pressure because of that, right? Pinwheel will come out. Normally you see Bilal like, oh, you blocked Pinwheel? Guess it's time for me to, you know, pressure on block. And MBK was having nothing of it. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, it, it, it's terrifying. Like, it's not often you get to see Bilal get shut down in that way. Like, normally Bilal can just play their, uh, their set play in the corner situation here and play. When you come up against a character, and I guess, honestly, that's probably why. I mean, jeez, you would think that the parries would also come through uh, from Andre. But anyways, that's probably why we saw Jeter, right? Was because of that invulnerable yep. DP. I can get through a lot of this yes. pressure that most other characters can't. So. Yeah. I mean, the parry does, you know, from Andre can set things up. But there's just something commanding about a, a DP that's just like, no, I'm going to go through it and punish you. I'm not going to waste any time. You're knocked down. Um, and obviously, and it, it might be a, a comfort thing too, right? Like you said, MBK, oh, definitely yeah. one of the champions of Jita. And if, if that's what you're going to go with against a character like Bilal with a player like Tinker, then why not? You know, go with what you know. Right. Absolutely. It, familiarity at this point. We had the bracket pulled up here. You're familiar with all of these names. Bisu and MBK are going to be your uh, winner's finals players here uh, yes. in this bracket here. And then, of course, down below in the loser's quarters, we got Diaphone up against King John. It's the King John. You know, they, we added an additional title yeah. to King John just, just for yeah. this tournament alone because well-deserved, honestly. Uh, <laughs> and that was serious. That was not facetious. That was absolutely a serious well-deserved <laughs> King John. I want to be very clear. <laughs> uh, Tinker and Zambu as well will be going at it uh, in losers quarters. Wow, Zambu came up two one over Romantic style, uh, and then which I oh I mean I have to look back at the notes of that one, but I think Romantic style and Zambu have definitely faced off against each other. But uh, previously, I don't think in a Roman Rumble though, which is usually where okay. Romantic style will be appearing. On, on yeah, the that's but Romantic style's uh, stopping grounds for sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, oh, if it's yeah. a West Coast RR, Romantic style is going to be hanging out there. But um, like you said, this time uh, Zambu comes up, comes out on top, uh, and we're going to uh, see more of them as we go on in the bracket. You know, interesting thing about Bisu and and MBK in Winners Finals is uh, they played against each other before for sure. Uh, and Bisu, I am positive, was watching what happened to Tinker, right? So, like, the, the Yomi has already begun before the match is even fired off, right? It's like, okay, I see what you're doing here. So I'm curious to see how uh, Bisu is going to deal with the what MBK was throwing out there, right? Like, what happens after the pinball situation? We're going to get to that later. Uh, obviously, you know, button checks are coming out uh, for the next few people on deck. But uh, something to keep your eye on for when this finals. Yeah, absolutely eye on things i've been keeping my eye on this match right here we're up at 10 21 which is insane we've already crossed that thousand dollar threshold i'm waiting until we hit that 720p you don't want to talk about that 10 24 by 720 out here um, <laughs> oh yeah you know here 
Absolutely. And it's been one of those things where you, you look at it and you say, hey, this is the support that we're talking about, right, for the community. This is the thing that we love to see because it not only uh, it not only gives it blesses the players, but uh, it gives reinforcement to the, the people who run the tournament. You know, Ebony Play didn't have to do this. You know, they decided to do this. It wasn't like, oh, I'm, I'm contractually obligated to do this. This came from a, a collaboration between you know, Ibonic and the Roman Rumble crew, and you love to see it, right? And, and, and it's, it's so inspiring. As someone who is part of an organization that runs events, I cannot tell you how inspiring it is just to see people not only put money into the match arena, but also just spreading the word, tuning into viewing. It's things like that that have people wake up and say, you know what, I want to run it again, let's go. Yeah, absolutely. It's really uh, fantastic to see the turnout always. It, it really, the hard work does pay off and you've all shown it here um the players alone and even just all of you watching we're plus 300 viewers right now uh watching this event go down it, it's it's been tremendous uh, you know i honestly like the rest of us here i can't thank you all enough uh, for giving all the players this opportunity this wonderful platform to really showcase their skills and showcase uh north american uh grand blue versus um and wow like i only really think about too like this is just North America. What about the rest of the globe? You know, like there's still right. so much more content well, out there uh, that we yeah, have yet to really consume on the control scene. Absolutely. And you know what? That's that's why this Parsec thing is so great. You know, shout out to Tong for the Good server as well. Victory. You know, we wouldn't be yeah. able to do it without her. Check check out Tong's events. You know, uh, Tampa Never Sleeps. It's, it's dope. We're going to get into this next match, but I'm going to hit you up, Tong, again afterwards to give you some proper shout outs because without Tong, this wouldn't be going down. But right now, King John trying to slide up on in past Diaphon to continue on the Lewis side. Yes, this is not unfamiliar territory for King John and Diaphon both. Uh, players out there on the East Coast. They should know, know each other pretty well at this point, especially Lancelot. Now, Zoe, on the other hand, might be that little unfamiliarity here for King John, but let's see how King John reacts. Wow, wake up Skybound Art just to get out of that corner there. Uh, man, that's a lot of resources to try to get out. Nice, just walk back. I appreciate it. Tries to charge the dragon and make the approach. Unfortunately, it, it was all the the ball was at King John's court. Had to make the move to close the gap on Diapo. Diapo just had to react. And unlike in the Belial matchup, you're going to see Crouching Medium coming to play a lot here for Diaphone, and that is going to stop things like the Lancelot dash in to try to create that pressure. EX Fireball here, going to get the overhead connection. Had to guess, guess wrong. King John going to capitalize, went for the reset, and unfortunately gets hit. That's, yeah, super unfortunate here. You know, King John tried to go with the fancy stuff here in Diaphone. Ah, light looks good. And <laughs> just knocks you out of the sky, continues to drop, and really get out of it. Right now, corner situation here. King John has to figure something out. Skybound Art is available here, but wow, you gotta worry about these uh, fire pillars coming up from Jack and Zoe here. Wow, Gorilla Blade to close the gap into immediate Super Skybound Art to close out the round here. Wow. Put this round on ice. King John gonna take it. Going to battle three. And this is, you know, it, hey, you, you know how Diaphone is. You definitely don't want to be on the back foot against them. King John doing what's necessary to stay in the game. Absolutely. Cool charge. Wow, Jack is shutting down Gorilla Blade here. EXDP to catch the teleport. And wake up buttons from King John. Trying to take that turn back. You're setting up the dragon a little bit too late here. There's the stagger pressure there, but Diaphone deciding at the right time to go ahead and hit that light button. The slide, though, with the knockdown. Cross up block, late tech, gonna let King John keep the turn. And here we go. King John finally finding ways to get in on Diaphone's defense and the life lead in their favor. Yeah. Try to get you back off here with that electrical. Uh, I'm really interested seeing that uh, Diaphone is allowing King John to teleport so much. You're seeing less anti your options. But again, the, the fear, too, is like, all right, was that the EXDC? Am, am I going to get counter hit? Or is it just a regular teleport? Is that going into it? And that takes that third round here for Diaphone coming out with the first game. Yeah, that's definitely something that you, you're, you're seeing Diaphone do is allow uh, the, the teleports to rock. You also got to think about the delay from the unique that can happen as well. So a lot of things for Diaphone to think about. However, it might just be autopilot here because King John's stuck in the corner. Yeah, once again, trying to fight out of there. Nice. Wow. 
tick throw, a uh, counter heavy into the corner. Yep, immediately spend it. We have the life lead here. We're gonna get that meter back, no problem. Let's keep going. What's the mix gonna be? Jump it into oh, throw. Tick, One more hit will do it here. We're gonna go for ice ball, delay wreck of pressure. Oh no. Typhoon finally gets a turn, run up throw. Dragon is available. There's the heavy laser. Oh, caught him with the stagger on the light. The lightning comes down. Here we go. Last chance, last dance for King John. You get hit again. That's it. The throw whiff. No reaction from King John. One more touch will do it here. Yeah, it didn't matter. It could have been anything for both players. That's insane. What a decision. Again, Diphon has been using the light, the standing light from Zoe on King John's aerial teleports all match in that time it was able to put him on match point there's an ice ball geez louise diaphone pressing buttons at the wrong times here king john is not stopping the pressure i swear if they were stunned this game he probably would have been stunned a long time ago nice off the wall we're going to skybound art we'll see you next time diaphone wow what a round from king john decided you know what okay i lost that one by a hair i'm coming out full throttle nitrous activated i don't care if i crash into seven buildings i'm getting this round it's not the car that wins the race it's the driver <laughs> you know don't you know literally king john ejecting out of the car to just put his head through the finish line for that round i don't care i don't need the vehicle i'll get past the finish line don't worry about it X Rekka here getting the knockdown. Go for the big jump in into the corner. Oof, caught low. Good trade. Actually, that's an ideal trade scenario for Diaphone here, even if you didn't get out of the corner because it immediately stopped the offensive pressure. King John. Nice reaction, EXDP. Ooh, overhead, but not a counter hit, fortunately, for King John. Still gonna have to hold this pressure. Diaphone backing up that dragon meter kind of wow. low, and there it is, all gone now. King John knows it. Has to block the laser on the cross up and does it. I didn't even see it. It was from the yeah, next was... match over. <laughs> it was on the other stage before the transition. Sorry. No. <laughs> Left one there. What? what? That dragon I mean, that, came back that's... in the DeLorean, hopped out, and then shot, shot a laser. Doc, I gotta tell that you something. Wild. I, wow, no. and, and that's an unfortunate situation. We really saw the reach there uh, from King John using 66H uh, oh. in that just really reaching. You got to be careful putting your hands in that cookie jar before dinner. You, know, you got to make sure you clear the plate, and then you can have all the dessert you want. But geez, uh, yeah. geez, that did. Let's see here. So, moving on to this next match here. Checking out the bracket, Diaphone does move on to that yep. loser's semi-final here. Of course, we still got to check out Tinker and Zambu here. Tinker still playing that Belial. Zambu, wow. To see Zambu is it going to be, do you think it's going to be a switch to Grand? Say again? Do you think it's going to be a switch to Grand for Zambu? Or you think Charlotte is going to rock still? That's that's the question I'm asking myself. Like, you know, I don't, I don't. I mean, it's, it's obviously up to the player, but um, you know, right. Tinker, no. you, you'll yeah. have to you'll have to wait and see because uh, Zombie versus Grand, or excuse, Zombie versus Tinker <laughs> is uh, is happening off stream right now. Uh, we were, we're okay. trying okay. to make sure this tournament goes, and nobody has to wait anymore after that first round, uh, where basically everybody waited. <laughs> so, all good, all good. I still want the I want the notes on. I want the cliff notes on that. That's gonna be. I, I'm curious. Really, really curious to see if uh, Zambu goes back to the classic bronze, sticks with Charlotta, or pulls out Yule against Belial. Uh, we'll yep. definitely find out momentarily here. But of course, now that means, I guess, what Bisu and MBK. But first, don't forget about that Grand Line Singularity. Uh, yes. These great events. I mentioned Casa earlier. Gates also as well. Uh, the Octagon, Ronin Rumble even, and 100 Clouds Gates are all uh, giving points for the Grand Line Singularity. That's been going on since January 1st. This is the last month to get those points. The last chance qualifier will be April 3rd to qualify for that Grand Prix on April 4th. And right there, you have all the dates and times for each event bi-weekly from the Octagon, every Saturday from the Gates, every Friday from Casa, monthly Ronin Rumble, and of course, monthly on Cloudscapes.
Absolutely. Oh, and you know what? This isn't, coffee. this is, wow. yeah, sh ahead, so, shout outs to that coffee. Hold up. Time out. That coffee <laughs> is ridiculous. Like for yes. real, for real, if you enjoy a cup of Joe, check out Grind Coffee. I am not playing. This is for real dynamite. This is not shill dynamite. This is, I use this, <laughs> this morning dynamite. Like that coffee is broken. So go ahead and check them out. But um, I was just going to say, you know, it takes a lot to coordinate as TOs to pull off something like Grand Line Singularity, right? Like yeah. there, there are meetings and there's organization behind the scenes that a lot of people don't even see. Uh, so shout outs to all the TOs that are doing that because it is something awesome for the community. It's going to be dope. And I'm looking forward to the conclusion. Yeah, absolutely. That's going to be for uh, Midwest and East, some of the East Coast as well, uh, best. Uh, that will be qualifying for that. Unfortunately, no West Coast players out there, but for it being the first time on this event, of course, you know, we want to get the, you know, test the waters, make sure we got everything smooth, really well run. Uh, because like you said, it, this is a huge undertaking, uh, but that's to be expected from the Grand Blue community. We're always going out striving for more. Uh, hey, did a tremendous job really getting this uh, ball rolling oh, yeah. for this entire Grand Prix. So uh, thank you to her. She's doing fantastic. Uh, She's doing fantastic. Together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To chime sure. in real quick, um, this the the whole point of Grand Sky Rumble again is to get eyes on the Grand Blue community, right? So, um, more than happy to talk about the Grand Line Singularity as a whole because not only does it just talk about the Grand Line Singularity, but it it talks about all the different events there are. Um, now, yeah. in particular, the Grand Line Singularity is a East Coast uh, circuit. Right. So there are West Coast events. There are far more than just, uh, you know, the ones that you saw there. Wednesday Night Fights goes on week after week after week. Right. And there's a bunch more tournaments. Uh, Blasting Thunder uh, runs events yes. as well. The Mexico Crew, uh, things like that. Right. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't have everything on hand in front of my face right now. But yeah, uh, there's more than that. Also, just so you guys remember, I you know can't stress this enough. At the moment, uh, there is going to be another Parsec tournament coming after this one right here it is going to be uh uh there it is okay <laughs> shining onslaught <laughs> uh yeah so unfortunately we ran on the same day because they are every sunday night um so luckily you know we won't be running into another scheduling conflict because this is you know our one thing but they are around every time so make sure that we we're gonna make sure you guys check out that event directly after this one uh you know to pay homage since we did take over one of their days but uh yeah so like i said this, this whole thing is meant to put eyes on the Grand Blue community. Uh, if you are in the chat and you have yet to play Grand Blue or, you know, you, you left at the very beginning uh, after, you know, maybe something changed and you didn't want to play anymore, I, I'd say give it another try. Uh, come back. A lot of players are willing to, uh, to give you the rundown about what's been happening. It hasn't changed so much that I don't think people will be able to get back into it uh, quickly. I think you can easily get back into it quickly. So, you know, just give it a, just give it a try. Uh, if if you have never played it, again, give it a try. It's a very easy game to start out with for sure. Yeah, it's one of the games where, you know, people who uh, are new to the fighting game genre, I feel can really get into and start to understand the archetypes and the different characters and how they work. Um, fantastic game for that. And uh, one of the ones that I would recommend, especially if you're starting out in the, the fighting game area of Believe video games. And even the single player content too, um, it does a really good job of, you're playing a game, right? You're playing an RPG, mode, so there's still a lot there, but it, it does teach you some base fundamentals of, of fighting games. It literally does, uh, a, in a fun way, uh, teach you how to play the characters that you have and unlock cool things. So if you're not about doing the, you know, big competitions, there's still plenty for the casual audience as well. Uh, Grand Blues community is, is huge. I've been learning that since the launch of this game. I've I've heard of the, the mobile game, the gotcha game, and I've not really participated. Like earlier in the stream, I literally just said, I've been dabbling into the anime and I really need to sit down and watch it. But there's so much to this game. Like I get excited every time a new character is shown because I genuinely don't know what's going to show right? up as far as like the lore, <laughs> the characters, what's going to happen. Andre showed up. I was like, I'm getting you and McGregor in potato form. Terrific. Let's do it. Like I'm ready. Let's for do this. it. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> that is sick yeah i feel the same way you know the the character choice i don't even know how uh side games decides who goes in next right like because they have so many characters and the, the story's been going on for so long and it's so wide and immersive that 
it's like yo i don't i don't know how they make this decision but um every time a character has been released i'm like oh this is interesting this is new you know i <laughs> wonder what they're going to be like absolutely every dlc character like i've not been disappointed with at all like i've played every dlc character that's shown up because they've been so much fun so unique of course i do keep shilling belial because belial's currently my favorite character right now in this series but let me tell you when eustace drops if we get that superhero yo, character strap. showing up yo uh <laughs> but be soon mbk coach is showing up right now yes this is going to be winners finals first to three territory here and you see Bisu immediately threw pinwheel, ran up and blocked, right? Still got DP'd after yeah. in the second sequence, but already thinking about what happened to Tinker. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, MBK ready to let those DPs rip. Tries to go for the uh, 2H, unfortunately. Bisu goes for unique action in the air. Five H. Oh, wow, sweet, still. Bisu with corner pressure. Yeah, no DP that time, MBK chilling. But the anti-air there from BC is gonna allow to convert Asmodeus. Doesn't decide to cash out, instead goes for the meaty pinwheel. Stagger pressure, there it is, EXDP, get off. Wow, what a big jump on jump install. Reaching to the other side here, there we go. Skybound art, that should wrap it up here. Yeah, we got Bahamut showing up. Big lasers right here. This game is just gorgeous. I love this uh, this animation style, the decision to make these Arxis games look the way they do. It's been, it's been fantastic. Strong jump in there for MDK over the pinwheel. EXDP, the full block and a big punish here for MDK. Momentum heavily on their side. Life lead looking crisp. Yeah, actually, cheese, and that's the scary thing. Jita is just a beast in that corner. One touch, and you're already looking at 70% of your health gone. There it goes. Skybound art. Oh, go for the easy route. Not going for button input, so I guess the damage is going to be just enough. And yes, yes, it is. To get the W, MBK coach decided to go make a sandwich after they activated the Skybound. No. That's what you do. Might as well go ahead. Put the, put the command in, walk away. I'll see you in game two. I'm going to input that Macarena code real quick. Nice DP. Again, you're not allowed to <laughs> there throw pinwheels. Not in this zone. She spoke to the manager. She's like, yo, <laughs> ain't gonna be that type of game when I'm in the store. You know who I'm gonna speak to. My name is Jita, not Becky, and you wrote it wrong on my cup. I need a whole new cappuccino. <laughs> need the whole thing. As a matter of fact, make it one size larger than what I ordered. I will be tweeting about this. It will be on the stick. Nice throw. Already looking fairly even here. DP wake up. That's gutsy, especially at that life point that MVK was sitting at here. If BC would have blocked, it would have been over. Wow. Best around find out the 2M Asmodeus wraps it up. Definitely strong showing there from BC. Nice adjustments there and uh earning that round for sure needs another one to even things up at one apiece but this is the long set right first to three so there's a little bit more time wow, there we go. oh <laughs> you ain't the only one. Oh, wait a minute <laughs> oh no off to the point look at that damage no sky on there quite yet oh How about here no. it is no sooner than I said it. Oh, but didn't go for the full strength. Does it matter? Still gets the overhead. Bro. Just slapped it on the plate pink. Didn't even put it on the skillet for a second. Just tilts up the glasses. That was <laughs> Already in the corner. Jeez, when we stop throwing these fireballs, you can't. It's, you, you cannot do cannot. it. Cannot. You're not allowed. Wow. In the connection here. Confirmation. Good for MBK. What's going to be the pressure here? Safest of jumps. Nice blocks from Bisu, but still stuck in the corner. Oh. I had to reach that jumping unique action there. Unfortunately, Bisu ends up falling into the skybound. I'm from Judy here. The big blast. Wrap it up. Rasengan, I mean, it <laughs> takes it. MBK. Oh, sorry. <laughs> MBK. Going to go up two games to nil. Um, you know, just playing at a pace that is incredibly fast. And we're going straight into game three. Bisu not even taking the time to think about it. I don't want to think about it. No, 
just wants to wrap it up as fast as they can. Move on, uh, sit pretty in grand finals. They're looking at that thousand dollar pot right there. Wants the most bread out of it. That stimmy just hit. Let's, let's fluff that up a bit more, shall we? Just a little bit more. Just like NBK just only needs a little bit more to get into grand finals. Full conversion here. Combo limit the overhead again. Said, I heard you like sushi. Let me turn it into sashimi. Get all this rice and stuff. Up, bro. Yep. We don't need none of that. Now, DC really has to stop throwing these fireballs. Has to. I know it's in your muscle memory, and it's it's harder to just like. Just it's what you're supposed adjust. to do. Right. It's like this is normally my thing, and I can't do my thing. Another big spar heavy from DC. Tried to get out of there. Does get out of the corner though. EX pinwheel gonna keep the pressure going, but MBK not biting at all. You know what's interesting? We haven't seen any command throws, but honestly, I don't blame you at this point. Just because of how often we've been hit by DP, right? Like, you're gonna get these fireballs in your face, and then you're still getting DP for it. Now you're at Skybound Art. One more touch. Oh. That's crazy. And you know what? That was because of the overheads that closed out those other two rounds. Putting that into the mind, and I'm sure that it was like, okay, I need, I mean, I need to bust out here, right? I don't want to guess, don't want to get hit by an overhead, and MBK like, nope, not this time. I'm just go ahead and hit the brakes, let you do your thing, and uh, go ahead and slide up on in the grand finals. Right, yeah, just really wants to take that turn right away. Like, as a Belial player, you really want to be shutting down most opponents, but when you have somebody as consistent as MBK, just immediate reversal dp punishing on these uh fireballs which is your meat and potatoes of your gameplay your set play what do you do at that point you know yeah the meal's gone you slap the meat off you slap the potatoes off you know i mean you got the vegetables there but what are we doing where's the starch where's the protein i need to feel full excuse me you gave me what my food eats why can't where's the meat <laughs> hello sort of Showing up to Arby's and we're out of the roast beef. Like, what? <laughs> what? What do you? What do you mean? I knew it was a mistake coming here in the first place. <laughs> oh, but you know it's, it's like not a mistake. Nowhere. All the support that we've gotten uh, from from the viewers, from from the players, uh, and shout outs to everyone. We're we're narrowing it down, but we're not done yet. We still got plenty of grand blue left, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen. We see the bracket here. We got uh, Diaphone and Tinker uh, up next for the the gambit to get into losers finals. That's going to be a good one. Yeah, and that's what we were looking for earlier. Tinker versus Zombu. Tinker going 2-0 over Zombu there. I man, and you know it is a bracket in which we're like we want to see every single match in, in a perfect world. Yeah. We would. <laughs> Man, I, I'm really curious to see what happened there. I'm sure we'll get the notes later on here. Uh, but yeah, Tinker moving on 2-0 over Zombo. I, I would have to imagine that Tinker definitely stuck with Belial in that match. Um, and then yeah, the iPhone, I, I, of course. I think so. Yeah, I, I don't see Tinker switching out at that point, uh, at, especially this late in the bracket here. Diaphone uh, moved, you know, we saw that match earlier. Still sitting pretty hot on Zoe. Uh, so let's see if Zoe can take on Tinker. Yeah. Uh, and Diaphone behind. does have the UL, right? So we, we saw that uh, and, and have seen that in the past. So um, I don't know. It, Diaphone went went down to losers because of Visu's Belial, right? We know Tinker's on Belial. Right. Will there be a switch coming? Not sure. Uh, we'll have to see, but it is something to keep in mind. You know, this is back to first to two territory. So, you know, the decisions you make are going to matter a lot quicker. And we'll see how, yeah. to, we'll have to see wow. how it plays out. <laughs> yeah, imagine having to face back-to-back -back Belial. The, like, if you win this, waiting in the works is the Belial that sent you here in the first <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Actually, exhibit setting up your bracket. Yo, I heard you like Belial. <laughs> so we're going to ahead and put some more Belials into your Belial. <laughs> Man, what a rough road it is. But, I mean, that's I this event, to... right? This is the 16 people. Right. None of them, you know, this, this isn't a pushover event. You know, every, every no. time you're going to step up to deck, it's going to be someone who's a, a heavy hitter. Yeah, and it's really going to show at this point in the bracket, too, who has the mental endurance. And, you know, that's something I talk about a lot in brackets is when you get this late in the game, the mental endurance does really come out to shine. Because if you have somebody like MBK seems to 
not have lost or broken a sweat at all. You saw those reactions on DP. And normally when you are fatigued mentally, those DPs are not coming out as clean later on in the bracket. But this yeah. player, DK, <laughs> just every single time the fireball came out, you, you could smell the pinwheel on the way. DP immediately. Yeah, you so could. It, and does that if, – if, go ahead. If I'm, cor- if I'm correct, uh, I think MBK has, uh, has only dropped – one game in on winner's side um so far so yeah against like <laughs> john <laughs> yeah who's no longer in so, the tournament I mean, so like <laughs> so who else is gonna who can stop this fighting machine you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh it's gonna uh, be curious to but see. yeah that's, i mean that, it that's goes why to this show, event like, has been so great yeah yeah, and it definitely goes to show that, I mean, MBK, like I said earlier, uh, a regular NLBC uh, player with 40-plus appearances alone over the last year uh, at that event. So it, it's seventh in Arc Revo America. Like, this this guy has definitely been putting in a lot of work here. But, you know, that's also looking at Bisu as well, uh, still putting in just as much work and giving um, giving it their all in that matchup. Just MBK had those answers. So Bisu gets a little break. Diaphone and Tinker. Diaphone is definitely going to have to try to find some answers against this Belial and then really think how they're going to take on this next Belial uh, if they make it through. This is the Belial gauntlet. We've come to the Belial channel. Yep. All Here things coming up, Belial. It's the boss oh, yeah. rust phase of Mega Man, right? Where it's like, look, you got to fight all of them all <laughs> over again. So get ready. Get your E-Tanks together. You're gonna, It's going to be a long road. And uh, good luck and enjoy. You know, Sigma, see you later. Just Sigma is prepped Belial. with four phases even, so. Yeah, so, you know. Uh-oh. Okay, so at first I saw is this a button selected, but now I see Belial. Yeah, it, we'll find out momentarily here. I'm, I'm, I'm sure this is a button check, because we've been Belial. doing that, so. Um, you never know, yeah. right? My, the mind games might have already begun at button check, so you, it, it, it has happened before in the past. <laughs> It is a button check. All right, mothership. So, yep. Bob. We're going to be good there. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Battle. we saw the first selection of Yule there. Um, so maybe Yule shows up uh, from Diaphone. Also, Zoe is doing pretty solid. And, and again, like I was saying, just because you lost to one Belial does not mean you've lost to this Belial as well. So maybe the, the Zoe pick will still have an appearance. Or we go straight up Yule and just go to town. Because, man... If you've been watching any of the content that the iPhone has been putting on Twitter for Yule character specifically, select. Yule's a beast of a character as well. Like, I, I'm just loving yeah. I've been saying, like, every single DLC character I Hell love, yeah. Yule has dropped and has done tremendous stuff. If you get caught out of the sky with Yule, oh. your life is fine. <laughs> Goodbye. <That> is done. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those cat ears are not for show. That is a, that is an animal out there ready to, to, to fight, so... Um, we'll see where I char- character select. Um, it's going to be up and look, looking like Zoe at the moment. So we'll see. Like you said, you know, just because you lost to one Bilal doesn't mean you're going to lose to the next. Obviously, you know, Diaphone uh, been playing Zoe for a long time. And I'm all about the comfort pick, especially in this stage of the bracket, unless you have like the hard read on the counter. Yeah, exactly. So let's see how we get these setup situations going here. Um, of course, the game plan of, is definitely to not let Belial move. And unfortunately, Zoe has that meter uh, resource in the dragon, where if you're spending that too much, then you don't have that dragon option available. So Diaphone has another layer to think about on their offense uh, in this matchup here. Whereas Belial can just be like, I got these buttons, I got pinwheels, I can alter my jump arc. What do you want me to do? Believe in victory. <laughs> you choose how you would like to lose. This is a, <laughs> this is a loser's choice type of thing. And here we go. Big swing in the start. Opting for the Tiger Knee Lightning. I swept up into Asmodeus to start right away here. I'm going to try to close out into the corner. And again, another Asmodeus sweep. Oh, Ooh, no. The, the shimmy. Big no shimmy. The yeah. yeah, X-Pen going to come out here. Out for free. Soft knockdown into medium dragon. With launch from Tinker, though. Yeah, we're going for damage. Another dragon beam set up. Oscar low. Good blocks from Tinker here. Gonna have to get opened up by the media, but missing the dust move. That was close. 
Full block on the DP here, and closing it out will be Diaphone for round one into the super. Yeah, this is this is what the Diaphone we've seen, right? Like some, even though yes. they get put on the back foot, finds that right moment. The jump out that time did it for him, and now Tinker's gonna have to adjust. Oh, oh, oh. Nice tech. I, I like the preemptive as well from Tinker there, trying to expect probably a button coming out from any sort of uh, Alright, nice. Sweep into Asmodeus again. Wow, don't jump away. Where are you going? The corner belongs to you. Let me talk to you, says Tinker. Dragon meter low for Diaphone. Gets caught up by the far heavy. Not that much of a punish. The delay gonna get a little bit of a hit, but no conversion there. Diaphone finding a moment to fight their way out. This is the laser. Dragon is now down. And Tinker with the life lead, Diaphone got to be real careful, but gonna super no. through the pinwheel. No. Does, no full animation though. But man, what a reaction from Diaphone. Trying to even things up, but we're still caught in the corner. That's a nice scoop here. Just barely enough Dragon Needle here. Still trying to build up. Keep him blocking. Yep, and there we go. Finally got it back. That's how long that block string was from Tinker. That Diaphone did not have any Dragon Meter opportunity at that point. That, that's a whole resource gone and just chip after chip coming out. Battle three. Tinker. Yeah, even the things up on the round count, battle three for sure. Diaphone pushed again right back into the corner. You've seen this scenario before. EX Asmodeus DP. Nah, I'm still taking my turn. I'm taking everything. The audacity. Nice. Caught low. Mess around. We'll find out what you do. Nice ant here. Interesting interaction. I, I thought the throw was coming, but I would have got stuck. So that's why I'm sitting here talking about what's happening. Diaphone heavily down in the life department. Still a little bit of Dragon Meter. I'm gonna go ahead and get that pillar to counter the pinwheel attempt. Just out of range of that couch M there. Nice, another beam. Keep your blocking. Really kept it guessing. Nice, actually. Just kept charging, waiting for uh, Tinker to try to activate something between that to be ready. Wow. EXDP off the wake up. Should we jump you action? Late tech though. Ooh, Diaphone getting space. A able to get some dragon meter here. Tinker getting caught by the crouching medium. Not dead though. Diaphone goes for the staggered pressure and gets the conversion for game one. What a set a so long. far. This is <laughs> this has been really long. Yeah. Wow, I like the, the mix-up game as well. Off of the B, we got the one throw attempt in there and it connected, but then after that, Diapo continued to really mix up that game, opting for, let me just charge you and see if you expect the throw between you two. And, and then you get counter hit by B. And then this time around, the winning combo ended up being like, really delayed this month. And we still got a yep. nice shot 50% life deficit though in this round. Yeah, but the Dragon Ball stopping the DP attempt from Tinker. Diaphone spending the meter on the Dragon. It is now down. Has to try to charge it. Pinwheel comes out short. Crouching medium. Wow. Camp the counters the dash. What a button. Looking just out of range there. Not going to get the OP we are looking for here. Nice EX DP. Yeah. That wraps up Diaphone up one point here. One round. Yeah, this is this is this is match point, right? It's first to two. So Tinker's gonna have to make something happen here. The Zoe working out well. Called him round start counter hit. That leg was oh. reaching out there. Nice. I like the reset attempt into the uh, five L. Unfortunately, Tinker was ready for it to punish it on the way down. Oh, tries the DP and gets punished! Opts to get the side switch still available here. Yes, that does connect off the sweep. A significant amount of damage, if not killing here. And it definitely, wow, wow. That's the most mitigation I've seen off that skybound right. Usually that's yeah. that's a guaranteed death right there, but we're good. Still gets it. Diaphone up 2-0 over Tinker. Taking down the first Belial in this gauntlet of Belials. That yeah. Diaphone has to run through here. Absolutely. He, he, he's hanging up the spam call, you know, blocking the number and then getting called for the same spam. Did you know that your car's insurance policy, is, you hang up and the next number, wouldn't you know it, they're telling you about your car's insurance policy. Another Belial coming up.
What, what is it? Hi, this is Stacy. <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. Thanks. I'm all right. I haven't even owned that car for five years, but you know, sure. <laughs> Why not? I oh, I, you know, I, warranty. right. <laughs> you know, I, I really like what Diphone was, was, was doing there with the approach. I think that um, the usage of Dragon always is important, but you saw Diphone really maximizing the mix up, like you said, off of the heavy yeah. laser on block, right? And that, that paid off big time for Diphone, allowed, uh, allowed him to get extra time when it came to block pressure on Tinker and just the option, you just overload the brain, right? Like at some point you're just like, yeah. I, I don't know what the right option is to guess here. Right. Yeah, that mental stack does get scary. Uh, I mean, honestly, normally Belial is throwing that out there, right? We have the EX pinwheel. Okay, well, what's the next option after that? He's got regular block string, possibly going to EX throw, maybe just regular throw or even just do jump U action and see what happens off of it. Whereas Zoe has additional layers of mix-up potential, right? We saw the, the double low or even the delayed low. Are you going to do a regular throw? Maybe you do uh, your parry. Who knows what you're going to do in this situation here, but the balance of it being is that you have to pay attention to that dragon meter, and Diaphone very rarely will spend the entire meter consistently keeping that meter charged, and when Diaphone is out of meter, it's because, well, that was the best decision that they had to at least lock down the opponent make sure that okay i need to i need some breathing room right now absolutely i mean that's that's been the key you'll see oftentimes diaphone will keep just a sliver of meter left right and all yes. you need is that little bit to call out any option you want right so like yes. just having that on deck is prolongs the the the, the, the threat range of zoe further into the round and Xiophone's really good at being able to manage that sometimes getting charges in between of uh you know knockdowns and things like that to make sure yep. that that small amount is left yeah it, it definitely takes a, a very skilled player to play zoe at the level that diaphone has been playing at uh, and it's always a real treat to watch diaphone play uh zoe in particular i mean even when i was watching yule like the, the, the way diaphone plays in general the aggression from yule the um, really taking advantage of the stance out of that character and just seeing the layers of Yomi out of uh, Zoe here. Diaphone has definitely you know, earned the spot here in this Losers Finals match uh, at Grand Sky Rumble. Much like how all 16 players have earned their spots here in this bracket, Diaphone has definitely been putting in the work and it's definitely showing. But these two knocked Diaphone into this position. Yes, Do you still this is the run back. That's the and as you said before, not, you know, just because they play the same character doesn't mean the, the, the outcome or the approach is going to be the same. Uh, Bisu did a great job of stuffing the ranged options from Diaphone to keep crouching medium to a, to a, a minimum. And just the pressure was stayed on. Now, however, having said that, Diaphone might be a little bit more comfortable because you played the character now. So you're you're accustomed to the approach, the way things look uh, might be a little bit more comfortable. We'll, we'll definitely find out. Jeez, because even looking back at that last set, right, we're, we're talking Diaphone, and it only lost by one game, right? It, it went back and forth. It yeah. was 2 1 uh, for Bisu. Uh, so it, it, it's not like Bisu really ran away with the set, right? It, it was just really, if I remember correctly, like every round was just really close. It was just one or two decisions away from the other person being the victim. We're really in for a treat here, just like how we've been in a treat for this entire bracket. Once again, everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this. Please put it out there. We are at Losers Finals right now. The last two matches, we're sitting at a nice $1,021 in that match arena there. All 16 players are going to be getting paid out for their participation in this event, which has been tremendous. Uh, so thank you all for the support. Believe in victory. Let's tune Battle. into this next Losers Finals match here. First of three... Oh yeah, it's going to be the long road right now. Diaphone opening up with some pressure here. Gets parry on the pinwheel. Gets a little bit of dragon meter for it. Got to be careful because that dragon is hanging out behind. Doesn't decide to use it. Now BC stuck up in the corner. Jeez, what a DP decision right there. Really betting it all, honestly. And once again, the pressure begins. Diaphone trying to shut this down. And it, it's so important oh, because we saw uh, against BC, MBK was just deep game between those pinwheels. This is what Bilal Thresher is supposed to look like, right? Where <laughs> Zoe does not have that invulnerable DP. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the that's what we're used to seeing with uh, Bilal for sure. The iPhone tried to copter out, gets caught though. This is gonna hurt quite a bit. Beastie decides to cash out to put even more red on the health bar of Diaphone, and now you gotta wonder, when will that dastardly command grab come into play? Not enough to kill quite yet, but it's still a factor. Oh my goodness, and that's close enough to get a hit. I think that might go, yes it does, full animation here. That's raw evil. Yes, there we go, got the kill. That does a lot of damage. That is, wow, Oof. excellent patience from Diaphone here to close out that round. TK Thunder there gonna go ahead and get a little bit of hit. Got some room to charge up Dragon Meter. Oh wow, those for helicopter there. Dragon's still out, get a little bit of a charge on there. Uh oh, the corner situation looking tough. Trying to reach for that crouch M, here we go. All right, laser's out. What's the option gonna be? Nothing. I'm, I'm choosing the escape button. I'm out of here. <laughs> we need to stop this immediately. I'll spend the meter. Or the resource. Just cross up attempt here. That's such an ambiguous cross up too for a while because you're not entirely certain. Right? Soft knockdown. The beam is out. Just for a couple lows here. And look at that. Just that little bit of meter left. This, even though Diaphone got the round, look at that small hint of meter left. And that's what I was talking about. That is the calculated meter management that has been so important because even if that stagger pressure right there didn't work, Diaphone had another chance to put out another dragon laser and get another mix up. And that that is what yep. makes playing Diaphone so difficult. Yep. You, you always have to think about it in the back of your mind. Like, all right, well... Dragon's off screen. What's gonna happen next? Like we saw earlier on, like, man, that dragon was still back there, could have launched the beam, and, you know, it might have been Bad News Bears. Go, another EX like the beam. Once again, really calling out. See, you throw out the beam, you're expecting a fire pillar or just a regular uh, dragon fireball, but you go to dodge. And, oh my goodness, you know, dodges. That parry. We're moving all over the place, and I'm really liking the, the decisions from Diaphone here. Really gonna put the damage on. Beastie is looking to be in trouble oh. here. Uh, Skybound art quite yet. There it is. That wraps it up. Holy smokes. Absolutely. And Diaphone, because of the laser and the way that it hits, was actually able to combo after the overhead, despite it not being a counter hit, right? So that's just, again, another layer of threat that you have to be careful of. And Diaphone using it to maximum efficiency, already looking at game points for game number two. Isu definitely going to have to put the pedal to the metal. I like the upward uh, fireball from DC in that situation. We've seen time and time again that the iPhone is just holding that charge, getting the parry, gets a free charge out. DC probably looking for that parry reaction uh, from Diaphone, trying to get them to open this and close that gap there. But this is need to know. Diaphone already did it. Three into the corner and right back at you from Diaphone here. Good challenge from DC, 50%. It's already down for Diaphone. Yeah, BC with that slight life lead, uh, big damage, go burr in Grand Blue, so it might not mean much at the moment, but, you know, it is something to keep in mind. There's the clash, the clash again, but the low gonna come through for Diphone gets more Dragon Meter. Those minimal charges making a difference every time Diphone's able to do it. A couple lows here. Wow, but once the anti-air not hitting, that's not a good look for Diaphone here, but made it out A-OK, -okay, so the Skybounder didn't connect, but the EX command throw does. That's a round for Beeson here. Cool. Absolutely. All right, Beeson looking to even things up. Diaphone goes for a little bit of charge. Nice dodge through the pinwheel. Go ahead and converse for a small knockdown, but Asmodeus Beeson's on the offensive. The regular throw pushing Diaphone back into the dreaded corner. That was the two age, regardless of what does have to chuck the damage. Skybound art is coming out there. Full animation. The light speed is massive for BC here. One more throw. One more combo. We'll do it. Mess around and find out the two ends here. I'm sure you size your sneaker out of <laughs> Definitely trying to stuff him up with the Giorgio's B suit. Sitting a little comfortable, but as I said, oh, there it is. Okay, far heavy is going to take it. I was just going to say, you got to be careful because Super Sky Von Arc can erase your whole hopes, dreams, and everything else. But uh, Bisu able to even things up. One game all. It is the first to three, though, so we got a little bit more to go.
Jeez, yeah, we're, we're definitely looking at going the distance here. Of course, like we said, that last set between these two went back and forth very much like this one here. Let's see. Oh, Yule is on deck now. Okay. 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 So there, there's the switch right there. I'm going to go ahead and shout out the match arena. Nice. And then we can keep going. So Yule, the switch, right? That is something that we're going to have to keep in mind. As you said, trying to catch people off of the stance is important because if you caught reaching with that stance activated, UL will make you pay big time. I mean, really big time. This is like the IRS audit times two big time. Right, real big time. Like tax season is not over yet. So make sure you dot your I's, cross your T's here because Yule is checking every single byline. Here we go, already stands up. Wow, the reach of the look like this. Yule is a fantastic character. Nice. And nope, still not your turn quite yet here. Nice parry, though. Got the side switch on. Absolutely. BC with the Asmodeus here. The stagger pressure. There's the pinwheel. Just trying to check, but Daikon gets the jump out, and now you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I think, yep. Damage under here. Watch the toes. Yes. That's the scary thing, right? You go for the DP, and instead of just falling back down at the same speed as you, you're still up in the sky and you have to guess, please dear god, are you going to go red, are you going to go low? I don't know. You guys into skybound right here. Lots of damage. Not enough to kill quite yet, but it's a real bad year for the PC. One to one. Oh, yes. Invincible and a punish. Diaphone making use of it, saying Zoe don't got one, but my other homegirl does. Hold this DP. Run up, extend over to the corner here. Watch which way you roll. Stand pressure here. In stance, yeah. yeah. That's the messed up thing about stance. Of course, you're not able to block in that situation, but with the moves that she has, she might just make you with punish for it. So you gotta be careful how far you're reaching the cookie jar. Because you're not gonna find any chocolate chips in there. It's just gonna be nothing but crumbs because you took all the cookies. Absolutely. Ate every last one of them and has no regrets. But it's going to be BC coming out with the super here. Going to put some big damage down onto Diaphone. Last chance, last ch dance scenario here. The blocks there from Diaphone because it would have been over. <gasps> oh, that was scary. Almost overcommitted from Diaphone here. In fact, did. Just did not get the punish. Yikes. EX man throw. One touch into Skybound Art to wrap things up. That is terribly unfortunate there for Bisu. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a rough scenario. You know, went for the ender that we, you know, that, that typically works out quite a bit, but just did not quite close the deal. Diaphone able to get over onto the other side and uh, come out with the button faster. And now Diaphone is up uh, two games to one. Uh, so Bisu yeah. going to have to make a decision here, taking some time. Um, you know, making thinking about it, you know, and now going back in. I like that though. That slight delay to say, hey, let me just get a moment, recollect, and then we'll go back in. I mean, you only got hit by the very tip of that normal. Like, if you were one frame further away, you would have been A-OK. -okay. Good dodge from Bisu here. Really smart stuff. Step away. Oh, nice. the, the delay. Mm -hmm. Wow, another one. Oh, no. I'm, I'm flashbacks to MDK just DPing everything. We have Yule doing the same. It was a no, ploy the, all the, along. Diaphone was hiding. He was taking notes, saying, yo, okay, DP, I got it. Don't worry about it. I got a DP character. Nice oh, EX. Hot bash. Shutting down the unique action stomp. One more round will do it for Diaphone to get that run back here. All right, Diaphone trying to punch the ticket into Grand Finals, see what MDK is all about. But BC not done quite yet. Let's get clipped up a little bit. Another clash there, but again, Diaphone canceling out into the special. We just press the H button. I don't get auto correct it. I whatever. Just whichever side you're on. I'm gonna let it. Hand. Let it take care of itself. 
50 guessing on the lows here. Nice jump back here. It's it's crazy, right? Because like you know, Belial is like, all right, cool, I got the hit, so it's still my turn. And to see Yule just step, okay, step back, go back in, start over once again, knock down. One more mix with these checks. Last dance, and that's gonna be it. Diaphone closing it out with UL, making the switch, saying, you know what? If DP is the answer, I got you. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna be able to pull through and manages to punch that ticket into grand finals to face off against MBK. What a run for Diaphone, not only defeating one Belial, but also coming back and defeating the other one that put him into the loser's bracket in the first place. Absolutely there. We're looking at run, looking at that run right now. Diaphone came out 2-0 over King John, 2-0 over Tinker, and then the demon that was Bisu being taken down by Diaphone 3 1 once Yule got pulled out to play. Of course, uh, Zoe got one game in there as well, but clearly that Yule was the answer. Like you said, that DP really came into play uh, very quickly uh, for Diaphone in that set. It's not over yet. MBK coach has been hanging out for a little bit, just waiting, just checking things just out. Just waiting. And now Diaphone's watching. Keep playing. Yep. And that's going to be the key, right? And MBK shows, showed some very impressive knowledge about the game. Mm -hmm. about the pressure gaps, about when to use the DP. Uh, not only that, but just had everything running on all cylinders. Only has dropped a single game so far, so not mm -hmm. an easy road at all. But, uh, you know, MBK and Diaphone, definitely not strangers to one another. So, uh, you know, they, they both know that they got a hell of a fight in front of them. Yeah. So, and speaking of so. more Grand Blue, we cannot forget Grand Line Singularity. No, definitely not. There's been a whole, wow, three months of Grand Blue content. We're in the third month right now. Grand Line Singular Singularity, of course, hosted by Ahe FGC. You can check her out on Twitter at Ahe FGC there. Runs the gates, one of the Grand Line Singularity qualifiers there. Uh, of course, let's not forget Casa, the Octagon, Ronin Rumbles Monthly, of course, uh, 100 cloudscapes as well all events to qualify for that grand line singularity you can check out the exact times for each events uh for the rest of this month because this is your last opportunity here that's april uh 3rd is the uh last chance qualifier with the fourth being the actual event itself the grand prix will begin sponsored in part by grinding coffee co delicious coffee i need a refill on that coffee actually now i think about it i'll hit them up <laughs> like I said before, that coffee is absolutely broken. If you enjoy the Java, go ahead and check them out. It's fantastic. They have I've tried multiple flavors and they're all they're all winners. Uh, so yeah, go yes. ahead and hit them out, hit them up, and uh, check them out. Absolutely. Yeah, and everyone that's tuned in, thank you so very much. That Matrino is up to one thousand eighty nine dollars and eighteen cents. We almost hit the eleven hundred mark. Yeah, yeah, which means that everyone is in the bracket is going to get a little chunk of change from that. So, mm -hmm. and it couldn't have happened without the support, right? Couldn't have happened without yeah. uh, people yeah. signing in for sharing the link and all of that. Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, thank you everyone for tuning in, for using those free codes, for hitting up those sponsorship quests on Matcherino. Uh, I, I am absolutely blown away by the support um, and the final thing I'm going to ask of you, I'm not going to ask for any more money uh, to support this event, is to just retweet or tweet that we are in grand finals of the Grand Sky Rumble and that we have MBK versus Diaphone. And this is for a huge chunk of change. So please get as many people in here as possible because, I mean, this is this is, is a climax for Grand Blue if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Absolutely. No Without way. a doubt. <laughs> Yeah. And oh, so man. the other I, thing I, I do want to talk about is directly after this, we are going to send it off over to Shining Onslaught, um, which is going on right now. You guys can dual stream action it up uh, and you can see even more of the really strong Grand Blue players who uh, I unfortunately was unable to invite or whatever the case may have been uh, for this event. Uh, because every person that you see here for every like excellent decision they make for as much knowledge as you think they have there is someone that i unfortunately did not get to invite that has just as much knowledge as all these players 
Uh, there is a larger amount than just 16 players in Grand Blue Fantasy versus Community right now that is at this level. These are just the ones I got to highlight this time. Yeah, it's it's. No, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, with as much support as we've gotten, I mean, honestly, you all know that there's so many of us out there that are still uh, loving the game, so thank you. Like, it's really a proof of concept at this point, right? That, like, okay, we do have people that are hungry for this Grand Blue content. Right? It's still early in the year. We're still going through the first quarter of the year. Uh, so definitely look forward to more of that Grand Blue content. And, of course, all the uh, events that we've highlighted, there's still more on the West Coast, still on the East Coast here. So definitely put the word out. And holy smokes. Yes. Yep. I was looking at it right too. Now? Absolutely. Absolutely. Jesus, Just dude. like that. Just like Let that. I'm telling it. you, we can get to 1500. I, I feel it. I feel it in my heart and I feel it in my soul. We can get there. We're at 1250. <laughs> All right. Okay. Big, big shout outs to everyone. I'm, I'm excited. I'm willing to get there. So, so the people that just donated. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm gonna give shout outs to. One of them is Dynamite here on Kong. Who? <laughs> $50. Who? Thank you so much, Dynamite. Who? The other is my main man, Zankoku. Uh, for those of you who don't know, one of the scientists of anime fighting games, Zankoku, who has helped out with uh, a lot of data mining aspects in anime fighting games and stuff like that, notably uh, Plays Blue games. Uh, but also, one of the people who sponsors me, <laughs> just uh -oh. randomly dropping $110 in the, uh, in the pot. I didn't ask for this, but he did it anyway. I got to appreciate him through and through. Thank you so much. We are at 1250 flat. I didn't expect there to be more money, but if we can get it higher, then I, I'll have to figure out something even better to do for the rest of everybody that's been here. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So what? 250 more, right? We just need 250 more. I'm telling you, I'm telling you we can get there, but... You know what? No matter what, this support has been incredible. Thank you to everyone, every single person that's either shared the link, donated, done both, tuning into the stream. This is what these events are about. And we're going to get into it. Grand finals of Grand Sky Rumble. It's going to be Diaphone and MBK. I cannot wait. Jita, Duel, this is going to be some aggression. Yeah, no lie. We're looking at the ins and outs here. UL is definitely going to be moving all about the screen. I mean, this is the character that I, I really like to watch uh, Diaphone play. Because honestly, like, the aggression uh, from Diaphone alone is, like, on another level like, compared to when we see him play uh, Zoe here. So, wow. Waiting for the jump in here. Off in the stance we go. Already 50% looking pretty rough here for MBK. But, of course, it's Gita we're talking about. We can get out of this corner. See what the next mix is. Bro. Yeah, MBK with the throw there. Diaphone again trying to press the advantage. And there's the DP from MBK. Fireball comes out. MBK spacing it out. Doesn't want to run into danger, but the delay going to get a little bit of damage down for Diaphone, but not much. And this is really almost one touch scenario for MBK. Got to be careful. Wait a minute, those reactions from, stop it, MBK, I forgot who I was watching. MBK with a fantastic RH reaction, shutting down the dance from Diaphone, immediately opting for Skybound Rider to shut down that round. Let's go. Battle two. Great stuff from MBK to get that round, and here we go. Diaphone was making a great case for it, but the air scoops again from MBK, gonna pick up right where he started. But you're reaching too far here, MBK. Here we go. There's the anti-air damage we were talking about. What's it going to be? Up and behind. Let's see here. Okay. There's the DP. I was waiting for it. I was just going to say, MBK biding the time, waiting for a DP opportunity, and sure enough, it was coming. But unfortunately, Diaphone dials in that game, or round winning combo, rather. All even on round battle three coming up. Diaphone, despite you know getting hit with that DP, was at the point where the life lead was so heavy. He was like, ah, I could take one or two. I'm not. I'm good. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. Oxford <laughs> jump, nice dodge, super jump to really mess oh! with your timing. Like you're gonna get punished. Uh oh. All right, wake up button still. MBK, not. I'm not blocking. I refuse. Space that we're looking for here because Yule is deceptively uh, able to reach pretty far. 
reversion manual input mode. Gonna do plenty of damage here. And the knockdown, though. Typhoon now in super skybound art territory. MBK definitely doesn't want to get counter hit, but still wants to keep that aggression. EX Fireball in the front. Wow, sweep into super. Typhoon choosing the right time for the right grind. really is showing here it's paying off for diaphone we've seen time and time again that you know these optimal situations do end up coming out for him but this is not looking pretty good at all mbk finding that gap in diaphone's offense which is not an easy thing to do especially when uh diaphone is pulling out yule you've all seen it before at nlbc's you've seen it at the casas diaphone is definitely no slouchy but so is mbk a dominant player out on the east coast it's crazy that this is an east coast finals We've had West yep. Coast players. That's we have Canada true. players and Mexico players. This is East Coast, and this is not even like all of the East Coast players. This is just a fraction of them, and we have two of the strongest here. Absolutely, and you know this is a first to three for MBK, right? Only needs three games, cashes out immediately into that clean twelve fifty over there. But on the other hand, Diaphone is going to need six games total of wins to be able to be the victor, to need three to reset the bracket. So this is the longer road for Diaphone, and the momentum needs to start pretty much now. Oh, wow. Early dodge, going to end up eating one of the fireballs here. Maybe stands good. Here we go. Punishing the DP is still not your turn, MBK. And you're not allowed to jump. Don't jump on Yule. You're about to see why here, folks. Look at that damage. Wow! The jump over That's there? Yeah. Action, yeah from cashing out immediately on winning in that scramble. Yeah. MBK really tried to go for the air-to-air -air situation. Unfortunately, Diaphone just had a higher jump arc in that instant there. Uh, looks like it was probably like a super good right now. Wow. <laughs> just do it! Why not? I mean, at this point, it's usually been working out. The punishes haven't been that heavy until now. Until the pushback into the corner here. Diaphone keeping MBK right on the right side of that screen once again. And we're going to have to see Diaphone fully capitalize on this because we know that MBK can make the comeback. Yeah, that's out of the corner here. This is a good situation for MBK. Exactly where Gita is going to really shine. Oh, wow. Yep, the final hit. Committed to the full wreck of series here. Another scoop. Diaphone looking to be in trouble here. Oh, and another one. Oh, no. Three throws back to back. Do we got four? We do have four. Don't let there be a fifth, please, dear God. Yo. Oh, my goodness. My man made a whole banana split Sunday and was like, you know what? We're going to give you an extra scoop anyway. We heard, you know, you like the sweets. Go ahead and go ahead and enjoy yourself. Diaphone, so please stop. I, I'm watching my figure. More got you. Here's another. No, wait. <laughs> please. And now the pressure still from MBK, not allowing. Oh my goodness. That was a deep cross up there. Nice anti air. The damage is going to be huge. We're going to the corner bounce too, even. Full EX DP. Yes, and one more jump situation here. Not the block, not the overhead. But yeah, you'll get counter hit. Check it's out these staggers. Oh, wow, That's run up into the pack. Yeah, this is gonna be a start. You gotta, you gotta watch that spacing. Mule spacing is really crazy here. It's definitely dangerous, and MDK is one tap away from getting killed. Got to be really careful. The DP on the pressure, Bravery City for sure for MDK. Fireball comes out. Look in the touch because MDK can also kill now with the touch. There's the throw. A dab will do for either player of the shimmy. Oh, no cancel. MBK still alive. Oh, he had to do bound, and that would have been it. Okay. Touch both players here. Don't dodge late. All right. Diaphone slowing it down. Oh, the sweep, the run up low. Watch the toe. Just dash up, crouching medium. And you know what? I thought that MBK might be kicking himself for not canceling after that heavy, but plays patiently, right? Doesn't try to like, oh, I missed my chance. Let me aggress, aggress, aggress. Noticing yeah, that, hey, yep. if I get DP'd here on pressure, I'm dead. I'm going to back up, play the fireball game, and reset to neutral. Smart stuff from MDK. Yeah, absolutely. You hit the nail on the head there because there are often times where players, you know, they'll keep, they'll do that input and misses or the interaction they were looking for. Like, oh, no, 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 no. That was the opportunity and really overextend themselves. And MBK, 
being the veteran that they are in this game uh, for the past year, you know, I got this. There's another opportunity later on. We can do this. Play neutral. We're going to be fine. The iPhone switching back to Zoe, though. This would be really interesting. I wonder the decision here. Comfortability most likely here. Okay. Fireball to start. And crouching medium, right? It beats out Jita's oh, for yeah. the most part. Uh, longer normal in the neutral. But MBK saying, you know what? Forget neutral. I'm in there. Jumping heavy. Let's park. Oh, combo limit got hit on the EXDP. Still going to get a punish out of that. Not a massive one, but still, that matters. Nice back throw. Just push to the corner. I love it. Ooh, the guards, though. Uh-oh. That's a wall bounce there. Skybound art should wrap this up here. Great patience from the here. And of course, patience let's makes not patience. forget MPA on tournament point in this set. The Diaphone has to commit for three games straight with Zoe in order to stay alive. Yeah, locked in. Charged up. Plenty of options involving dragons. EXDP. Waited for the prime moment there. You want to jump you? I don't think so. Wow, the far F, or crouch F, excuse me. There's the delayed laser again. Stagger pressure this time. Did not go for the throw. The pillar daring MBK to make a move while that dragon is out there putting pressure down. Interruption from the record from the dragon. Another laser. Baited the DP. Diaphone looking for that the whole time. Finally gets it and capitalized. Puts himself on the board with the game saying, you know what? It's time to lock in the Zoe. I'm ready to go. I'm not done yet. No, not at all. And that's what we like to see here. Diaphone not stepping down. Not backing down from the challenge either. Just ready to go with that Zoe play. And honestly, I, I was real scared. I saw the beam come out thinking, okay, great. It's going to be locked out. And EXDP from a Gita like that, if Diaphone would have made it, you know, one more step closer. Maybe thought to do another mix-up situation there. I mean, you could have. You had life lead, right? But Diaphone not getting greedy. Just playing their offensive game. Really smart stuff. Absolutely. And it's going to need to continue to be high iq situations for diaphone still down one games to two right all that mbk needs is those two rounds to ca to cash out completely so definitely still a lot of work to be done for diaphone but this is a great start Yeah, the fireball war definitely in Gita's favor here. Until you get beaten up. Yeah, until that laser Not comes out. Cool. Then you got some different yeah. scenarios. They are using the pressure to get to the corner. Throw there. The pressure again. Another throw off of the jump. Dust. Unique, excuse me. I'm excited. We know, we know what it is. We know what it is. <laughs> Once again, Diaphone, superbly patient here. Anti-air into the Skybound art. You saw the life lead was there. Dragons came out far less. Diaphone just taking less risks when that life lead is there uh, in his yes. favor. MBK having to make those moves. Yeah, Diaphone has done a great job of establishing that life lead early and changing up the way that the pressure is happening against that life lead is down. And again, MBK pushed to the corner by the laser, but finally gets the battle out now MBK gets a chance. Late tech from Diaphone. Oh, there's the heavy counter hit. Yep, into the record. And did not finish that EX this time. All right, but still look at that life lead there, and that'll do it. Skybound art. Oh, no. That is tournament point available for MBK. Diaphone has to make this next encounter, this next round, as favorable as the first one. So let's go and see. Oh, this starts out. Nice fireball. No approach there. Goes for electric. That's such a medium there. It is really good. The laser right there did get teched on the throw attempt. So, you know, MBK keeps the keeps the HP, but still pushed towards that corner. Air Thunder. Nice standing dodge there from MBK. Staying awake and not falling asleep at the wheel. fairly close on life but this is a bad situation for zoe here to be caught in the corner with no true reversal big jump out here no anti-air quite yet good blocks challenge as well 
Another crouching medium there. The laser comes out. Pressure from Diaphone, trying to shove MBK back into that corner. Look at the Dragon Meter, just charging it up, trying to get it back desperately. Needs that for the pressure, and MBK knows, smelling it's time for it to aggress. But EX Copter's going to anti-air. Diaphone gets some pressure down, despite not having Dragon, and now it's time. And they're still fairly even. 30 seconds left on this round alone. The final round, potentially, of this entire tournament for uh, just one set close oh. to Diaphone to get that reach. Dust loop is available. That's going to go into Skybound Art here. Yes, Diaphone does it in the last possible moment here. The final interaction got the hit they were looking for to stay alive in this tournament. Let's go. It's tied up. We're getting some more Grand Blue 2 games off here. Diaphone, as you said, playing it very patiently, recognizing, hey, time is low, but I still have a small amount of life lead, so I can play just that much more calculated. And again, the Zoe pick coming through for Diaphone. And now we are at the rubber match for this set of winners finals. Will we see the reset? I'm certainly hoping so. This is actually an intense match between these two players. They're both doing really well here. Good fireball game from MBK coach. Dragon's out. Nice anti-air. Nothing after it, just going for lows. It's a good check on defense there. Make sure that there you go. Here we go. Oh, the whiff throw, but doesn't make it goes for Dot. And the interaction being that we're expecting right after the whiff throw, a, a DP, right? But of course, that was not the case. MBK continued. Anti-air again on point. Diaphone has been clean with an all bracket long. The jump in. Oh, the pressure off the wall. Yeah, MB getting hit up. And Diaphone going to go ahead and cancel into the skybound art. Not enough to kill. Last chance. Last dance for MBK. Oh, trying to bait out the TP here. What a good block. Going to have to hold this. And there we go. The crouching M. Pope. One more game for, one more round for a reset for Diaphone here. From the brink, Diaphone on reset point now, trying to flip the script and put it to a straight up first to three. Mm -hmm. Nice. Delay into throw. Another one. The dragon's up. Dust loop. Here we go. Look at the damage. Yes. And another dragon. Oh, the with the beam off the throw. Full extension. That's a skybound oh. art. And yes. Typhoon does it reverse sweep. My man pulled out the broom and started to moonwalk. Like, yo, hold up. I got you. Let's go ahead and clean this up real quick. Yeah, you thought wow. I only had Yule? No. So here we go. We have Diaphone resetting the bracket, reverse sweep using Zoe. Wow. Absolutely. And what better way to finish off Grand Sky Rumble than a resetted Grand Finals for the optimal amount of grand blue games we are back into a straight up first to three it's a race to the finish between diaphone and mbk yeah it, this is going the full distance here like you said belial is being floated here on mbk's end and of course diaphone still sitting on that zoe so let's see yep What's yep either player can pick whatever now right because the it's been yeah. reset so you can choose new characters if you want. However, we got to remember MBK also has the Henri. If he wants to, you know, feel a little frisky, feel a little different, can pull that out as well. Definitely uh, hovering Belial at the moment. And, um, you know, I can't imagine Diaphone's going to switch off the Zoe with the momentum that he's gotten off of the reverse sweep, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you, you just, I just don't see it, but you never know. No, exactly. That, like, just the, the set play from Diaphone at this point using Zoe, uh, it seems to have uh, really set in against uh, uh, MBK. No pun intended there. Wow. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it, it really like is, is coming across for MBK where the Zoe. you're making those solid reads. You, you're getting used to the rhythm. And the question for MBK at this point is, do I change my character to change up that rhythm, to change up the knowledge that Diaphone has against me? Or do I still stick with big damage? And we saw Lyle still get selected here. We'll see how this goes for man. Did Diaphone just fight through a gauntlet of Belial's and we're still doing Belial matches? Come on now. You know what? He's just throw one more at you. You know, you got to get all three pieces of the Triforce if you want to make things happen. So this is the last one. I see. The true final boss form was actually Belial, not Jita. <laughs> it's actually Belial. Oh. <sighs> 
go. Starting into the grand finals reset match. And yep, that's going to be a big concern. The pinwheel. But of course, once it gets parried out, nothing to be too concerned about. Going to get resources to Zoe here. Pinwheel still not far enough here. Nice soft knockdown here. The beam is up. Watch the head. He's going to interrupt Pinwheel. Still opting for lows. Still being hesitant of these DPs. And look at this life lead. Diaphone is keeping the momentum up against MBK here. And again, earlier I was talking about mental endurance, right? But we saw Jita before set up with a lot of uh, you know, reversal DPs. But now we're facing off against Diaphone with a different type of set play. You don't have these pinwheels coming out. And MBK really has to uh, come out with different types of reactions. We only saw one really big reaction from MBK in the last set. So let's see how this turns out here. There's the pressure there, though. MBK trying to apply those big buttons onto Diaphone's guard, but Diaphone's been managing to throw out Dragon, throw out Pillars and, and Flames just to keep from having to guard all of those long block strings and pin wheel. Wow, big swing. Asmodeus here. So, and finally getting Skyward oh. to jump in over the unique action into the wall. This is a start. Let's get the dragon. Yep, with the beat. Oh my goodness, the falling button. Hello? Yep. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Oh no. The tragedy of it all. Just the right time for MBK. And you know what? Good awareness of knowing when to hit a button. I wouldn't have expected it at all. No, uh, I didn't and, either. And <laughs> that was just some good stuff from MBK. Gonna tie it up. We're going into battle three. Set up the night here. Nice throw into the corner. The beam wasn't far enough to get the extension. Doesn't matter anyways. Again, just smashing out at the right times. Uh-oh. Wow, yep, unique action. Pulling out the anti-air attempt from Diaphone here. As Modius into the corner with the Ender. Wow. Ooh, he I, went I like for the, the huge swing there. there. Yeah. yeah. MBK getting pushed back. Air Thunder just giving Diphone a little bit more room. Dragon is still available with that small amount, but Asmodeus, the scoop up. No. Is MBK going to spin the cash? Decides to at the very end of the combo. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a wrap, and it is. Well, that's a way to start it, right? Open up with Belial here. Um, already taking the W, uh, or at least... Yeah, wow. Yeah, the first W of the uh, this reset. Uh, let's see if the momentum... And this is where you want to be if you're MDK, right? Like, yeah. if yeah. you switch the characters, that, that, that win of that game kind of validates the choice, right? Whereas if MDK would have yeah. lost, then it's like, okay, what do I do for me? Right, exactly. Because like I said, you know, like, you're removing the information that you have from the previous set entirely. Uh, Diaphone is used to the Gita play, right? Now you have to learn this entire Belial time. And I don't think we've seen MBK really pull out Belial on this bracket that much, really. So that's all new information you're really learning from. Oh, there's the unique again. Nice jump back from Diaphone, not wanting to guard it up. Charging the Dragon Meter, trying to just buy some time. But the far heavy is going to connect. Not a full cancel, though. MBK is at the life deficit, so has to play a little bit faster than Diaphone. Oh, wow. Yep. A little bit late on the anti-air attempt there. I see the recognition. You wanted the bone under. Go for the 2 but it's just a little bit too late. Oh, oh the delay, oh, but the, the dragon got the you. Yo, the, the homies with the backup. Mm -hmm. Bought that life insurance out there real quick. You need it. You need it out there. You definitely do. Instead of going for the clash off of the DP and Zoe wins out. Yeah, I, I like the spacing on the beam there. Keep Diaphone keeps Zoe inside the beam, even though like uh, Belial is just out of game. Just to ensure that Belial isn't getting funny. Any funny ideas oh. coming with the big age. No. 
That button was no jokes whatsoever. That is it. The Skybound's gonna come through, cleaning off the field with the laser, and we're going to one game all. Wow. Is this just gonna be back and forth? I mean, wow, like, I, I have no problem with that at this point. Let's go, Diaphone and <laughs> MBK out here. Taking a moment. You know what? Mind drinking some water. I it's, uh, Damn. you all right? Right? Mouth is dry out here trying to keep up with the action. It's too hot in the kitchen. And I cannot wait to see what happens as we continue to move forward. I like this pause right here from MBK. Just, you know, being like, hey, let me, yeah. let me think about it. Do I want to switch now, right? Because if I switch now, then if I win, I might be, you know, I only have really one more opportunity to. So sticking with the Belial, deciding to go with that. Diaphone obviously still sticking to the Zoe as we would expect. Air pin will going to interrupt the air approach from Diaphone. But here we go. Game three of the Grand Finals Reset. Being wary of the dragon, nice dodge here from MBK. Worn out pinwheel. Get electrified out here, holy cow. Another beam, really covering the ground with the crouching medium there. And you see those little charges right there? Those make huge differences later on in the round because the amount of dragon usage will be naturally up afterwards. Yes. More chances to just put Dragon out there in neutral. No anti-air attempt was already committed to a button. Ooh, the throw. Real sneaky there from MBK. And a 2H into... Wow. 2M, MBK, you're getting hit. Stop running towards the sword. Yeah. It is looking real rough right now for MBK in this game three. Diaphone has been playing extremely well of keeping that life lead not allowing MBK to oppress and throwing out the dragons at the right time to stay on the, at least in the neutral space, right? Not on being on block. Wow, a DP of MBK's own. And still, Diaphone, they're swinging for the fences. Both these players are back and forth and now carried over to the corner. Nice little extra charge. Oh, look at the life already. Well, it's, never mind. Don't look at the life. Oh, it was never there in the first place. We made, it, we made it up. We made the whole damn thing up. It was fiction. Never happened. This was made by one of our writers. Game four. Let's see how the script is going to play out. Will we get the game five? I'm not sure. Diaphone on a hot streak. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And really showed that. Oh, another one. This is big damage every single time. Look at this. It's situational at the very least, right? You have to hit the medium dragon in order to get that much damage. But and you have to be in the corner. But still, look at the life deficit. Yo, it's all. Oh, oh, oh yo, my God. yo. He said, Who do you think you are coming up with the ex command grab? Diaphone on tournament point after being down and looking like the door was going to be closed, decided to put on the Zoe boots and kick the whole frame off. Here's Zoe. Whoa! <laughs> Please! This is looking rough. MDK already down to half life. No dragon, though. So it's going to be. Wow, dude, look at these butts! Daring MDK to come anywhere near it. I'm going to swing my sword just like this. You got hit. It's your fault. That's it. I took the tournament. I'm just kidding. I, I don't know how much damage this character actually does, apparently. The jump in, command grab, but this is a long road ahead for MBK. Can't make a single mistake. Right now, looking clean, though. Run ahead, get the EX yeah. Asmodeus. What's the jump in? Look like the low. Yo, and the conversion. Here we go. The boots to the dome. We're going to send it all the way up to the skies, and we're getting at least one more round. Okay. All right. Yo. All right. I was going to say, Yo. both of the situation where they're chipped out, like, this is ridiculous. But here we go. MBK fighting for their tournament life here. Making it happen out of nowhere. No anti here. Big jump in from Diaphone here. Put the lightning on the board. Oh, I like that. The delay to make sure you got over the laser. Yeah. Wow, you can't press buttons there. Nice poke. 
some good awareness on spacing DP. There's the reactions we missed earlier from MBK. But unfortunately, going to get caught by the pinwheel of, of Zoe's. Absolutely. There's the delay, though. Full conversion. MBK going to get that Asmodeus. Of course, the jump is safe. The throw, last chance, last dance for Diaphone. Doesn't want to get hit. EX pinwheel, dash up, stagger. Okay, MBK backs off knowing it wasn't his turn. Late tech, Diaphone with the overhead. MBK with the block, taking the turn back. Notice that MBK is now turning it up to 11 on this offense. A whole new beast is awakened. Big jump in H. Wow, EX gonna get punished though. This is a big opportunity for Diaphone here. Okay. Ooh. Lightning, charge up. Gonna watch for the dragon okay, call. I, I Here like it comes. Okay, yes. Nice tech here. Oh! No, no way. No yes. way. No? Oh! You didn't get it. You did not get it. That was a hope and a prayer. I Oh my gosh, don't let this happen. I don't know. I don't know. They're, lock, they're... they're locked in. Oh. They have they have no idea this room done. Okay, no. well, we're gonna have to play it out. Oh, we're back, we're back. Hey. We're back, we're back. Hey. Oh, thank God, we're back. Hey, welcome back. You didn't Nothing miss much, but you know, Diaphone decided to bet it all on you well. We're back, baby. Let's go. Diaphone so hasn't stopped either. Kidding. Already in Skybound art, and it's looking real bad for MBK here. One more combo will do it. MBK has plenty of resources available. Big swing and a miss. Nice. Ooh, the delay. Two boots to the dome. Okay, nice counter hit. Throw. Two M. Yikes. Okay. This, right. this is it tournament right here. Again, if Diaphone does not win this tournament and MBK made that Pixel Health comeback, what a story. However, also a great story if Diaphone wins, coming back with the reverse sweep. Yep. Nice DP here. Oh no, the pinwheel shutting down the DP from Diaphone here. Life lead is looking in MBK's favor. Nice EX pinwheel. Yo, the full punish. Asmodeus off into the corner we go. Just got enough for Skybound on 50% life. Nice dodge into a counter hit though. Yo, yo, it didn't hit. It was, it was just too far away. Diaphone still has a chance and has full meter. MBK needs to be careful. Spends the money early. Says, you know what? I got the stimmy coming. I can go ahead and make some charges on the credit card. Really has to make something happen here. Going for the plus frames. Be careful here. EX Pinwheel is going to allow for some pressure, but the hop back gets him out. Far H into Asmodeus. What's it going to be? Oh, the jump over with the unique, the DP press. Oh, final round of Grand Sky Rumble. Here we go. Tournament point for both players. We've gone the absolute limit. I can't believe it. Like, how do you thread a needle at high speed? Like, you're literally driving down the highway 90 miles an hour with the string and throwing it right through the needle. Go straight through the loop. Oh, Here we go. Who's going to tie it off toward the finish? Diaphone right now starting out in early, but small life lead. However, MBK with the corner pressure, the standing dodge no. is punished by the command grab. Nice DP. Get off me, please. Social distance is important. That nice big super jump install. Yep, EX pin will. Okay, luckily, Ooh. was able to recover. Counter hit there. Diaphone 
just looking for an opportunity to really start to pressure. But MBK has been staying in the middle of the screen unless they've earned the corner. Good stuff. Again, every time EX Pinwheel comes out, the iPhone hops back with the EX stance. Yeah, and it's been back and forth. Just little hits here and there. Diaphone just barely ahead of the game. Okay. Money spent. What's it going to be? Whoa, just out of range of that pinwheel here. And that could have been punished there. MBK not by oh, oh. There we go. Big jump view into Skybound Art. How close are we going to get on this health here? How much damage? It's at least one more combo for sure, but how is this going to turn out? Oh, okay, okay. So last chance, last chance. Is it going to be the DP? Oh, he made it! No punish! The air throw! Oh my goodness, MBK takes it with an air throw. 15 seconds left on the clock. We don't care about the sweep, but oh my... Wow. The, the turnaround in general, right? Because we, we had the reset. It was looking to come up all diaphone, and MBK still clutches it out at the last possible moment. MBK is your Grand Sky Rumble champion. What a endurance round from both of those players. I mean, we had the reverse sweep. We had the pixel comeback. The pixel comeback. Diaphone was a tap, a dab of sauce away from taking everything. And MBK said, you know what? Not today. Not on today. And managed to battle back to force a game five. We got a final round of the game five. What else can you ask for? What else can you ask for? I, this is Grambler. I tell you what, I, I, this, this is Grambler, and I can't think of anything to really ask. This was a phenomenal event, a phenomenal set. I just, my heart goes out to Diaphone right now because, I, man, I am absolutely torn. Just, you were so close. You were right there, like you said, at the cusp of victory and just MBK still hanging in there, turning it around with Belial. It's a story for sure. That you'll definitely want to watch over and over again. I and this is just the beginning of the year, right? The first quarter of the year. We still have Grand Line Singularity coming up. We still have plenty of other events coming up for Grand Blue in the future, too. We still have two more characters on the way. There's plenty of action still going down. And I'm I'm wow, happy that I got to be here and, and humbled that I got to be here to talk about it too. Just wow. <laughs> I can't I, I can't believe that I, I'm straight up. <laughs> yeah, I'm a loss exactly. for words, you know. <laughs> It, it was incredible. You know, it, it was one of those things where you, you, you always hope for a great uh, set to be on. And it definitely provided, you know, and, and the whole bracket provided. Um, and I am definitely uh, as well uh, humbled and honored to be here. Um, yeah. And you know what? Thank you to uh, the, the tournament organizing team, Ibonic, uh, uh, Reiki, uh, the rest of the crew that's running it behind the scenes because Wow, this was one to remember, and I was so glad I was here for it. Yeah, um, I, I also give a, gotta give a shout out uh, to one person not mentioned. It is Tong, who is literally running another event right now while also helping us with these Parsec instances. So I, I cannot stress enough. Thank you so much, Tong. Uh, <laughs> we really love you, man. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you all so much for this and everyone that tuned in. Thank you. I mean, honestly, like I'm, I'm really happy that we got so many players together uh, to show off the best that Grand Blue has to offer. Um, and, and honestly, just being a part of it has been fantastic. Like it's been one heck of a year. It, it's been a year uh, that all of us really like we weren't sure at the beginning of it. Right. Like coming into quarantine, we're like, what is what does this mean for like not only this game, which we all saw as a, a tremendous game. It was going to be another one of those fighting games that was really going to bring together multiple communities like Dragon Ball did in a way. And to see it still thrive in an in era where, I, what, this game hasn't had a live event yet. Not mm -hmm. yet. <laughs> like, no major. We've had online majors, of course. And the turnout that we see here, the 300, 400 plus of you that showed up and put in this 1270 for all 16 players to have a piece of, it, like honestly it, it really goes a long way it, it makes it all really worthwhile like you know we're doing something awesome it shows the love of the game and that we can all look forward to another uh you know an event that where eventually it will be offline and eventually like we will 
be happy knowing that there is a community out there still waiting to play this game and moments to be shared just like this that we saw uh today so thank you everybody thank you Roman rumble thank you ebonic ricky and also tong it, i just wow like i i'm super i can't thank you all enough for like being a part of the grand blue community honestly like you saved like an entire year for me so thank you all all right well oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Reiki? Uh, not, I'm at a loss for words. I watched that whole <laughs> thing, Last Chance, Last Dance, as uh, Dan likes to put it, and man, that was just wild, like absolutely wild. That was one of the most fantastic grand finals I've seen. Mm -hmm. And I have to say thank you to all 16 competitors that came to play in Grand Sky Rumble. Thank you very much, Abonic, for working with our team, and thank you to not only Dynamite and Zero, but Swell and St. Cola for yes. doing commentary. And you know, it, it takes a lot to put an uh, event together. And you gotta commend Abonic Plague for all the work that he put into this. Months of planning and coordinating and more planning and changing those plans and then adjusting uh, once again to make, on the fly really, to make this a good event. It's just, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. You got to give it out to Bonnie Plague for all the work that he put into it. So if you can give him a round of applause, everyone in the chat, <laughs> just for everything that he's been doing, uh, please just support this man and follow him at Ebonic Plague BB on Twitter. <laughs> but uh, uh, I mean, okay, I, I'll accept your compliments, but I do want to say that this was a communicative effort uh, between everybody. We had to communicate as much as possible to make everything happen. Uh, it was not all me. I just, I basically just wrangled up everybody. <laughs> so just, you know, make sure to say thank you to everyone. Yeah. Uh, I gotta say thank you to our streamer, Agent Uno Paul. Absolutely. I mean, he's been fantastic, uh, running this tournament on stream and then just adjusting to all the changes, hardware and software, just to make sure that we can all be here together. Uh, special thanks to Kento who made the stream tool that we use. Uh, Kyom, Ryan, uh, also Zenosuke, all of our team members at Ronin Rumble, they put a little bit of time, even uh, Suntenshi and, and Jeff, we all put a lot of ourselves into this project for Ronin Rumble in every event that we're a part of. And every little bit gets us closer to a successful show. And I have to say thank you. And I'm very, very grateful for all of my team members. Uh, I couldn't be here without them. And I mean that on the deepest level, like everyone, even people that, you know, came in and helped out with other projects like TJ McBiggs, uh, JP Brigenza, Crack Fiend. I haven't seen him in a bit. And then also uh, CFDJ. <laughs> I mean, there've been a lot of people that I haven't seen in a bit, but they're all part of our team and all been really helpful all the way through. Uh, so... Uh, I have one quick announcement before we go into stuff. And I just want to be really quick. Uh, this has been a really great year for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. And it's been a great year for Ronin Rumble. But I also have to talk about the human cost of it. I mean, we put a lot of our time and energy into these events. And like I said, I couldn't do this by myself. And I can't do this by myself. A lot of our team is, you know, we're hurting right now. We've got a lot of things going on in life. And we got to handle all of those things. So I, I regret to inform everyone that we're going to be going on break. Uh, Ronin Rumble will be on break for about two months or so. Uh, we'll come back soon, probably in May, maybe a little bit longer than that. But uh, we just need to take a break so that we can take care of our team and take care of ourselves. Uh, I, I just want to say that I care about my team members a lot, and I like doing this event with them. And if I can't do it with them, then I'll, I won't do it without them. So that's that's my stance on that, and I'll see you real soon. Well, I mean, thank you, Reiki. I I think everybody's you know hoping that the the RR team can come back sooner rather than later, and I hope everybody is wishing you guys well in terms of uh, whatever it may be going on with life or anything like that. We'll see you in two or so months. Whenever you come back, we'll be waiting with open arms. I promise you that much. Thank you. I appreciate it, and I think our team appreciates it too. Mm -hmm. um and well, so we have 
yeah we, we we've had a long day y'all we uh we we've gone through this whole thing and i cannot again thank everyone in this entire thing enough uh that w whether they worked on it played in it or just watched it you all in the chat uh but we are going to have to wrap it up here and i think it's really important to note that we are going to be kicking it off to shining onslaught which is another event that's happening today it is currently in the middle of its tournament and it is another parsec event so please stick around for the raid that's going to be going on over there and uh i mean you guys like that grand blue action you'll like that one as well <laughs> yep. all right so uh we you know what we won't <clears throat> kick it to ads uh we're gonna just throw us ourselves right in there so let's let's do that ladies and gents thank you very much for showing up uh supporting uh grand sky rumble i hope that you all enjoy yourselves at uh shining onslaught so i'm gonna start the raid please stay tuned enjoy yourselves and keep sailing on sky fairs <laughs> this is jeff stop home of the jeff box video game loot subscription service jeff box is the golden standard to get retro video games delivered straight to your front door with tons of quality titles and customization options, see why gamers everywhere are saying, Glory to Jeffbox. Subscribing is simple. Just follow these three easy steps. One, choose a plan. Choose between the standard edition or the premium edition. Our standard edition is meant for budget-conscious collectors, whereas the premium edition is intended for collectors looking for more valuable games or just more games in general. Either way, both options give you amazing games. Two, Set your gaming preferences so we can personalize your Jeffbox to make it uniquely yours. Just go to My Account, then Game Preferences, and fill out the form so we can get you the games you want. You can share which game genres and systems you want games for, your wish list of games, your current list of games to avoid duplicates, and more. 3. Your games will ship by the end of the month. Open your Jeffbox and enjoy your games. It always ends like this. It's that simple. A Jeffbox is not given to you. It is something you must take for yourself. So be sure to visit jeffstop.com now and let the nostalgia take you back. Jeffstop, we hate gamers, but we love you.